Hey everybody, welcome to Adobe Live. My name is Emily and I'm here with a very excellent guest today. I found it! I oh. found the golden egg! I found it! He was busy, but now he's here. I found it, everybody! It was under the desk. I found it. Uh, the golden egg. Emily, what is this? What does this mean? Our, wait, hold on, we have a stand for it. I think what it means is that you win. And then I won. Uh, today we're going to be making decorations for this beautiful egg, I think, right? Yes, happy okay. Easter, everyone. Um, it is the season of spring, and we are getting you ready all day. We're going to be doing some egg decorating. We are going to be doing a little um, a, a little <laughs> purse. <laughs> if you would like to hold a single egg. Just one. Um, just one. Just great little uh, purse for you on Emily's stream. We also have some streams coming up with our friend Emma, and she is going to be creating a spring-themed mocktail menu. Very fun. Uh, so, Stick around all day. We'll have tons of free resources. Everything that we make today, we are going to make downloadable so that you can hang out and grab it. Um, we are doing some express templates. We're going to have some uh, dimension tool. Lots of fun stuff. Let us know where you're watching from. Oh, <laughs> egg cam. It's better than I thought. <laughs> there we go. So uh, just a little explanation. These are from Target. Um, <laughs> and this is some of the different little like pieces that we're doing. Uh, I was going to do my own, but we didn't have time to cut them. But what we're doing today is we are going to be making graphics so that you can do this at home. You can print them out, and you can decorate an egg and create your own little egg character to be a part. And chat, I think, oh, we picked the blue one is to, oh no, it's keying out. It's, this is the magic egg, um, right? Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to hop into Adobe Express, and we are going to get started. Emily is working with me. Uh, Emily will be decorating as well <laughs> um, as we go through. But I'm going to kind of look to chat for some suggestions of different themes, and I'm going to let Emily pick the first one. What theme should we go with for our first egg? I think adventure egg is going to be my first suggestion. <gasps> adventure egg. He's going to be out dun, there. Dun. Even okay. he's fragile, he's yes. going to be out there. <laughs> okay, so what I want to do first is I think that I'd want to do, like, uh, I think it'd be fun to do a little whip. Right? Like an event. I'm, Indiana Jones. I'm full Indiana Jones. Okay. I think of adventure, I think of Indiana Jones. <laughs> so I'm actually going to start over in Illustrator. We're going to be going back and forth between Illustrator and Express. Um, and I'm going to show you how to create a custom brush. And we're going to do a custom rope brush, which would be really Ooh. cool here. So what I'm going to do, very, very simple actually here, is we are just going to make a rectangle. I'm going to make this black real quick. And then what I want to do is I'm actually going to have it like rise up and then another one kind of rise down. Ooh, and so okay. what we can do here is we are going to select this shape and then go to effect. We are going to go to uh, warp. There we go. And then click on rise. And that's going to help it kind of lift up. And then I'm going to have another one that's going to cross over behind it. To make a rope? I see what you're doing. You're to weaving, make a rope. You're weaving the rope. I'm weaving. Uh, so we have one there. I am going to copy that and then go to edit paste in place. Now I'll paste it right in the same place. And I don't need to do a new effect. I can actually come over to the Appearance panel and just click on Rise, and we're going to do negative 50 for this one. Perfect. So the inverse. Yes. Oh, inverted. Wow. And so I am going to... I did a bad thing with the ears here. What did you do? They were not as even as I had Oh, boy. <laughs> we, we, we had a situation. Um, OK, we had a situation with the ears. Well, yeah, we'll give you a we'll close up that. once. Yeah, once Studio Manager is ready to, to switch, we'll give you a little close up on it. Um, it's something. It's something. <laughs> it sure itself. is something. Um, we tried uh, B-Cam. Here we go. There. Oh, we have B-Cam in the corner. This feels so QVC. <laughs> Would you like to buy this egg? Would you like to buy this egg? Uh, so yeah, the ears got a little bit wonky there. That's okay. We do need to create ears. I think ears would be a oh, good that'd one. That'd be great. Adventure um, ears. Yes, adventure. So I'm gonna uh, keep creating this rope here, and we're just going to that. align these to each other, right like that. And then what I actually want to do is have one be in front of the other. So That's I am just going to use the uh, offset path tool to go to object path and offset path. Chat has a question really quick. Yes, hit me up. They said, "Can you ear me now?" Yes. <laughs> No laugh, just that, rest. <laughs> that was an excellent joke. Perfect. Also, chat has suggested they're very excited about Adventure Egg, woohoo! Um, but they also think that a zombie egg could be really fun, and I think I'm here for that. Zombie egg is great. That's more your realm for sure. But zombie egg is great. I love zombie egg. Okay, so I did this the wrong way. Um, what am I doing here? I am trying to subtract this upper shape from the bottom one right here, there you go. so that I get this little piece right here. Gorgeous. So now I have this little rope shape, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to click on the little plus right here. And this is going to be a pattern brush because we are going to be repeating it again and again and again. Right, right. We're going to hit OK, and you can see there. Well, 
we already did it. Uh, so what it's going to do is it's just going to repeat that pattern again and again. And since we start and stop at the same place, it is going to create that pattern for us. So we're going to change this to tints and shades. I always get that wrong. And so I'm not sure that's the right one, but we'll see. And I'm that gonna is hit, what? A color, color mode? Yes, color gotcha, mode. Okay. So I'm going to hit OK. And now with the brush tool, I can simply brush and we're going to have a rope. So it does have some weird things that and let's go ahead. <laughs> it, it's like a weird rope. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I am going to go to the options of the selected tool and see where I went wrong. Um, I believe right here may be where I went wrong. Approximate path. Do I need to do a color? Ooh, yeah. That's a fancy rope. That is a fancy. Act honestly? Honestly? Fancy it is. I'm not mad about it. So we're going to hit OK there. I, I'm not mad about that one. And I am going to do maybe. That looks cool. Uh, oh, chat, why can't I think of what is going wrong here? Um, I think that I can do art brush. It's not art brush. We're going to hit OK here and see what happens. Yes, we want it that way. Uh, we don't want stretch, scale proportionally, no. This is going to be wrong. That's Andrew reading in real time. It's happening. It is. Yeah, that's going to be wrong. OK, chat, why is this not? Chat, if you know what's going wrong, please let me know because I've done this a million times and I don't know why. Anyway, we're going to use this as the rope. Maybe it's bound in both ways. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is just create a nice little whip and we're going to come down here into our artboard and I'm going to do a little, oh, just a little swoop. Chat is also suggesting a dragon egg. Ooh. But maybe it's like previewing that it's a dragon. Like the egg itself is a dragon. We can do scales. Egg. Yeah, I think it'd be fun. Or like a little fire, some tails. Yes. Did I do things. the wrong? What happened to my, what happened? What happened to my brush? Chat, what did I do? It's gone. Chat, it was so good. It was doing so well. This brush is great. There we go. I don't know why it just got weird. Okay, so now we have this little brush right here. And what I'm gonna do is just select it and we're gonna use the width tool, uh, which Ooh. is right over here. The width tool is honestly, I feel like people sleep on the width tool. Yes, and I'm going to make a small width there and then maybe a larger width Very over cool. here. So the whip has dimension, like it's going into space? Yes. Yes. Yep. And so there we go. We have our whip. What color should this be? Uh, should we be fun Easter colors? Maybe like a bright green? Oh, you know what? And it's like a vine? Or it's yes. Like, yeah. Let's do this. Let's make it a random color for now. It's going to be ugly. And then at the end, we can use generative recolor. <gasps> what a great idea you have. Magic. I am going to round out the uh, edge of this. Also, this brush got all kinds of wonky. Like, this brush got really wonky chat, but we're going to pretend like it worked really well. It's a very well. natural rope. I feel like if you make it green, it'll be like a vine, too. It'll yes. Be, it'll be fine. Yes, very much a whip. We also could do, ooh, let's try this. It's not going to be right, but it's going to be cool. Um, we're <laughs> going to use the spiral tool, which is over here underneath the line segment tool. And we're just going to click and drag. So as you click and drag <gasps> out, it's going to make a spiral. As you hit the up and down arrows, it is going to add points to the spiral. I didn't know that. If you hold the command, it is going to change the uh, distance of the spiral. So oh, it's going to change like the little like wonkiness of the spiral. So we're going to do that and apply our little brush here. Yes, that. I also feel like Illustrator might be having some issues right now with this document. Do you want to start over? Or are you gonna, no, you're everything's gonna go fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, there you go. There we go. That looks great. Okay, great. Just awesome. So this is like a little little like lasso rope. So we're gonna expand this. And then let's this will be a little yeehaw moment. <gasps> it's not done yet. I have one more. Oh, okay. Sorry. No, I was just I was ready for the yeehaw moment. Because this ain't Texas. Uh <laughs> Beyonce Day tomorrow. I'm ready. Okay. Um the new album comes out tomorrow. I was gonna say, wait, I would about it. Is yeah. it her birthday tomorrow? Okay, what else is uh, adventure? Do we wanna create like a boulder? I think a boulder sounds good. Okay. Is the egg gonna be holding the boulder? Like, how is it gonna be around the egg? Oh, maybe it can be a boulder that you put behind the egg. So it's like the boulder's like. Wow. It, we're just making an Indiana Jones egg at this <laughs> point. Like, what, what does he hate? Snakes? Yeah, snakes. It has to be snakes. In my mind, I'm on the Disney ride right now. I'm like, what does he hate? Yes. Give me the, um, the timeline. Okay, so to create a boulder, here's what I like to do is we are just going to create uh, a circle here, and I'm using the ellipse tool. We are gonna make it like a little obtuse, like a little, little weird and wonky so that it's rolly. And then what we're going to do is we are going to use the roughen tool. Ooh, Super easy tool choice. to use here in um, Illustrator. You're going to effect, you're going to go to stylize, and then you are going to go to, uh, sorry, you're going to go to distort and transform, yep. and then use roughen. And that's going to give you this really weird wonky kind of shape. 
And the size, you usually want to be like 0.5. So you want it to not be super big. Um, and maybe we want to go actually to one. Ooh, yeah, that's more casual, more yep. believable. Not mad about it. It kind of looks like a meatball as well, but you know. Yeah, it is kind of meatball-y. Uh, so then what we're going to do is we are just going to actually make a bunch of copies of this. And as I scale this, let's see if I have scale strokes and effects on or not. Um, as I scale this, it should actually change. Yeah, it's just, see how it's warping and keeping it blobby? Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to take these down uh, and kind of play around with making this uh, maybe some, like, you know, little... Uh, Actually, let's do this. Ooh, this will be fun. Let's do this. So I'm going to take one of these. I'm going to click here. I'm going to go to plus, and we're going to create a scatter brush. I'm going to hit OK. And then we do want to change the size just a little bit. Not too much. We'll do random. So we're going to do the size just a little bit there, and then maybe a little bit here. And then we're going to do uh, the spacing random, scatter random, and rotation random. So rotation, we want the so whole thing. Random. Scatter, we want it to be a little bit random. And then spacing, we also want it to be a little bit random. We're going to hit OK. And now we can select our shape right here. Then we can go to Draw Inside. Ooh. And now when we use our scatter brush, it is going to scatter those little dots <gasps> wow. to make it look like more of a meatball. <laughs> I was going to say, wait, are we hungry or? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay, cool. That's such a good way to do that, like, quickly instead of having to, like, randomly place them yourself. Yes. Or, you know, make a pattern. Super easy. So I'm going to make it taller. Okay. And again, that <gasps> and it scales. Yeah, Sorry. that effect is happening, and the scale is happening uh, all the way across. So there we go. We Fantastic. have our little um, boulder that's going to be chasing our uh, person. And I think that we do need, like, a, a title, right? So we're going to do adventure. And I'm just going to do a little, like, fun 3D title here. Um, Let's see. We need an adventure font. I think you should make it like egg shaped almost, right? So you could like put it on the egg, or are you envisioning it's gonna go like on the bowl? Oh, I'm just thinking I'm gonna put it on the, the sheet for people okay. to download. I love that. Um, okay, I want. What do I want? Sure, let's do this one. Ooh. This is this is maybe the right answer. It's adventurous. Emily, we've used this, we've used this font before. I can't see what it is. This is the um this is the oh, House Plant University. That's yeah. So fun. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here to um let's do 3D. So we're gonna go 3D materials, we're gonna go to uh, extrude and bevel. And I'm gonna give it just like a pulled out dimension kind of look. Smart. Yes. Uh, cool. it is. Okay, so we're gonna <laughs> <laughs> We're going to make this just a random color for now. Uh, and what we want to do is we are actually just going to change this to front. Okay. And then we are going to change the uh, perspective. Ooh. Uh, so the perspective is going to be, where is my perspective? It's always good to have fresh perspective, am I right? Yes. <laughs> uh, metallic, no, I don't want 3D. Uh, I need depth. Do I need depth first? Bevel. Chat, where is the perspective? Am I not seeing it? Oh, it's down here. Okay, there we go. So we have a nice little, I don't want to bevel. We have a nice little kind of perspective to kind of pull this oh, nice. in. Uh, and then what I want to do is maybe give it just a little bit of like arc. So I'm going to go into here and go to effect. We're going to go to distort and transform and, or sorry, we're going to go to warp and then do arc. There we go. Ooh. Right. And I want just a little bit. Do you want it to be yeah, above? Okay. But it did have a nice, I like that you could see the top when you did it underneath. That was, looked really cool. Yes. Yay. Adventure. OK, so this is really cool. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and make this like a nice burnt orange here. Hate that. Actually, we'll leave it. We'll leave it, and we're going to do Easter colors. So we have, <laughs> have a, a whip, uh, a, a boulder. Do we need any more adventure stuff, or do we move on? I think move on. And okay. I think as we work, maybe we'll come back to it. Great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these, and we're going to go to edit. We're going to go to edit colors and generative recolor. Perfect. And we're just going to type in uh, spring Easter. Smart. Get the meatball a better color. <laughs> uh, yeah. Although, I mean, it's true to what it is, but we'll see. It's true. And someone's saying dragon egg. Yeah, we'll do dragon no, egg No, I have it on my list. I have a small list right now of zombie egg and uh, what was it, dragon egg. So chat, if you have any other suggestions of types of eggs. I feel like we're doing eggs in like situations and then egg decorations as well, it seems. Yes. So whatever you have egg related, we're here for it. OK, okay. Um, let's do pastels. Yeah, I think, yeah. It gave you like. It was a little too dark for me. Right. I'm trying to think of what it is reminiscent of. I guess like, yeah, earthy natural tones. Earth. Earth. Welcome to Chicken Egg. The Earth. Cody's on it. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Oh, oh that's cute. not mad. Not mad about these. Like these that. are cute. This that's one perfect. needs to be a little bit. It kind of matches. <laughs> a little bit darker. Hiccup. Surprise. I feel like it matches these two kind of well. Oh, you're right. 
Okay, Rhino cool. Brand. So we have these pieces. I'm just going to copy and paste these onto the sheet here. I love that. Um, and you can copy and paste directly out of Illustrator, which is really so cool, cool, into Adobe Express. Um, it should load in there. We'll see what happens. Just me. I'm in the dock. <laughs> It's just Emily. And so you don't have to outline that. That's that's interesting. Oh yeah, no, you can just literally copy and paste. Because so normally, grab... right, like if you're going to bring that into like uh, like InDesign or something, you probably have to expand yes. that because it has an effect on it. Yep. Interesting. Copy and paste, easy peasy. Wow. All right, so we've got some little things for <gasps> some eggs Someone for our adventure. Green eggs and ham. <gasps> I do like that. Green eggs and ham is really fun. We could do a one fish and a two fish. Yes. And okay. Fish. Dragon scales. Yes, love okay, that. Okay, cool. So let's do this. So what we're going to do with Dragon Scales is we are going to create a pattern. Are we going to do another brush? No, we're going to create no. a pattern. Okay. We're going to do a pattern. So what I'm going to do here... I'm writing down your eggs and ham. I really like that. Is I am going to try to create like a, a shield shape. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, and this is going to be like a scale. And so Just I'm trying one. to think of like what a scale would look like. I think that it's kind of this shaped and then this may oh. like come down here. Oh, okay. More like Does that feel two. scaly? Yeah, I think so. And then maybe it just comes in a little bit, yep. so it's a little... More narrow. Yeah, that feels scaly. Yeah. Scales are pointed just like a little a round. A little round it. Yeah, gentle. Because otherwise if it's too sharp. Yes. Yeah. And this might be too much. Okay, so let's try that. I think that looks pretty good. And scales go down. That makes... Yeah, right. Yep. I and then so. what I'm going to do... I would do like uh, one and one and then blend path, but... Oh, a blend! A blend! That's what I would do, but That's what a would great you do? idea. No, Emily, a blend is a great idea. Blend it up. Uh, what color do we want the snakes to be? We can do a couple, maybe. Uh, let's do purple. I don't think we have done any purple yet. Okay, so that let's do. Yeah, let's do like a nice. And dragony. Ooh, this is a fun Ooh, purple. That's a perfect And then maybe purple. we'll do like two versions of it. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to uh, select these two. We're going to shrink them down quite a bit. And Easy since else. this is a pattern for the egg, I am going to just drag this all the so way over cute. here. We're going to select these two, and then we're going to go to Object Blend Make. And then Blend Options. There we go. Oh, and that then, actually worked perfectly. Yeah, it's pretty close. <laughs> so we're going to go to Blend Options, Object Blend Blend Options. And then we are going to do Specified Steps and just Classic. increase the amount of steps so that they overlap a bit. With Preview on so we can see. Yes. <gasps> Love it. This would be great. And then people could cut it out like a little strip and like wrap yes. the egg. Wow. Yes. Oh, it's pretty good too. We should do a whole sheet of that and then they could just armor the egg up. <laughs> I love this. Okay, so I am probably going to make these. Should I make them outlined? No, so I don't are think you we need them to. Together? Um, yes. Yeah. I thought about it. But you know what might be good too is if you copied that and then made it shorter because the egg is going to taper. So maybe make one like shorter version so they could cut it out and wrap it. Or they can also just cut it off and do it themselves. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Good luck. <laughs> so I also am going to grab these two blends. Are you and then blend the blends? I'm going to try to make a blend out of the blends. I think you can do that. You might have to expand it first. Oh, it's that's cool. Uh, so yes, let's do that. Let's yeah. do uh, expand here. So object, object expand. and expand. And then since this is a dragon scale kind of vibe, we're going to make this purple darker. <gasps> Ooh, so it's going to be like and a gradient. And it's going to be like a gradient color. I do love that about blends. So we're going to select these two. Uh, we probably need to make these actually... Um, Lighter? Shapes. Oh. I'm going to merge them. Got it. Love it. Got it. Here. I feel like it would have done it because it's a group, but it's going to be safe. Oh, yes. wow. Oh, we do need to add a stroke to these then. Oh, so let's add a white stroke. We're going to assume that you're working on a white egg. Sorry, everyone, if you're not. Um, and we are going or a to light color egg. add a outside. And now we're going to make this blend. Uh, oh, oops. that looks great. What happened there? Yes, we have four egg cam. Blend. <laughs> oh yeah, on egg cam. Eggs. There it is. Check out on the eggs. Emily, I think we need to add another thing to the egg. What do we have over there that we could add I to our know. beautiful gorgeous egg? Oh, these are stickers. We have <laughs> we have like a whole flower egg. Yeah, flower egg happened. Do you want to go give like a super close up of? <laughs> do you want me to? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just <laughs> okay. yeah. We'll give us give us egg cam. Here I come. Are you ready? Egg cam. This might be too close for egg cam. Oh, it's gonna be out of focus probably. Sorry, studio manager. All right. Oh yeah, he's, wait, we're gonna pull focus here, everybody. You tell me when you're ready. Yep, yeah. yep, right, oh, close, Can close. Go yep, no, there we go, we almost had it, there we go. Egg cam, ooh. Which way, this way, nope, this way. Yes, Raphael, I've got a question. Andrew showed us a month ago an AI shortcut to uh, create different artboards from art and I can't remember it. Raphael, are you the one who hit me up on Twitter this morning? I saw your tweet and I just didn't have time to get to it. Um, I will show you how to do that right now. 
Sorry, also, thank you, Acam. I yeah. got distracted by having a question. <laughs> so, um, Raphael, should. here I am to help you. As always, if you have questions, this is a live stream. We are here to help. Raphael, let's say that you have a bunch of different uh, pieces of art that you want to create different artboards for. All you need to do is grab the artboard tool, and that is right over here above the hand tool. And with that selected, you're just going to click on the shapes that you have, and it will create a new artboard for that directly to the edge of what that vector is. So that's how you do it. Super easy tip. I love that. I found a unicorn tail. Um, so unicorn egg is in root. <laughs> I love this. Okay, so what I did wrong here, I think, is I actually want these to taper off a little bit. So I'm actually going to delete two of these and then center them and then see if I can get these to like taper down see, for the egg. That's what I was thinking, yeah. That's what I was trying to explain earlier, but I don't think I did a good job. It's I okay. I it was before you blended them. Yeah. Or like before you merged the path. It's okay, we all, we all, everybody hurts. It's early. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that's that's crazy. Crazy. <laughs> No, wait, this looks right. I don't know if it's going to do it, though, because will it? Oh, yeah, it'll totally do it. Oh, okay. Well, I thought that it might have to still be live shapes, but let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Uh, I also am going to do, like, a little overlap like this so that it does have some dimension to it. This egg has nothing happening. Okay, yeah, please Sorry. please solve our egg crisis. Also, we I'm tried to get a printer duty. so that we could print these, but we also uh, couldn't get a printer. So pretend uh, that we were printing these happen. and you're printing them at home. There we go. Okay. Oh, uh, see, yeah. wait, I can delete those. I can delete those. I can delete those. <laughs> shh, 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 shh. Talks itself. I can fix it. I can definitely fix it. I can fix it. it. Um, we also do need to move on. Um, okay, the blend options. We're going to do oh, um, specified steps. I'm going to do a whole bunch of steps here. And there we go. Now they're starting to overlap. Those ones are just extra in case they need it. Yes. Yeah, some details. This and I actually want to delete another one of these and see what happens. I think that it makes it like weird when I delete these. Yeah, it's trying to, okay, that's fine. I think it's because they need to be shaped, so. It's fine. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, I am going to delete two of these, and then we're going to be golden. Uh, I'm seeing now that I used ears that probably should have gone on this one, but. That's okay. This egg might be kind of scary looking. All right, so we are going to send that to the back. Ooh, scaly. Back. Ooh, okay. I like it better this way, I think. It could be a dragon. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is we're just going to make this pretty large, and then I am going to uh, crop it in, and then I will give it to you. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to give you this whole thing, and you can cut it out how you want. <laughs> Figure it out yourself. Okay. Adventure. Yes, adventure. Uh, what else do we want? We're just doing a lot of patterns I and stuff right now. green eggs and ham, maybe? Like, you could do some other Dr. Seuss things. We're not going to do that. Zombie egg was another suggestion. No, oh, no, no. Sue stuff could be fun. Okay, let's like use... Like a cat in a hat? Yes, let's use Adobe Firefly. So we're going to go to firefly.adobe.com. Uh, we're all over the place today. We're going to firefly.adobe.com, and this is going to um, okay. allow us to generate some really cool stuff. So I'm going to do, like, whimsical um, marker scribbles. Okay. Marker scribbles. Uh, and then do... Uh, so let's do whimsical... And this is for cat and hat? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and do let's color? do primary colors. Nice. Texture? Um, no, I'm just trying okay. to think of something that you could like transfer onto an egg. Like, have you ever seen like those transfer, or like you oh. print it and then you like water and it yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. transfers or whatever. So something that like scribbles it with okay, its way through. Okay, interesting. It's going to be like a watercolor effect on one? Yes. So we're going to do a square? No, we should do landscape, right? Okay, we have a question from chat. Are text effects only in Express now? Yes, that is an update that happened, uh, I believe, yesterday. Uh, text effects are only in Express and uh, generative recolors only in uh, Illustrator. Yep, so those were removed from the Firefly page. They are now directly in the apps because it's easier that way. These are very fun. These are very fun. I like that it has noodle type shape to it. <laughs> it is very noodly. Okay, so Underwater. I like this one. Yeah, I think that feels perfect. Not mad about it. So what we're nope. gonna do is we are just going to download this and chat, That's guess what? Cute. This is just going directly into the egg decorations here. So this one you can use to decorate your eggs. And Emily, can you um Yeah. Can you maybe see what the dimensions of an egg are? Can you guess like what the sizing <laughs> is? I'm just trying to like Should I Google size egg things. dimension? Yeah. Um, Oh, actually, I sized something for egg purse. That oh, you might did. actually be a good reference. Let okay. me pull up using Adobe yes, Dimension Emily's, Tool. The, Emily's going to use the Adobe Dimension Tool, um, which is new in Illustrator. If you haven't used it, uh, stick around. She's going to do a stream all about it in just a little while. Okay. Uh, and chat, we do need your help coming up with themes. We're kind of playing yeah. around with different themes. And look at this, Emily. Oh, wow, my screen's live. <laughs> 
Uh, okay, um, this is the this had a little bit extra space around it so that I can um, fit inside of like the space here. I'm gonna open it and show you. Um, so this is 2.3 by 3.19, which are a little bit crazy, but so I say like two by three might be the right egg shape. Two two inches by three inches? Yeah. Let's I'd try say it. So it's like okay. a business card egg size. Yes. So <laughs> let's do that. So what we're gonna do is we are going to uh, come down here and kind of just look at uh, Adobe Express. I can actually this is this is how I like to do it. I'll just make a box in Illustrator and copy and paste it. All right. So we're going two inches by three inches. I feel like we're missing some exciting things happening on your screen right now. Oh, that's it. I made a box that was there two inches is. by three inches. Perfect. There we go. <laughs> uh, and now I have kind of the sizing. So I know that like the egg is this size. Right. So I probably want to make this larger. Here's the thing though, I feel like, yeah, for bigger things like that, I think if you're making backgrounds, I feel like we should be making like scenes so that the egg can sit in. So some will be like like things that you stick on the egg and then some things will be the background. You know what oh, I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like a five by five. I don't know. Oh, that's yeah, let's but, do five. Because like can you stick the boulder on the egg? No, no, know. this is gonna go behind the egg. Okay. Yeah. You so like if I had it like <laughs> this way, you could like write like tape it to the egg so it's a little bit okay. bigger and okay. it looks like it's kind of coming oh, at the perfect. egg. So it's like a background. Okay, cool. Yes. So let's go <laughs> there. Um I think the whip here is probably well sized yeah. for like if the egg is coming out right yeah. there. So we've got the little whip and then this one, same thing, maybe a little bit smaller. I think so. And then maybe we rotate it so that you can kind of fit a little bit more space here. That still is that still is pretty big. Okay. Let's try that. <laughs> All right, so the scales need to be bigger because we want you to be able to wrap the whole egg with it. Smart. And does it actually need to be wider? I was just going to say, I think it needs to be wider because it's not going to go all the way around. Yeah. But for TV, I mean, they're not going to see it, so, but... Also, chat is really liking yeah. the generation that you did. Chat, are you are you making these for TV or for home use? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> that is going to be... Yeah, that's our dragon size. Perfect. And this is actually a good scale for the sizes that we'll need. The scale's a good scale. The scale's a good scale. That's good. <laughs> the scale's a scale. Um, okay, so I think that I need to make this generation larger, actually. The background? Yeah, so the, yeah. No, 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 the generation. Yeah, so oh. you can um, so that you can download it. So we are going to duplicate this, and then I'm going to paste and just make sure that this gets to be the same size. Smart. So when you print it, it will wrap around the egg for you. Did you ever do the ones where it was like plastic and you put it in water and it like shrinks to the egg? That's what that reminds me of. Oh, it's no, like but I know you're talking about, yeah. Egg in it. Yep. Um, okay, so let's do some more uh, scribble stuff. And again, we're okay. making a lot of custom brushes here. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to generate, ooh, I haven't done this before. Uh, let's generate um, uh, white paper with uh um marker scribbles. Ooh. So what I want to do here is I'm trying to create um actually I need one. I need like a line of a marker. I don't need a scribble. It might be a brush for that, honestly. Well that's what I'm trying to do is oh. oh you got a whole city. Yes. And a okay. Map. So um that's let's so just funny. do a single marker line on white paper. Did it give you like the New York skyline? <laughs> yes. So let's see what happens here. I'm trying to just generate like some markers. Oh, someone said you type market scribble. So maybe that's why we got. Oh. Oh, now you got a marker. Oh, okay. Um, maybe like paper marker texture. Paper. Okay. Yeah. So if this, uh, Sensei is confused. I'm <laughs> I'm just as confused as Sensei. Uh, and so thank you. New York? <laughs> Cody's got my back. Uh, let's see, if I can't get it, okay, oh. sure. Yeah. These are dramatic. Okay. Um. No. Do you try like marker lines? Let's just marker use stock. Drawing? Let's okay, use stock. So enough. we're gonna go to stock.adobe.com, and here's the hack: oh, slash free, um, slash free only filters <laughs> to free things. So we're just gonna do like marker uh, lines. I almost saw market happen again. I know, there was market happening again. Oh, those are perfect. Yeah, so there's some cool marker lines here uh, that I think are hand-drawn strokes, great. So free on Adobe oh. Stock, and I'm going to license this here, and then we're gonna make a brush out of one of these, cool. and then do like a kind of scribbled page so you can like wrap it on your egg. And each egg will be unique, depending <sighs> how you wrap it. Every egg is unique. <laughs> Everybody's different. Okay, so I am going to open this up in the downloads right there. We're gonna hit okay. We have a nice B cam. I feel like I need to organize the eggs every time we go to B cam. Egg cam. <laughs> but it's backwards. Just checking in, just to make sure it's still there. Nothing has hatched yet. There's still eggs. There's still. 
By the end of the, wait, can we get a, can we get a live chicken in here, please? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this over, and now I have this line. Ooh. And what I'm going to do is I am just going to, with that line selected, come over to the brush panel, which is Our right here. Panel. We're going to hit plus, and this one's going to be an art brush. Ooh. We're going to hit OK. What's the difference? Uh, the art brush basically takes it and stretches it along the path. Ah. So we're going to hit OK here, and we want to do tints and shades. Uh, I think <laughs> I literally have been trying to do that for like 10 years. And now when I brush, I have this nice little yeah. marker. It's gorgeous. And I can change the color, please. Please. Dang it. I did the wrong one. OK, so I can come in here. <laughs> We're going to do colorization is going to be tints. <laughs> Unsure. Tints. There we go. That we did it. it. OK. Did we do it? Oh, chat is getting us a chicken. Thank you, chat. Thank you. Just send it on over. Whatever. Thank you. Yeah, send it on over. Um, OK, so we have our little brush here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do scribbles in this size. So okay. we're just kind of kind of scribble. That went way out of hand. Whoa. <laughs> in case you have a giant egg. I'm worried that you haven't highlighted. OK, it's OK. Fear not, Emily. Oh, chat, right. if you can drop more chickens in the chat, that'd be super helpful. Yeah, chicken chat, please. <laughs> All right, so this looks good. Um, I don't like the how like sharp those are, so I'm going to change this to uh, a round. A roundy corner and cap. Yep, I also am going to round these just because. Sometimes you need a little bit more extra. Oh, there we go. Nice. Yeah, so we're going to okay. do some nice like primary colors. And actually, let's use generative recolor again. Why not? Uh, let's go ahead and up the thickness on that. Cool. Perfect. So that's one brush. Let's do a couple brushes. Yeah. OK. Sorry, I was looking at the chickens in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for everyone for bringing chickens. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> we needed that. Yes. So I'm going to grab um, this one right here. We're going to do it here again and just make another custom brush. We want to make sure that they're the same size. Ooh. Uh, we're going to go here plus, and we are going to do art brush. What did I say? That's right. Yes, yeah, so you did art brush, and then you did tints. Thank you. Not tints and shades. Thank you. I don't know what the difference is, but now we know. That's our market brush. Take her to market. <laughs> I did that one intentionally. Um, OK, so we got, <laughs> we got this one. Let the one. record show. Yep, another little brush here. We are going to increase the size of that. Smart. Uh, and then, oops. That's very textured. Andrew. What happened? Oh, I just forgot to like commit this. OK, there we go. So we got that. And then let's do one more brush. And it's going to be uh, more vertical. <laughs> and then we'll change this into some uh, pastel colors. What's giggles? Sorry, there's a hashtag now of chickens in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Can that be the theme of the next day or the yes. whole day? Chat, just know that I was going to open the stream and say, good morning, geese and goslings. It's true, but then you hit under the desk. <laughs> but then I hit under the desk instead. I got Which scared. Which was also really cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. We love a good bit. Maybe I'll do that on a future stream and chat. <laughs> if that happens, just pretend like it's like, oh my gosh, that was so funny. I didn't know he was going to do that. What a funny phrase. Um, all right, we're going to do tints, hit OK, and now we're going to come down here and do one more. OK, chat is suggesti suggesting stripes and gingham. I feel like that would be a great idea. Ooh. That's very chicken friendly. We can create a pattern. Emily. This is the brush chat now. Emily, we created really good patterns for Hush Plant University. We should show do some of those. you just want to show it right I'll now? show how, I'll, yeah. Chat, I have a library that has some really good patterns in it that Emily created that never got used. I don't remember them, so I'm um, going to see live what, <laughs> my history. Did you make them? Maybe I made them. Maybe I, I made them know. based off of what you made. It was a collaboration. It was a collaboration. That's a crazy Ooh, brush. Love a good collab. I know. That's a crazy, crazy yeah. brush. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to grab all of these colors that we have. We are going to multiply these, I think. Ooh, I like that. It gives watercolor and like... Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Should we make it the um, the colors of the solo cup? Like the like blue and like purple? <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Are you making it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I what think it's, to those? it's literally like a hardcore cyan. And then is it just... Oh, it is. It's purple. And then if... It's darker, right? Uh, no, I think there's two purples. I feel like there's a dark purple. Okay, yes, that one. And then the bright purple. And then this pink? Wait, what did I do? You missed the two. Orange. Okay. Leave that. It's that one. I think is a bright purple. Yes. That feels right. That feels right. Can summary, someone look at history and let us know if that's Please right? Please try help us. <laughs> look, search history. OK, so we're going to do like four on here. I think this one's fun. I love it. Don't be mad. Uh, I'm going to maybe pull this over You know what? Here. I think it's a dark blue. I don't think it's uh, the purple needs to be darker, whatever that color is, if it's purple or blue. This purple? Yeah, it has to be darker. Is this a dark blue? Like, are there two blues? All right, I'm going to try and find this. I'm not mad it. about that. And you know what? We can do a couple options. Let's do a couple options. Why not? And we'll just, here's what you do, chat. You just rotate it. Just rotate, and then you have something completely new. 
And then was this like know. a hot pink? Yeah. I'm Googling famous cut print. Ah, oh, it's only two colors. It's only two colors? Well, we're adding a third. Welcome to the future. Oh, okay, but so it gets it a is third dark. because it's multiplied. Yeah, it's a darker purple. No, it's like a medium purple. And then when it's multiplied, it looks dark. Do you see what I'm seeing here? Yes. Okay. That medium purple stays. You're right. And the blue teal is like it's way a little less like crazy. thicker. Oh, someone else is looking it up. Thank you. Yeah, it's light blue and dark purple. There we go. So maybe let's do one that is just the two. This is the 2024 version. Yeah, we're in the future. As I got word of the year, I said 2024. Okay, so let's do this and then let's do. Wow. They're still in print, so if you guys want to buy one, they're still out there. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm not mad about that, right? That's just super like a fun. two, yeah. Yep. They were probably made on Adobe Live in the past. I, I right? think, yeah, I think that's that, that actually came from. it's canon, yeah. With, it's canon. <laughs> it's canon. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder if we could get the designer of the Solo Cups on Adobe Live. And they just make brushes the entire time. Yeah, chat, I need, chat, I need you to find Someone who their... designed this, <laughs> and I need you to find their contact info so that I can book them to come onto Adobe Live. Their talent manager, find them, please. Yes. Okay, um, we're gonna rotate this maybe a little bit. And this is gonna be so a chicken can be branded like a cup, is that correct? Yes. Just bringing that back to our theme today. Yeah, yeah, 100%. <laughs> we really rabbit trailed there. Yeah, so I'm gonna uh, go ahead and bring this back into Express. Again, chat, you Amazing. are gonna get this at the end of the stream uh, and you can do whatever you want with it. This new color version of a classic. Yes. Are you overlaying it or you're just sizing it? Yeah, I just said, sizing maybe it. that's too many colors. <laughs> maybe keep them separate. Okay, do I, it, there's not enough room. Chat, this is just going to be a bunch of pages, so do whatever you want. Well, maybe we can add in the smaller ones. Like, Oh, I guess they're not smaller, though, because they're egg-sized. Yeah. Well, we'll figure it out. Yeah, this is your fault, chickens. <laughs> I blame the chickens for making big eggs, honestly. <laughs> Let's, eggs, eggs are too big. Okay, so I'm going to delete this one. We're going to put this one up top. And Super then fun, I love that. The other one down a little bit lower. And chat, if you have any uh, questions... If you have any suggestions. About how did we get here? <laughs> about like anything. Like if you have any questions about anything, you, try to stump me. We'll see if we can, we'll see if we can figure you it out. You heard him chat, throw it in there. Okay, so so far we have adventure egg, <laughs> dragon egg. We have like crazy solo cup egg. We have. Uh, and that's it. Yeah. Wait, I think you should go back to dragon egg. I think dragon egg needs something else. All he had was scales. That's true. They need like, a torch or fire, maybe? Do you want to just give them a little stock photo, like fire? No? Mm. Or a treasure chest? Don't like dragons guard treasure? Mm. Nope, not interested in that. Yeah, sorry, I was breathing <laughs> fire. <laughs> sorry, your suggestions bore me. Um, I think that a dragon needs something. I know. What would a dragon, gold? I said, yeah, gold. Should, okay. I, what time is it? I don't know. You got time. Okay. Got Chat, I have a cool like type trick to show you. <laughs> okay. Can I? Okay. Is there a way to export a text effect in Adobe Express into Photoshop or Illustrator? Yes. Yeah. Guess what? We, we just are did now. That. We need a. We did need we like a. That? We need a graphic for like off the rails, or like <laughs> just the camera shake. Yeah, like like side uh like side quest. We need like a side quest graphic, uh, oh. because we are going to stop what we're doing and we're going to answer that question right there. Perfect. Shh, I'm gonna. Check it out. I see Robert. I see your thing for horns for the dragon. I think it needs it. I'm gonna go in because I'm shared on this document. Oh, thank you. And I'm gonna add that in for us. Cool. Emily's gonna make some stuff for us. I'm helping um, the dragon. Over on my screen, I'm gonna answer your question, Roland. Uh, what you can do is you can do um, your uh, text here. So I'm just gonna do hey. Also, you can do emojis in here if you didn't know. Really? Uh, Immediately, I looked away from what I was doing. Why did it say make? <laughs> I want to say hey. There we go. Okay. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do loose. Um, oh, the because literally I put the uh, yeah I put the prompt as hey, uh, and it. so let's do in here. Let's do hey, but h a y, um, and so then it is going to render the hey for me. Hmm. Is that how you spell hey? How do you spell hey? That's right. Yes. In English, that is how you spell it. Whoa! What happened? That's cool. That's the text effect, all right. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go back in Illustrator and make it over here. Embellished, and let's yeah, do like uh, wheat. Ooh. Um, 
How does the tint and style work in text effects in Adobe Express? I don't get it. Here we are. We're here to help you, Roland. Don't worry. Here to help. So right here looks good. The background color here, um, you can actually just turn off the background and that will make it see through. And now we have like this cool little background or this cool generation, right? We have our text effects. Uh, and then from here, all you need to do is if you wanted to change this, uh, you could go and export this super easily. So we have all of our results here. Looks pretty good. Uh, we're going to go to download right here and then go to transparent PNG. And so downloading a transparent PNG is going to allow you to take that into Illustrator, into uh, Photoshop, wherever you really need it. And when you open it, boom, now there we have a transparent is. PNG. Uh, you can even put it over your design if you want to. Ooh. So super easy to export out of Adobe Express with the text effects. Magic. I'm making the little horns with a little glue tab. Oh, thank you. Emily is making horns for us. Did that answer your question? Hopefully that answered your question, Roland, um, and helped you out. Um, all right, let's keep going here on our egg document that is so off the rails. Um, chat, do off you want, okay, let's do one that, that? that maybe is just like, what's a good pun? Like a good Easter pun. It's like, excellent and. I, I, excellent's the best one. Eggtastic. Um, Chad, do you have any good Easter puns for us? Yeah, I need something short. Are um, you going to do a text effect with it? Yes. Maybe I should do like a... Like sunny side up? Or no, that's not. That's just... Oh, I like sunny side. That's just a way you can get eggs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's, oh, let's do... Um, let's do... Oh, this is going to be so good. Let's do take it over easy. <gasps> that's fun. Oh! Are we making Easter t-shirts or what's the vision here? Where are we going? Um, yeah, let's do a little... Let's do a t-shirt. Why not? Why? Let's yeah. do a little t-shirt that you can put on For your the egg. egg. <laughs> I, <laughs> we're down to egg merch, so. Yeah, we're doing egg merch. So I'm going to do Take It Over Easy. We're going to do uh, Trade Gothic here. Of course, a classic. Classic. One of your favorite. If you had to choose a favorite font, Andrew, what is it? It's trade that. <laughs> yeah. You got me. <laughs> we know. You got me. Um, um, all right. So I am going to change my settings here. And if you've ever uh, tried to create a long shadow. Emily, how do you create long shadows? Um, like, is it flat? Or are you just going to go behind? Like a pew. I usually do a blend path as well. Yes. I'll so, do a version of version and blend them together. Yes. Uh, and so Roland's saying, uh, no more CC library integration. I'm not sure. It just changed yesterday, so I'm not sure. Um, I could try to find out for you. Uh, egg sighting. They're on it with them. With Let's the, do take it over easy. Uh, I also am going to do. <laughs> I already typed it. Sorry. I, yeah, it's already here. So what we can do is we are going to make uh, a long shadow here, and let's grab our kind of Easter colors. And what I'm going to do is just make a couple boxes here because I know I want three colors. Why is my clipping mask? We're going to make these three random colors, and then we are going to use generative recolor to do um, pastels. Genius. And I kind of want like bright pastels. I don't think that's a thing, but let's see what happens. So we're gonna create a, and this is a really great way to get really easy color palettes, is to just like make random boxes of random colors, you use generative recolor. I think that's really smart. I think it's gonna get you stuff that you wouldn't actually make yourself. Ooh. Know. Okay. Okay, I like this like brown a lot, or this like whatever color that is. Yay. Right? Yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are going to select our text, and our text oh. is going to uh, be this color. All right. We have dragon horns in, well, those are probably too big. Sorry, let me scale these down. Okay. He's not that evil, yes, just a little evil. So instead of doing um, everything in blends or outlining, you can actually come over to the appearance panel. And with our text selected, we are going to add in another fill. Ooh. And that fill is going to go in the back. So we have our fill, and this is going to be. Um, You're actually, layering these right now? Yeah. Are you going to do the, the stretch and blend? Uh, no. No. We're not going there. Yeah. I literally learned this this morning on TikTok, so I wanted to show you. Um, thanks, TikTok. Um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to do a fill, and we are going to, and again, chat, I'm doing this for the first time here. Uh, we are going to make one fill, then we're going to make another fill, and this fill is going to go behind. This is going to be our shadow. And from there, on this fill selected, we're going to go to effects, and we are going to go to distort and transform, Ooh. and we are going to click on transform. Transform. And this is going to move by, oh, I need to change to pixels. Hold, please. Chat is also asking again if you could show where a generative recolor is. 
Oh, yes, totally. Um, it is in edit, edit colors, generative recolor. Um, or with the contextual toolbar. Sometimes it's right there. Yep. Woo. If you select things, recolor right there. So we have this selected. We are on the fill right here. We're going to go to effects, distort and transform, go to transform. And then we are going to change this by one pixel and one pixel. We are going to change the angle to a negative 45. Nope. That's not what I want. Sorry. That's not, I, it's, it doesn't need to do that. Okay. It's not rotating. So it's moving down one pixel and right one pixel, which I think these need to be negatives. Oh, no. Oh, that's going up. Hold on. Let me put this at 10 so I can actually see. Chat, Chat again. We're learning together. Okay. One and one. A practical yoke. Oh, that's, that's fun. That's pretty good. Uh, so one and one. And then copies. I'm actually going to do like 80 copies here. Wow. That's a lot. Check it out. That looks great. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. So we're going to hit OK there. And I think that that looks pretty, oops. I think that looks pretty good. That's great. Uh, I might add a stroke inside this okay. just to give it a little bit of uh, oomph. And so what we're going to do is with this, we are going to add in a stroke. So we're going to add a new stroke right here. We are going to make that our white color. Make that a little bit thicker. I'm going to try and find you a little shirt to put this graphic on. Thank you, Emily. Oh, wait, there's a dad hat. We're going to put the dad hat in here as well. Oh, yes. I love that. I might need a horizontal version of what you're doing. I'll make it bigger so you can... Oh, how big is an egg? Hold on, I'll go get our reference egg. I'm going to add another stroke here. Let's see if this goes around the whole thing. Uh, uh, stroke needs to go behind. So you can actually layer all of your strokes and fills. Um, and that will allow you to have some really cool effects. And actually, what we would do here is we would actually add another fill behind this. So I'm going to add another fill. It's going to be that white color. Okay. And then I need to make sure that it is going behind. Fill there. Oh, chat. Why is this not? Hold on. Wait, I got it. The effect is still on it. So let's change this transform. And then this is actually a great way to do like a gradient. Wait, wait. Okay. Not mad about it. Wow. You're getting wild over there. It's kind of cool. Okay. Chat. I'm not mad about it. Um, let's do this as our um, shirt. Did you put a little shirt in there? I'm having a hard time finding just like a vector shirt. Um, but. An egg could wear a real shirt, right? Emily. And yes, an egg <laughs> could wear a real shirt. Chat, any objections to an egg wearing a real shirt? I hear nothing. Okay, great. Perfectly so I'm just going to copy. It. And what's cool is this is definitely still live text. So I can come in here and if we wanted to, we could make another one. Uh, and someone's saying uh, practical, practical, practical yolk. yolk. Okay, I found one that's pink, which I think is going to work quite nicely for what you have going on there. Cool. Oh, so you can type, and it's going to keep all of those settings, uh, which will make it really nice to be able to create different variations there. Okay, practical yoke, I think you should make it for the hat. I think that would work perfectly. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Yeah. So I'm going to scale strokes and effects just to have them. Uh, practical yoke, I think we want it. What, um, what? I'm just thinking of colors. This uh, The hat I have selected is white, and then the shirt, I have a pink shirt and then a blue shirt as well. Oh, perfect. Now you can see. Okay. And a dinosaur. <laughs> Can I make this blue? Should I make it green? Yeah. The hat is white. So if you want it to match, I'd say either make it pink or blue. Oh, okay. Like hot pink? Um, yeah, do hot pink. Why not? Okay. That's fun. And then let's do the stroke that we have in like a blue. Like oh, a that's bit. ugly. There's a lot of illustrations sure. of socks happening over here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we want some socks. Practical yoke. All right. So what we can do is we're going to grab our take it over easy, and I'm going to drop it onto uh, our document over here. And you're just command copying, command pasting. Is that right? Uncopy and, and that's paste. crazy. Super easy from Illustrator. Over easy, so super easy. Take it over easy. <laughs> I love these are shirts for eggs. <laughs> All I don't right. know how it's going to stay on, but it's cute. <laughs> yeah. Practical yoke. We're going to bring that in here, and hat. we're going to bring that on the hat. Very fun. Trendy egg. <laughs> it's so trendy to do hats. Okay, love Cute. this. And we're actually going to do something else. So what I'm going to do gonna is I am going to grab the hat from Express. So I'm going to copy the hat from Express, come over into Illustrator. Command V, just like that? Can I? I can't. I, I was going to be amazed. <laughs> that never works for me. 
Did okay, I can't. I thought it went the other way. Um, uh, five minutes? Sure, chat. I'll show you how to do this. Um, we're going to use the white hat. You find it. We're going to use the mock-up tool real quick. So I'm actually, ooh, huh. this is great to have one like at an angle. So I like this one. I'm just going to grab this at image an angle, here. You're getting crazy. And then I'm going to come into Illustrator and just open that image. It's going to download for us right here. Chat has another pun for us. Show me the bunny. Like, show me the money. Oh, nice. I like that. <laughs> okay, so we have this here. We have our little hat. And let's say Cute. that we want to put the practical yoke on it. Okay. All that we need to do is we are going to select both of these. We want to make sure that the image is on top. And we're going to go to Object, Mockup Beta, and hit Make. And this Ooh. is a new tool that is in beta. Um, oh, for peep's sake. <laughs> That's so funny. Fantastic. Absolute genius. Uh, we do have a couple minutes left, so I am going to do this real quick, and then I'm going to generate a QR code so that you can... I was going to generate a QR code. In your stream? On the next stream. But oh. let's, let's do it. I think it's a great feature. Yes. Hey, look, it's Paul. Thanks, hey. Paul. Hey, Paul. We love you so much here on Adobe Live, but not right now. If you're doing it right, Paul will show up. If you're doing it right, Paul shows up and he's like, hey. You're hey, doing great, kid. Hey, slugger. You're doing great. Um, all right. Can so, we add that feature? Yeah. Can we add a Paul feature, please? This is so cool. I haven't seen this. Wow. Yeah, so incredible. it will find basically all of the different what? angles uh, of your design and make it so that it fits that. And I that usually change it so to cool. multiply here and then maybe take it down to like 10% or something or like 90%. Take it down As if five. It was being screen printed. Yes. I love that. Let's take it down that a little looks bit more. Great. There we go. Okay, cool. So now we have our practical yoke on a hat, and I think that that looks pretty fun. That looks pretty great. All right. In Express, chat, here's... An angled hat. Here's what we created. Oh, yeah, we're doing a recap. We have, like, three minutes left, so... Yeah, it's it's not great, chat, but we made you some stuff. <laughs> we made you some things. Uh, also, you could have your eggs look like this. Um, Wait, I want to show the unicorn tail. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Let's... Yeah, can we egg cam? To the egg cam. There we go. So you could... Uh, cut them out like this. Yep. Make your own little eggs, little unicorn tail. Um, oh, there we go. Here we go. <laughs> yes. So you could create your own. This is from Target. <laughs> but you could create your own or use our template here. Also, what you could do is you can come in to media, and then we could grab media out of here. So if you wanted to, uh, maybe want to go to elements, and maybe we do want some sunglasses. I love that. We can type in sunglasses here, and there are a ton of options in Adobe Express. Um, and you know what? I'll place them over here for you. So let's I'm do. Awesome too. Yeah, let's do some cool little sunglasses here for your eggs. Uh, and you can add those in. And again, we are going to be exporting this as a remixable template right now. Ooh, Emily's tossing some flowers in there. That's you know. fun. Ooh, little hipster glasses. Whoa. Oh, you here. generated in the same spot. Yeah, wow, I did. This okay. Is crazy. <laughs> got it. Okay. <laughs> So we've got some extra little stuff for you here in Adobe Express, and I am going to um, go ahead and share, share this. this library? Yeah. <gasps> so we're going to share this as a remixable template so that you can do everything that you want with your eggs. Make sure that you tag at Adobe Live on Instagram if you post uh, and cut these out to decorate your egg. So I'm going to go to share, and then I am going to go to publish to web. Oh, save as remixable template. Perfect. Uh, we are going to publish a link. This is new. Ooh, I was going to say, I haven't done this Egg before. decorations love. Allow others. Absolutely. Allow. And then we're going to publish the link. This is actually new. It, it was a different workflow, and now, it, now is it is a lot more streamlined. So it is going to export this for me. It will generate a link, and then I am going to create a QR code in the next 35 seconds uh, to <laughs> make it so that you all can download this. Incredible. Very important. Yes. Go. Publish. 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 Faster. More. Can I start it? Okay. While it's doing that... <coughs> Back to Adobe Express we go. Yes, and I'm just going to what click on oh, right generate QR code. We're going to grab our link right here. We're going to paste it in here. Where's it going? You have to enter. Yeah. There we go. Chat. This is how you get you your remixable it. template. Scan uh, now. Adobe Express Beta is available on mobile as well. Um, so scan that QR code. Rewind by like 10 seconds if you want, and we will be back in just a few minutes. To, to make create this. this cool little egg purse. I'm just gonna put this egg in here real fast. Let me yes, just, uh... <laughs> little egg purse. So um, stick around. We're gonna use the Dimension Tool and Illustrator. Bye, everybody. Bye. I figured that for this stream, just do a, a recap on what you can do with Gen Fill in Photoshop.
So one of the things that you can actually do with GenFill AI is create composites. In this image, you can see that the foreground element and the background element have very similar lighting styles. If yeah. this was a nighttime shot, it probably wouldn't work as well. Her horizon line is right about yeah. here. So we need to match those so that it's in the uh, appropriate areas. So we're gonna have to replace the sky as well. What we need to do is lasso tool and I'm gonna make a selection and I'm actually gonna go into the tree line because again, we want to replace the sky. So there you go, oh. selection is there. If you feel like you go into an area where you made a mistake, you can hold Alt on Windows, Option uh -huh. on the Mac, click and drag to subtract, uh -huh. boom. And all I need to okay. do now is click on Generator Fill, click on Generate and don't type anything in the prompt, let Photoshop oh, okay. do its see. magic. What's, uh, what's gonna happen? We'll see. So now we can select from one of the variations, right? But I can just make a selection here, click on generator fill, and I'll just type something like lake. You know, maybe there's a lake there to the <laughs> next to the Eiffel Tower now. It's just that easy. There you go, look at that. Is this already included in Photoshop? Yes! Mm -hmm. Download the latest Photoshop now. It's there, available for everybody. Full Keep version, no longer in beta. Yes. And best of all, available for commercial use. With the crop tool, we now have this option here called generative expand and click and drag out and then I'll generate. I kind of like this one, but I really don't like yeah. the hand. So what we could do is we can just come in here, maybe it's selfie, just... there you go, we were able to expand it. Another thing that you can do in Photoshop that a lot of people don't know about is you can actually import video. So I have a video file here of this bicyclist coming along, that's the footage, right? portrait. You can now just expand this out like so, and I'll commit the changes. So notice that the uh, generator fill layer here, it's it's not going to the beginning of the video, right? So I just gotta drag that over here and look at that. Oh there, my gosh. There it is. I'm gonna hit play. And there's No! <laughs> Crazy, <laughs> right? So awesome, yeah. In this image, we have this gentleman walking through the street and he's wearing you know, white jeans and his hand looks a little distracting. Oh. I don't know, let's have him hold um, a cup of coffee. And by the way, selections are important. So like, I usually like to like draw it out, you know? So like a cup about that big, I would say, junior fill. And I'm just gonna type the word coffee, holding a cup yeah. of coffee. Blue jeans. There you go. I like those jeans better. <laughs> <laughs> we can also do things to the background. Pro tip, you start with the polygonal lasso tool click and it draws these straight lines, right? I'm sure we've all seen that before, but if you hold the Alt key on Windows, which is the Option key on the Mac, yeah. it'll allow you to just freehand. Oh. And then you can go back by releasing the Alt key yeah. to the straight lines. So I made that selection there and includes that couple walking there. And now I'm gonna type in something like, I don't know, like a Venetian canal. You can see in how we were easily uh, able to change essentially the location of this photo. If I do something that looks like this and just type the word fish, oh. notice one thing, if this was a realistic photo, the intensity underwater will be different than the intensity on top, oh, okay. right? Yeah. Make it all black, because you don't want to select anything. And then this top part here, uh, where the fish is gonna jump off, that one will be completely white at 100%. And then down here, where the fish is underwater, we can do a different percentage. Whoa. See that? This looks more realistic now. See the, the bottom part? Okay, let me show you guys yeah. something in Firefly. I'm just gonna cool. say, do something like modern living room with a fireplace. And I'll make it into a widescreen and a photo. Picking one that had a fireplace obviously on the left. The fireplace is not on the right or in the middle. It's obviously on the left, right? So use as, as reference image. It's gonna create similar images where the fireplace will be on the left. When you click on this thumbnail, you'll get this little reference image thing, right? So by default, it's right in the middle. I can now come in here, and instead of saying modern living room, I can say something like Victorian. Now, do I want it to reference more the, the reference image or the prompt? Well, maybe the prompt a little more. So when I click on generate, there you go. See, fireplace on the left, and it Whoa. looks like a Victorian living room, right? When we're working with Genfill, we might wanna add an element, right? So why don't I add like, an old red truck, right? What if we just move it here and maybe, you know, make it larger See, or I whatever. Mean... So select subject to have the AI make the selection for us. And then we can click on uh, delete the layer mask, the original layer mask, and then just make that into a layer mask. And there it is. With the brush tool, we can work on like the details, right? Because the grass, you know, we still want some of those shadows, right? So we can just paint with white on this that. This is insane. Thank you, Jesus Ramirez, for, for jumping on. This was the best. This is exactly what I needed. I think this is what everybody <laughs> needed. It's the perfect way to end. Thanks, everybody.
Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Adobe Live. My name is Emma Gustafson, and I'm here with Emily. 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 <laughs> yes, Emma and Emily. How fun is that? And Emily is going to design some really fun egg packaging, very on brand for spring and yes. for Easter. So I'm so excited to see how this is made. <laughs> I don't think I could come up with how to do this myself. So Emily, let's get started. Yeah, so my name is Emily. I do a lot of packaging design. Um, none has been egg related at this point in my career, okay. but as of today, we are taking it I there. I think your egg clients are gonna start lining yeah. up after today. If anyone has some chickens who needs some <laughs> packaging for their work, you let me know. I love it. Um, so yeah, so this is our little uh, functional purse situation. I've been calling it egg purse just because I think it's funnier. Yeah. Because um, who doesn't want to bring a purse around with an egg? Um, but just to show you, there is this is made for a regular little Easter egg size, which I think Aww. is the size of a real egg looking at it. This feels yeah. egg-like, right? Are these real? Um, those are not real. Okay, well. <laughs> there are no real eggs here. It looks like the same size. <laughs> but here, maybe I can pack one of them up here. His sunglasses oh, might be cute. too big. Here, he gets yeah, accessories might get damaged, but <gasps> wait, yeah. that's fun. Just connect the eggs. Okay, but so for today's packaging, as we get into it, um, I wanted to highlight that as I was going about this, I'm like, how can we make this something that's printable at home? So this template okay. will be available for you. Um, that's Score. not going to require like any like tape or glue or anything like that. So it has to like fold together, um, which is its own like structural situation, right? Yeah, all about craft, yes. which is a struggle for me. But I love that I can do this at home. So right. a freebie after this. Super fun. We're in um, for such a treat. Foldable. It did take a little bit of scaling. So if you have a bigger egg, you might have to use a bigger sheet of paper, but we'll get to it. So perfect. Egg purse. That's what we're doing today. Let's get to it. I'm going to put this guy back in. Cute. Yeah, got to yes. get our eggs in a row. Okay, so on my screen here, um, I was working, thinking about like what kind of packaging structure that we were going to want. Um, and as I was working, I was like, okay, this would be great. This would be like folding up more so, right? So like right. Um, like a taller box. And then I didn't finish it because I was running out of space on here. And then also these would have to be like glue tabs and that just gets like, you have to wait. Oh, I don't want to glue. We don't want to glue. It would ruin my nails. You got to. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a mess. And if you have kids, like oh, you're like, oh, crafts are going to get messy. Um, this one was awesome. But as you can see, this is kind of the height. So this is like the width right here in the middle or like the base. So that's okay. the egg. So that part? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And then these were the sides. So it was too short and it was too flat and this structure would work but again it wasn't going to see if or it wasn't going to fit on an eight and a half by 11. Uh -huh. so i was like okay this isn't going to work so then we became in this like egg situation i actually was thinking about um dunkin donuts sells like donut holes in like a little oh you're yeah. so right and I was, like, i've seen those i told my husband i was like i think we have to go to dunkin donuts i need to reference it's this. for research purposes <laughs> yeah. any um, excuse to get donuts for research exactly. is appropriate yes and so we I, we did not go but that got me on the right track of like okay this is the shape that i want it to be love um, it because it's holdable and anyhow so that so in my day-to-day -day life typically i work with packaging designers who do more of the structural part of it um and that depends on like you know what substrate you're using and that kind of thing um, but today I took the wheel and here we are so I'm so impressed that <laughs> seems like a lot of math it is a lot more math than you think and um, you're like, wait how do we get here no <laughs> yeah this is exciting for me to see how it's done because right? I've tried to like make cubes before that can fold and I don't even do that very successfully it so this back, <laughs> right, to, like, grade school. yes yeah so I'm it. so glad we have an expert here <laughs> to teach me and to teach all of you yes Oh, there's eggs in the chat. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks, Andrew. All it. the eggs. <laughs> okay. Um, so a really cool new feature. So if you're designing, I'm like, where do I start with this intro here? A really cool new feature is the dimension tool, which is useful okay. for a lot of things, but especially useful for packaging. So if I was building this as a designer, it's like this weird little space at the top. Let me move this up. <laughs> um, if I was designing this, I and I wanted to pass this off to a producer or a supplier, they're gonna look at this and say, great, but like what scale do you want it to be at, right? Right. And so you'd have to come in here and you'd be like, okay, like let me look at the shape. All right, like and, and measure then I'm gonna go to my properties those. panel, right? And I'm like, okay, it's 2.5 by this, and then you would drop in like a little line, I'd like pen tool it. This was like my very first job I was doing. Um, I would do like trim tags for clothing. And so I'd have oh, to go wow. in and like measure them all out. That sounds right? very tedious. It is. I mean, it doesn't take too, too long, but it is like this really boring process yeah. to repeat. But now there's the dimension tool. I'm so excited. My, I've heard of it, but I've never used it. I just reset my thing and now it's not there. Dimension. Well, it's okay. We'll get it. Raphael in the chat said that dimension tool is a game changer dimension for them. Dimension tool is so amazing. I'm excited. I'm Why glad we have some fans in the chat. Dimension tool hidden. Chat, where'd it go? Hmm. Is it hidden under one of these other ones? Probably. That's um, unfortunate. Let's see. Do I dare open the other program? No, right? Not perspective, no. <laughs> Exit perspective. If you have to switch, stuck. that might be okay. All right. 
you know, this is live, and we're yeah. just going to roll with it. And my dimension tool moved. Rolling I with it like the Easter eggs rolling down the hill. I don't know why it did that. Okay, well... We'll figure it out. Oh, a sneak peek of your other fun artwork. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> ah, okay. In the meantime, y'all can check out Emily's website or Instagram. Really cute stuff. Thank I you. was doing my homework before I got to meet you here and so my style too. So really? I, love I that. was very excited just to chat with you because I feel like, yeah, I could learn a ton from you. And packaging, I think, is something that is kind of tricky to learn or to get into. Definitely. Like you could have all the graphic design skills. But putting it on a three-dimensional surface is a like whole game. a whole nother level. Yeah. Okay. Well, I have it open here. So I'm going to be using... Whoa. Now I have too many <laughs> illustrators open. That's what my brain feels like today right? on Thursday. Too many tabs open. Okay. I am still an illustrator. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So we found it, uh, the uh, dimension tool now. It's hiding right here. It was perfect. not hiding, but it was not there in my other version. Um, and so what you're going to do here, so there's three options. We <gasps> oh can do gosh, angle. I see it. We Sorry. <laughs> no, you're perfect. You're getting it. Um, I'm going to click here, and then I'm going to click here along my path, and then I'm just going to drag it up, and then it's going to drop wow. it in for me, which is amazing. So oh my I'm going to do the width as well. So I'm going to go this way. And the scale of this guy is a little tight, so I'm gonna like sneak it on here. Um, so hopefully I'd make this as a bigger sheet of paper and pass sure, it off to the printer. Like 11 by 17 yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah. And the printers can handle anything that's like giant, so no worries yeah. there. Um, but I'm just gonna go through and add dimensions to these so you guys can just see how fast and how easy it is to use this. And you can also change it. So if you want to change like the arrow style, if you want to do dash Oh, lines, so you can make it look prettier too, yeah. even though they're just like printer markings. Right, yeah. I kind of appreciate that. Make your files look nicer. Yeah. yeah. Turns out designers care about this stuff. <laughs> um, so you could choose yeah, a different arrow style, anything like that. Um, I'm just going to reset it because I like this is like pretty standard for me and I'm for fine sure. with that. Um, so yeah, you would just go in here and measure these out. And this can also let you double check like, hey, are these going to fold together correctly? Um, is the spacing all right? Yada, yada. And those are the tabs for folding Those are these it little in. tabs to go okay. through the circle, right? That's super nice. Um, and those have to be about the same distance that the hole has to be on this panel, or sorry, on this side panel that um, folds up, right, so that they're matching. So this little space here is pretty similar to this space here, so they insert correctly. Love it. Right? Okay, so let's use the other portions then. We'll use the, the um, angle tool. I wouldn't use this for this necessarily because it's not a huge part of it, uh -huh. um, but I'll demo it for you. So you would okay, click let's here, see and then you would click across here, and then it's going to, if I drag in, it's going to give me that inside oh my gosh. angle. But then if you go on the outside, it's going to give you the outside angle, right? So I'm just going to click it. I'm just it already thinking in my head of how many times I could have used that. <laughs> and not even for packaging to projects. To cheat in math class. <laughs> yeah, that too. I probably could have used some uh, math help back in the day. <laughs> um, so that one's the angle tool, which is awesome. And then let's do the radius tool. So this one can do radius and it can also do the diameter. Okay, love it. Because there are two parts of a circle here. So if you just click, it's going to measure it directly like that. But if you click and drag inside, it's going to give you the... Um, did I say dimension? I meant diameter. No, you said, you okay, said diameter. diameter. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Perfect. So we have the radius and diameter. Um, if that's important for whatever it is that you're working on, but usually it's good to call it out again for scale to make sure that everything's right. getting printed correctly. Um, I just kind of threw these on here crazy because we were just demoing it. Um, but you can come back in and easily delete them by just clicking on the number itself, and then they'll just go away. But dimension tools, Perfect. wonderful and fabulous. Yeah, um, I love that it takes out all that no, manual right? work. And then you would have to draw this line, this, this vertical line. It just was a lot yeah. to do. Oh so, my goodness, that's love it. awesome. Chat, you were right. It is a game changer. Right? And I think I need to use this in my own life. You definitely do. I'm going to set this up how I would for print just to show. Um, yeah, show us the real deal. This is a legit project. Want to the exciting stuff? Yes. Right. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go back to using this one, and I'm just going to be clicking along here. So I have pulled some colors together. I made a little library, and I'll show you guys that library. Cute. But if there's any like fun call outs that you that you think of or chat, if you think of okay. like, what we want. Totally. Um, actually, I'm going to do the end here because uh, I think that's actually what matters is this side. So we get that gradient um, or the angle, I guess. But yeah, anything on the egg packaging, since this isn't a real thing, we can do whatever we want. There's no like requirements from no the official vendor. branding there for the is egg no brand. No official branding. Yeah, except fun and exciting is probably what we're going for. Perfect. Um, and then I would get the height on this. I think that's important, too. So we'll do that. And then I would set up. So normally for packaging, you only need to set up like one. Whoa, I don't know what point. One side of it. Yeah, or like one reference, right? So like I don't sure. need to do all four tabs. I just need to do like oh an angle, perfect. <laughs> you just need to do one tab, right, yeah. to make sure that 
that makes sense. Carol had a good question in the chat. Do you set up bleed usually for your packaging projects? Um, Yes, that's a great question. We'll do a full color bleed. Um, A bleed for this looks a little bit different, right? Because it's like a custom die cut and not just a typical page. But yes, we do bleeds. And if not, yeah, you run the risk of having um, like white. Oh, I need to switch over to weird radius. little borders. Yeah, like a when white you border print it. or a shift. Yeah, and you don't want to have that. So nope. I wouldn't. I probably would call it diameter on this, honestly. Yeah, um, that makes I don't sense. think I would do radius just because there's nothing different about the circle. Right. Okay. So we have a side tab. We have this part. Now we need to probably. Oh, we have this height. Now we need to get this width. It's already there. That's good, right? So because some of these share the same dimensions, right? So this tab shares the same. Right. Width right. As this guy. Um, so then we have the height of that guy, and we have the width called out. So we might actually. Just this circle is probably the separate size. So let me just get that guy. And it's then it should be, yeah. Oh, I see. The hole for your hand is a little bit. See, this is so helpful using the like <laughs> right? in-person reference. This is, I think, what I need when I'm making crafts like this. No, it's super helpful. Because like seeing it on the page like that is a little intimidating right? for someone like me. So now I can see, okay, this hole is a little bit bigger than that hole. Yeah. Makes sense. I feel like, so I work in a lot of like, you know. (laughs) Right? Don't you know (laughs) Yes. It matches like the pink in my outfit. I was working for a client and doing a shoebox design. And so you like stare at the die line for so long. You're like, okay, I think I know how it's going to fold together. Um, But then I'm always like, you know what? I'm just going to print one. So I'll print like a like eighth scale, right? And have this like tiny little shoebox sitting on my desk and everything. Um, I love it. Okay. Yeah, that's smart. (laughs) This is how I would typically send it. Um, It's got a little like chaotic in here. So I might separate that out just for ease. Um, This is kind of a layer. And usually I do this as like a separate layer on the file. So you could turn off, turn it on and off. That's nice. Not to distract Um, you when you're actually Designing exactly. on the die line. So this is our I'm original. On. Yeah. I'm a good student, She's a right? Natural. <laughs> I love it. No, not a natural. <laughs> just learning from the best. But a good student, which is how I become second nature. Okay, so this is our shape here, and I'm gonna add the bleed to go like to get started here. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna expand this, and I'm gonna use this as um, an offset path in order to like do like a full bleed on oh, it. Oh, okay, that mm-hmm. makes sense. So and I'm gonna use that for my work later. Are you really? Offset path is so we versatile. Love it. Yes. Okay. So I expanded that, and then I'm gonna merge this path together. So now it's one shape. I think I have it highlighted. Let me make sure this is a path. It's a path. Great. Woo-hoo. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do object um, path offset path, and then there's like another version of it here on properties, but. More, more times than not, that's the one I go to. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to release this compound path. Hold on, let me, let me grab it. I'm going to do ungroup, and then we're going to have to expand this guy. Release compound path. Amazing. And I don't know why it didn't, oh, because this didn't get merged. I'm just going to merge all this. That's all yeah. right. Again, I would normally build this on another layer, so I'm being kind of chaotic right now, but you know what? That's all right. I'm tracking. We're getting straight to the point. And I think the chat is tracking, too. Yeah, so. chat. Any questions so far? So far, so good? Yeah, I think I love everyone's it. loving it. Okay, awesome. This is going to be excellent. Good egg puns. Keep the egg puns Yay, rolling. Yay, egg puns. I like okay. them. I'm going to actually pull this, I think, back into my other illustrator um, since we already demoed our tool just so we don't have to worry about anything with that. Sure. Okay. And you were just cleaning up the paths, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Nice. I, for my, oh, I had too many. Good open design here. practice. <laughs> cleaning up all those extra for my anchor peace points of mind. you don't need. Exactly. Okay. Cool. So I'm gonna come in here. So this is my die line layer. I'm gonna make. You know what? I'll treat this like we're actually doing something here. So that was my dimension. Oh yeah, perfect. I did it here on my. You already did demo. it. You know yourself too well. Here's my little demo sheet that I was like, here we can show all the little pieces. Oh, all that's together. really nice yeah. to see. All those side by side. Specifically, I would hide it, bring it back, whatever. So I'm going to do, this is my, um, I'll do this as my die line layer. Die line. Did I spell that right? I did. I think cool. so. From I'm the tiny it. little text that I can see. Right. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to start a new layer and I'll do artwork layer. Artwork layer. Okay. Artwork. Perfect. And then I'm going to command V and drop in my, um, uh, what's Your called? bleed. My bleed. Thank yep. you. Or my full color bleed here. So. As you can see, it's on a different layer, and so you some people do it underneath, right? So that you would, oh, they're the same color. That's not helping. Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna open my library, and I have egg purse, as you can see, as in a library here. And I have some illustrations. Oh, cute. I built these illustrations for my stream later today, but we might bring them in. We'll see. Oh my gosh. But I like this color. Our palette. style is so similar. We should stream together. Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. We already are. Our memes are similar. <laughs> Our streams are similar. I love it. The M's. Yeah. Okay. So I pulled the layer underneath, so I'm gonna line this up now since I just like willy-nilly dropped it in here. So I'm just making sure all the spacing looks the same, which it does, which is great. Perfect. Um, I I always work different. I usually leave it the layer above and then I multiply it, which I feel like is not the best. Um, oh, interesting. I don't know why I do it that way, but that's just always how I've. Um, that's just how you do it. I've I like it. it. 
Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll bring it below and do it the right way. For Adobe, we'll do it the right way. <laughs> Okay, so the other thing about this is there's going to be an inside to your egg purse and then an outside to your egg purse. Oh my right? gosh, I didn't even think about that. The packaging is two sided. So, what we're saying here, yes, chat, just for the visual, <laughs> sometimes it's like three sided. You know, you never know yeah. what shape you're getting. So, it depends on your print cost, right? So, this is the outside of our dye line, and then this would be, oh wow, look at that B cam. That's really nice. Okay, great. <laughs> um, depending on your print budget, so I hid my dye lines when I folded it and put them on the inside, but depending on your uh, budget, smart. It depends if you're Those double. are the blue lines that we have yeah, on there. Our dye okay. line. There they are. Nice. Um, I think that we can do double sided because it's our party and we can do what we want here, and there's no budget because no one's printing this. Yep. Um, and then if you were going to print it at home, you could just print one side or you could do two sides, but sometimes like it's a little crazy if you don't have the right printer. So Yeah, I can um, imagine like putting in the paper the right, right? direction so it like prints the same oh, way. Yeah. yeah. At home printers, I always fight mine. I'm like, I told you, line it up this way and it never does. So who knows? Um so let's just do one sided printing. We'll set it up for one sided and then if we have time, we'll do some fun like inside. Yeah, that sounds great. Or something like that. So here's our box. Um so this means if we're looking on the outside that this is gonna be the bottom, so probably nothing's gonna go there. Right. Um these are gonna be our sides and then those are the outsides. Okay. So we're seeing all this stuff. So I think maybe I want to do some like uh, checkers. I think checkers would be kind of cute. Cute. Very trendy yeah. too. Yeah, trendy. That's Feels true. Feels spring like picnic right? blanket. And I feel like there's something about maybe I'll do a diamond, which is still. I'm just holding um, option shift drag here. Actually, I'll do a blend path like we were doing on our last. Stream. Oh, those are so, always fun. Yeah. Object blend make. Um, object blend blend options. I'm gonna do specified steps and see. They might be too close for this to nope, not be touching. Mm, yeah, hold on. I'm gonna move this guy. Just takes a little refinement, but I like it. And that saves it so much time. It does. From, and like alignment issues right, too. Right, and then look, I can just like. Drag oh, that's it, fun. And it's gonna keep doing it for me. Yeah, so let's do five across. That feels about right. That's a good and number. And then I'm gonna make these white by just using eyedropper, eye, highlight like that, rotate it by holding shift so it stays the same, scale it. We're just getting crazy here. I think. That's cute. That's cute, right? It might yeah. be too small. I don't know. I think it could be mm. cute as like a pattern. This pink is a lot. I think I might bring this pink. Tone it down, down a, little, a little bit. A yeah. little more pastel. I'm gonna use my color guide. So I have that color selected, so I double click it, and then it's gonna give me this fly out. That feels a little more manageable. This actually looks like the color that we're kind of working with now. I just printed on colored cardstock. Oh yeah, um, I like that. So maybe let's match that for fun so that if you print this, you're gonna have my egg purse. I love it. In all of her pink glory, okay. Um, I'm gonna bring this up. If I stagger, that doesn't do anything right now, yeah. Maybe we'll just like do a bottom pattern here. Cute. Classic, and then maybe need some like type, like world's best egg or like, I don't know. Excellent, yeah. I think someone used that in the chat, yeah. Chad, do we have any suggestions for like what what needs to go on this egg pack? I'm Someone said egg. cracked me up. <laughs> That's pretty cute. But I feel like that might imply that our egg is like right. Or your egg is not going to break in no, this. No, well it might. Don't do the egg drop with this. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, where Don't you drop that. it. <laughs> Okay, but yeah. cardstock is a good idea instead of just regular like copy paper. That That's would true. definitely. Well, so the issue that in. I was having, which as you develop packaging, this is something that you'll like come into, is that the tabs were too weak on copy paper, oh. and so it wasn't holding correctly. So you need to get like a a product or a what's it called material? Yes, <laughs> a material that's like strong enough and holds the shape for what you need. Yeah, and the um, cardstock looks like it's still like cut nicely, it folded nicely. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I use my manicure scissors to get the... <laughs> Stop it. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. I think I might do like an egg on the side. Cute. So you can uh, kind of get a sneak peek of what's right. in. And then maybe... <sighs> okay. Did you ever get those like sugar eggs when you were a kid? Sugar eggs? They were like... I don't even like know. Like peeps? No, but yes to those. Okay. I love <laughs> peeps. <laughs> They're like an egg that was... Um, it was like dusted and then it had like really crazy like icing on the outside. Whoa, it was just no. Really Chat, does anyone know what I'm talking about? Um, I love the sound of it though. That they sounds like I missed fun. out. Yeah, I feel like I kind of want to do like a decorated egg. Cute. So I'm making the star tool and I'm using the up and down arrows to make more Wait, points to it. I never knew that was it's a possibility. Handy. Okay, what? sometimes I like it that way or I might do. Um, a circle, and then I'm going to do effect, uh, distort, transform, zigzag. Okay, that's how I normally do yeah. it, but this is it a lot easier. It depends on the mood, you know? Sure. And, and the, what's oh. the benefit of this? You get a little bit more control. This with... one definitely has more control. It's, okay. it's run by more math. Well, actually, that's not true. The other one's math, too. I don't know. 
I think that, yeah, you have a little bit more control of, like, yeah. how you bring out the shapes. I did smooth. That's right. I think maybe I have too many ridges. I don't know. I want it to feel like, like a little seal. I guess maybe more is the answer. Oh, more. a little seal. You know I like mean? that. Like, That's cute. Yeah, okay. I'm going to expand this so it's, like, just a shape. And I want this to be, like, you know, like, world's best egg. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Someone said extra good. <gasps> basket of glory. <laughs> yes to all of the above. That's so funny. Okay, my egg looks too roundy. So I'm going to... Um, Looks pretty good to me. Yeah, I don't know. I just want it to be like a little... A little more pointy at the top? Yeah, so I'm using okay. an option and I'm just dragging the little um, handle in so it's a little more pointy. I don't know. I want it to feel true. I think it's because I can see the egg out at the corner of my right. eye. Right. <laughs> you have a reference. It needs to be... I like it. Yeah. With okay. the sunglasses on. I love it. <laughs> you can borrow them if you want to. Okay. They might be a little <laughs> small, but... Just you one know. eye. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to expand these because I think I want to make these um, like an overlay. So I'm going to use the eyedropper tool to sample my color background. I'm going to use the V tool to come back to my regular select tool. You're good with all your shortcuts. I'm learning so much. I'm like, oh, I didn't realize I could do this, this. That's kind of the fun thing about Illustrator, too. Right? Yeah. Everyone does it a little bit different, and there's no right or wrong way, necessarily. It depends. I feel Cute. like, though, I have my... Um, does this match opacity? No. Uh, I have my <laughs> shortcuts that I always go to, but then I watch everyone else. I'm like, oh, why, do, why don't I know that shortcut? Like, that's yeah. such a good one. Um, so you're always learning, you know? Okay. Absolutely. One thing that I'm going to just stop doing is duplicating this. I'm going to land on one side, and then we'll bring that side to the other side. I that's, that's smart. A better way Efficient. Of it. I like it. Okay. Here's something else that I get tripped up with sometimes is, um, like, packaging being one way, right? Like, this whole time I'm like, I just want to turn my neck. So oh, yeah, yeah. Because we're an illustrator. Oh, because I locked that layer. That's crazy. I'm going to unlock that layer. Unlock. A little quick unlock. Yep. <laughs> and then you always just have to put it back for however your manufacturer is going to want it. But right. I will just work this way so that I can see it and not... Not for your own myself. peace of mind, exactly. but not for handing off to a, yeah. a printer. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do, like, actual size. I think that's always so funny on packaging when they're like, not actual size. You know? Oh, um, I like that. That's kind of cheeky. I think it would be fun. I've really been liking it. I feel like this is kind of the right. It's almost like book Wait, font. Wait, is it called New Kansas? Yeah. Don't I went to University of Kansas. Oh, that's so, funny. so I'm biased, and I like that. Perfect. <laughs> I chose it for you. That's so cute. OK, wait. I need to like add that to my um, <laughs> library of fonts I need. <laughs> It's cute. Okay. That is really cute. And Cody said that they love these colors. I agree. Yay. Yes. Does look like it came out of a bakery. Cute. That's what the pink box. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Like maybe what if for a recipe you only needed two <laughs> eggs or one egg? That happens to me all the time and Maybe I don't eat eggs that much. So I would buy two purse eggs instead of one carton of eggs. That's perfect. New if market. It at the store, you said, I just need one, please. Yeah, I mean, I always buy things for cute packaging. As you should. Even if I don't need the product, I think. Right. And looking at your website and your portfolio, realizing. Wow, you really researched it. Oh, I did. <laughs> and I was like, I would buy all of that. And I didn't really look into any of the products. So. You should. I work with some really awesome companies. Okay, fun. They're really fun. Um, let's see. Doing a little wavy option with the effect. Yeah, I feel like that's not the one I want though. Let me see. So where's my appearance panel? Um, a lot of the companies I work for, I work in like food and beverage and like health and wellness, and so it's a lot of like fun. skincare. Yeah, it's super fun. And I love that. People ask me, they're like, "Would you do anything else?" And it's like, "Yeah, I, I definitely would." I was like, "But like, uh, skincare is really fun." They're like, "Make it glittery, make it like this, yeah. make it fun, have fun." I'm like, "Okay." So do you get fun products? Like, yeah, do you definitely. get samples? Uh, love yeah, that. Yeah, some of it though is the more stress, but they're like, make sure the color of this label is like the right color. You right. Know? And that's oh my gosh, that's stressful. a whole another hurdle with right. printing is making sure the colors. No, definitely. Because I work mostly in digital with my okay. work here at Adobe. Right, right. So yeah, I've had to do like only a handful of print projects since I've been here. And it's just like, I forget that the colors are going to turn out different. Right. So hats off to you because that's an underrated skill it's a lot and then it depends on you know your vendor I right think i actually want to not warp it i think i'm going to do it this way um and then like across products right so some products will be a label which some will be on like coated paper and uncoated paper so it right. really is a oh my gosh all there's the a lot things. to it there is so much are you really good at math uh no no <laughs> why do you ask i just was wondering if that was like a requirement for packaging design to Ooh, be interesting. i don't know you know what i would say for packaging developers like the people who typically are building the die lines and making sure that it's like corrugated correctly that i would feel okay it needs to be better at 
But um, you don't always have to do that. No, I don't. No, typically that's actually usually done, in my experience, by vendors because oh, they want to make nice. sure right, that they can print it correctly and that, right. you know, I don't know. Okay, that's, that's less intimidating. So yeah. you can spend more time on making it pretty. Part. Yeah. Because I think I would be like scratching my head trying to figure out no. how this would fit together more than I would be designing it. I remember in college having to do projects like this. Yeah. And this was my worst nightmare. Aww. I'm like, I just want to make this look cute. I don't, I do don't want part. to build this for you. But I will say that there's some clients that I've I've had to figure it out for. Like there was a, a box that they're like, yes, it wants, like it looks like this, but now we need it to be an envelope. And I'm like, okay, I'm like researching oh. it. How do you fold the sides correctly? And like, yeah. so it can be done. It definitely can. Um, but there's a lot to it for sure. Okay, sorry. This I'm is so cute. Like, no, I'm loving me. this. Yeah. Aaron Frank said, I have purse. I have, have you, purse. Have you seen that TikTok? Yes. I have purse. Hi, I have hat on head. Yes, exactly. <laughs> like, we'll if you don't hat. understand that, I'm very sorry. That's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> that means I watch too much TikTok. <laughs> I actually don't know where it came from. It's probably from. It's from a podcast. Oh, is it really? Yes. That's so funny. Um, with Cody Ko's wife. Oh, you know okay. No, I don't. But okay. I'm terrible with famous people, so that's not. Their They're fault. like not even I'm like, like a list celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> it's really in there. It's niche. Yeah, okay. that's my Gen Z coming out for you. I have purse. I have egg purse. Yes. Okay. I am just really getting hung up on this sticker here. So no, that's okay. I think it's looking really cute, and I really um, appreciate your I'm attention to detail. Pixels. So this is a lot of. I could watch you do this all day. Well, now you can on Adobe Live. Watch the yes, replay, right? I'll just watch you all day, every day at my desk working. <laughs> so like, is that Emily again? You're like, you know what? You know what? And I it love is. it. It is great. Okay, I think this is cute. I'm gonna group this by just grabbing all these pieces. Oh, Robert, that's a great idea. Like what thinking about how this. Could could work in the refrigerator? Oh. That's like a materials question, I bet. That's a good question. Have yeah. you had to deal with any, oh, I guess beverages, like refrigerated things? Yeah, but typically those are printed like on aluminum or have a sure. wrap label, right? So they're pretty safe. You don't the have to hardest worry about one, it. I work with this really cool brand um, named Brightland. They're a really okay. cool olive oil brand. Oh, fancy olive oil? Yeah, fancy olive oil. Fun. Um, I know. I was like, should I pull it up? We could promo them. But they're really wonderful. But the most difficult place or piece for shipping was getting the shipper that's going to hold the bottle, right? Oh, and so, so it doesn't how do break, you, probably, right? right? How do you ship a glass bottle that's yeah. full of liquid to somebody using like the regular post? Yeah. That sounds office. really tricky. Yeah, so that's probably like the closest I've had to come to like doing something like that. Yeah. Um, but luckily the printer figured that out because like, I would good. not have known what to do. <laughs> yeah. Um, cute. Okay. You know what? I need to step away from this. This is just gonna be what it is for now, and then we'll come back. I in. really like it so I think far. It's cute. I think. Yeah, I can come back if you're feeling yeah, like right? it's not ex exactly, exactly how I what want you it. wanted. You tell them. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm going to do some zigzags on here. I don't know. Cute. I'll have to like, decorate the egg a little bit. Oh, my gosh. I haven't decorated Easter right? eggs in so long. Um, Chat, let me know if you still de uh, decorate Easter eggs. Or maybe if you have kids in your life. Right, yeah. That would be fun. One of my friends. Where am I going? I want to do Or it's like a fun kind of art project. Yes. You can get really into it. That's true. I don't like hard boiling the eggs though. I oh, think I know. That it takes stops forever. me from doing it. <laughs> and they like smell weird in your fridge. And... Yeah, yeah, that's so real. <laughs> when I was little, my mom would be the only one to actually eat them. And I yeah, think you would like dad. unpeel the egg yeah. and it would be like stained a little bit mm -hmm. from the, the egg food coloring. Okay, this looks like a Charlie Brown egg now. <gasps> Oh my gosh, like bringing it. Chevron back, dare I say, it's going to make oh, a comeback? I was like, did chat say that? No, like, oh, no, yeah. no, no, that's just me. Like, am I predicting a new trend? It could be. A no, resurrection? That no. was, that was like my middle school years. That like feels Chevron, right. yeah. monograms. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't hate it. But a Chevron dress, oh, gives me a feeling. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm with an infinity <laughs> scarf. Maybe that's too niche, chat, that's sorry. <laughs> Okay, I think this is cute. I really like it. Um, I do love these colors. I think they're so fun. Okay, maybe on the other side, I'm going to just duplicate all of this. Do I have everything selected? Let's see. Moment of truth. No, I don't. That's always so tricky. Okay, but that's... So I'm just going to drag and select everything, and then I'm going to shift-click the background so I don't have that selected or that. Smart. Come here. Wait, I dropped my... It almost looks like it won a little prize at the fair. It was like yeah! actual size egg. Come here, egg. Oh, no. I clicked off. Okay. So I'm just reflecting this and having a hard time dragging it for no reason. That's crazy. No, <laughs> that this. happens. Happens to the best of us. Okay. Cute. And then I think for this side, I'm going to make it like a little different. So I'm going to take off this pattern. I think I'm just going to do polka dots. 
Um, the chat I'm is on fire today, and I'm chat, sorry you can't on? read it. I know, like, um, <laughs> so Hannah remembers wearing chevron with an owl necklace in a skirt combo. Wow. Aaron also remembered um, peplum. These are great <laughs> trends. You know, we are not a fashion um, live stream, but maybe we could be. I love it. So yeah, love it. Thanks, chat for the. For Thanks the for the hype, and clever joked that um, they have chickens that lay brown, tan, pink, and blue eggs. Pretty, uh, okay. I would buy, again, I would buy pink eggs <laughs> in a pink purse. <laughs> would it be way more money than just a carton of yes, it would ugly, be. white, or brown eggs? And it's only at Air One. <laughs> so true. <laughs> it would be $30 per egg. I would pay it at this premium packaging price. Come on. Yeah. So packaging. Okay, this looks like the um, Pokemon Go like egg whenever they get like a new Pokemon. Mm. A different reference. It's fine. Yeah, that's okay. I've been tracking so far with most of your references, <laughs> so that one I don't know, but I love it. Okay, I like it. One thing that was uh, I think important to highlight that I am really oh hello, I'm just grabbing all sorts of things. Amazing. Um, that is really awesome. Is the draw inside shape is something that is a newer feature or newish? I don't know, like within the past Wait. year or so. Um, but it's really, yeah, helpful. And I always am trying to, like, remind myself of, like, don't use the clipping mask. Yes. Use John's side. So John's side is this third little tab over here, if you can look at my panel. Oh, my gosh. Click. Those little. Yeah. Wow. So I'm just going to grab my shape, and I'm going to make it a color so you can Wait, see. what? And so that way you don't have to clipping mask and, like, unclipping mask. It kind of, I mean, it is a clipping mask in some ways, but it's doing it it's for you. It's a shortcut. It's super shortcut. That's um, really Which is awesome. Cool. This one's weird shape. We don't want that one anymore. Circles That's all right. Only. Oh, I got out of the layer. Hold on. Okay, so you said it's called draw inside. Draw inside, yes. And it's the third little. It's the third. So we the first one is teeny, tiny. draw normal, draw behind, draw inside. Oh, there's a shortcut. Shift D. All shift right. E. Next time on um, um D, I think. Oh, shift D. Shift D. Yes, D is in David. Okay. Or I don't know what the actual army one is, but you know. Yeah, that sounds good to me. <laughs> My brother's name is David, so he gets to be. Oh, there you go. All right, you know what? Let's use the orange egg. It's more fun. Oh, that's cute. Mix it up a little. You yeah. had, like, the here, blue egg. green on the front. Yeah. Okay, and maybe we'll make this then. Oop, let me click inside here. Again, I'm going to use my eyedropper tool. Actually, I don't need to use eyedropper. I have libraries set up. Perfect. Crazy. Okay. Yeah, libraries are such a hack. Libraries are great. So I was a slow adopter to libraries. I was like, ah, I just do what I do. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, for um, sure. Libraries are great. I like it better than swatches. I think it's just super useful. And the best part is, is it goes into Express. So if you need to like, open Absolutely. it in Express, she's And you ready can to go. share it with a team, too. Like, I know my, yes. um, I'm on the brand team okay, here amazing. at Adobe. And so cool. we have so many different libraries for all of our different products so right. yeah. yeah that makes sense okay i'm gonna so i stole i had this set up over here i don't normally break down my packaging this way but this just was it's helpful honestly easier. for someone like me just to like see all see the different parts of it with. yeah but it actually was super helpful so i grabbed it and now i'm gonna bring it over here i'm gonna do like a contrast panel i think that would be kind of fun oh um, what's that mean like so a I'm little just gonna different, do a different color? color yeah okay cute but it sounded way cooler didn't it it a sounded contrast. really fancy and profesh it but has purse okay um, I'm gonna do a blue panel for this side, and then I'll do a pink panel for this oh, side. I love that. Um, just to give like some fun, yeah. And I think that's what really draws me to doing. Hello, turn. Um, packaging. Okay, we kind of lost our circle here because it's blue on blue, but that's no all right. Um, I think that's something I really love about packaging is that you get to like have all the fun in the color and then it, it, it like morphs into something right and so it right. just has like extra fun and extra dimension to it um so like yeah is darker pink like groundbreaking no but like on this packaging it's going to be so much more exciting right i like it um and it's going to show more right it's not tucking in it's just going to be on the outside so that's really fun um so and yeah. not a lot of surface area either so it's no. probably smart that that's like a color not any like text or anything crazy yeah over yeah there. i actually as you're saying that i'm like i don't know how to pattern <laughs> well i feel like a pattern <laughs> makes maybe, sense yeah. Maybe let's do some like fun, like egg, or maybe it's I like lowercase G's for egg. I think it's cuter. Yeah, my um, initials are E G, so I, I do. Oh, that's I like lowercase. This is for you too. When I like write my name, it's always in all lowercase. Uh -huh. I don't know why. Is your I signature just... also all lowercase? Then? No, my signature yeah. looks okay. crazy. <laughs> it's not really legible, but <laughs> for handwriting, not in yeah. the <laughs> cursive. Okay. Wait, that's so fun. Maybe we'll do like egg. And that's the new Kansas font. Egg purse. Font. I'm egg lying. Purse. It's egg purse. <laughs> okay. Egg We're purse. just being very literal. Yeah, but I think it's fine. I mean, it could be a product. You know, it's like sometimes Absolutely. a product name. I'm like, what's an obvious product name? It's like water bottle, but that's just what it is. Yep. Uh, <laughs> all right, egg purse. 
It's looking good. It's so cute. Oh, you know what? I, we're just gonna make it a logo at this point, but it's gonna be a really lame little logo. No, it's not gonna be lame. Well, it might be a little obvious then. Well, that's Where's my right. egg? Come here, egg. Okay. Gotta get it behind all the draw inside. I'm gonna stop hurting everyone's neck and just turn this upright for them. <laughs> I'm gonna put it over here so we have more. I appreciate that. Right? I wasn't I was sitting like, over here like this. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna give a little egg in the logo here, you know, just propped up. Cute. Get it? Yeah, it's fine. I'm so amazed that you're doing this so fast. <laughs> That's how you know you're a pro because it probably would take me a long time to um, get it looking this good. Well, thank you. Yeah. I feel like the other thing with packaging, for me at least, is like, Working out a bunch of ideas, right? And then finding, you know, okay, like this side panel, I like this front right. panel. Let's bring those together in like a new idea. Um, oh, that's fine. So sometimes I'm not too precious with it when I'm designing like the first round just because you need to get the ideas out there. That's smart. Um, that's a good rule of thumb for any yeah, form that of is design, true. not being too precious. Yeah. I know, is that weird phrasing? I don't know. But No, I, I've used that before. Don't stick on sure. it too long, you know? You're not married right. to it. I remember there professors you saying that. And you're like, I'm in college. What are you saying? Yeah. <laughs> you're like, I'm, you're right. I'm not married. You're like, uh-huh. What's yeah. that to do with my career? Okay. Um, for preview purposes, I'm going to um, make this white. Oh, so nice. So we can us, see where it's going to come Yeah. Out. And again, sometimes that helps me with my ideas of like, okay, does this, how is this actually going to look? Right. This is We're like visual learners. Color. Right. And then there's going to be like this little pink tuck tab is actually going to poke through here. So, I mean, this is going to get real technical, but if we were doing double-sided printing and you wanted it to be like this whole side is one color, right? Uh -huh. Then we'd have to make sure the inside tuck tab is that same color, oh, right? Oh, wow. Um, but I think it'll be fun to have like an extra little color hit. So I'm going to leave them as is. Okay. Because we're also unsure if we're doing double-sided print, right? So, right. Um, Look at how cute this is. Egg purse is very fun. Oh, I love it. Okay. I'm going to bring this here. I love it. Okay, yeah, I think I'm liking this. And then I'm gonna jump over quickly to Adobe Express. Woohoo! Woohoo! And something that I really enjoy about um, Adobe Express is using. Where's my little homepage? This is my homepage. This is homepage. Amazing. Yep. Okay, <laughs> great. Um, QR code generator, I feel like, is an underrated egg purse. No, sorry. Wait, egg purse. yeah. QR code generator is something that's super helpful. It's an underrated egg purse. Underrated egg purse. There's so much in here. Yeah. <laughs> um, I love this for, um, instead of using, like, some random generator, I trust it that it's from Adobe. It gives you the right file size. It's just super helpful, and you can customize it. Yeah, that's um, awesome. I'm going to currently just link this to, I Your haven't uploaded it. Yeah, I'm going to do my website right now. Um, so if you haven't visited emilypoolen.com, you absolutely should. Yeah, do it. And then I'm going to come to style, and I'm going to do round, I think. Oh, that's so much more that's, aesthetic. Yeah, I mean, okay, to be honest, I only like the, like, you like standard. the normal version. Yeah, I like it square. It feels better to me. But because our egg is round, I don't know, and I'm going to show that we can do it this way. Okay. Um, Color. Uh, interesting colors. I don't know where those came from. But I'm going to do black. I don't know either. But black the best is thing fine is, for now. Right? Is that you can choose your file type. And this for me is it because this way we're not having to like. I would usually in the past like live trace a QR code. Oh, and me get too. Real crazy. Yep. And um, that looks bad sometimes. And right. then it can break the QR too. Danger. All around danger. <laughs> um, so for our egg, we're just going to do SVG, which is going to be really easy to bring in. Perfect. Um, I'm going to jump back over to my egg purse and I'm just going to grab this from my downloads. Woohoo. Amazing. And here it is, but it's white. So no worries. We're just gonna highlight the whole thing. Command copy. Come back over to our tab. Command V. Oh, it's see through. Command G. Uh, and now let's add a color to it. And it did stroke, but that's fine. Now we had fill. <laughs> but the best part is, is that it's fully customizable, right? Yeah, that's And I'm gonna turn off great. that stroke because that is bonkers and definitely not what it should be. Yeah, makes it a little more right? tricky to see. Okay, so this is looking good. I am like trying to think. Do you think this pink is like high enough contrast that it'll Ooh, scan? You know what? That's There's one way to find out. Let me just use check. your phone. Yeah. She's scanning. It's her. scanning. It's working. Yeah. Okay. She scanned it on yep. her computer screen. So that's how you know. That's how we know. I don't know if it's big enough for chat. Oh, I guess it's big enough. All right, chat, go visit my website by using this QR. Yeah, and um, I feel like that would be a good size on here, like yeah. not taking up the whole bottom of your cute totally. egg purse, but. Yeah, and QRs are kind of crazy. So sometimes I see packaging and they're like this big, which stresses me out. That's real tiny. But oftentimes they like still work, which is crazy. But oh. to be fair, when you're working on like a beauty package or something like that, there's a lot of like technical information or like sure. ingredient lists. So sometimes you don't have a lot of space. Right. Um, but. That is something just to keep in mind. Okay, so I'm going to bring our logo down here. Whoa, I'm going to not do that. I'm going to fill in my layers and lock I that. love the point you made, though, about using Express for things like that and it being yeah. trusted. Because so I know um, I've done things like, I mean, I think there's like an MP4 to GIF 
like oh, really yeah. quick Amazing. converter uh-huh. on express. All these things you would probably go to like a really sketchy, like Random not great website, website yeah. for these things. Just really dig into Express because there's, there's so much happening. All there. these random features that yeah. Yeah. And it's safe. I and love that. No viruses on your computer. That too. <laughs> and it just like works in the Adobe system, which is awesome. So right. I can just bring it back in and upload it that way, edit it, everything like that. One Perfect. thing that would be awesome, I feel like if they got barcodes happening, that would be awesome, awesome. Oh. But barcodes is this whole other thing where you have to like register them and like all sorts of stuff. So whatever. Yeah. We won't get there. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to leave this pa- panel. I think I'm going to imagine that someone's like looking at it this way and then turns it over like this. Right. Because right? I don't want it to be like. You know, I don't know. So I'm going to look at it this way and then turn it. Okay. And so I'm going to keep the bottom looking like that way, right? So egg purse. And then should we do like a little description? Like, yeah. Uh, what should it be? Um, giant text is what the answer was. Um, uh, I was going to say the expiration date, but that's like a stamp. Oh, that's true. Okay. Oh, yeah, we um, can leave room for that, though. That's a good point. Let's crack like, by Easter. Cute. Okay. <laughs> uh, Which is Sunday. I'll do that as like the last crack by Easter. But let's do like egg purse, some like romance copy. Egg purse is your single egg um, toting solution. Toting solution. <laughs> you came up with that on the fly. I'm impressed. You know what? what can I say? Okay. Um, I think there's new sands too. Oh, no, not that one. Oh, let's just, <laughs> just choose, some squares. What's your current favorite sans serif typeface? Oh. You know. You know, that's fair. That's you don't have tricky. your phone book. That was rude of me to ask. No, no, that's book. tricky. I just only use Adobe Clean Ooh, for work. Okay, that makes sense, yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's like, answer. I, was that my favorite? No, maybe but not. Your go-to. Yes, is it is my go-to. Thing, right, okay. This return is huge. I don't know why. I'm gonna just bring this together so that'll be like its own. Maybe I think it has an italic. Um, let's do. Oh, there you go. Medium italic. Cute. Also the chat is enlightening me that um, it's not a joke that chickens lay those color eggs. They're like pink and <laughs> we're like, blue. No, we're being serious. <laughs> so thank you for letting me know because that's a very fun fact. That we didn't know. No, I have no idea. Wow, how pink is pink though? It's not this pink, right? I don't That'd know. be insane. I'll have to do some research off camera. Yeah, we need to know. <laughs> Google's like, I'm sorry, pink chicken egg. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna use. But my... again, I would still buy a pink egg. Yeah, me too. Absolutely. Although they do dye, like, have you seen it where they dye chicks, like, <gasps> collars for Easter? Which is so sad because oh. they shouldn't, but it's so cute. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mixed emotions about Definitely. that one. Okay, and so typically, you know, maybe this is gonna be up here, right? Like your description of your product. Right. Um, maybe it would need something else. Egg toning solution. Um, and, oh, yeah, tell me. Fashionable. Ooh, yeah, handheld, fashionable. Mm. And eco-friendly. Yeah, okay. We can say it's biodegradable. <laughs> Let's do a long list. Eco-friendly, biodegradable. Wow, sorry. This tracking is crazy. <laughs> or, uh, tracking. so small. Living. Okay. Um, eco-friendly, biodegradable, all things egg. We're just filling copy here. All things egg. Yeah. Yep. You know what? Word. I'm going to do a crack by Easter as its own little... Like a little tagline. Maybe... maybe this could be crazy. I don't know. I'm going to do something. Let's go with it. Let's, let's be get, crazy. Let's get weird. Okay. This is for us, not <laughs> an actual client. For an egg. What does the egg want? Okay. I. So Whoa, I, what did you just do? <laughs> sorry. Go back. Go back. We're cracking the egg. Um, I got my eraser tool. I held shift and I oh, and I dragged Whoa. across just to cut my shape in half. I didn't know and that then you either. Have to ungroup, which is oh kind of nice. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm going to do this a weird way. So I'm going to use plus to add um, some points here across my line. I actually may need to add more I'm going that. to rewatch this it's later so <laughs> and write down all of the little tips and tricks that Perfect. I have not been doing that I should be doing. I mean, I feel like sometimes it's so industry specific, right? I'm like, this is what I do all day, every day, right? Yeah, that's true. You know, or, you know illustrators are going to do something totally different. So I'm just adding some little crack uh, lines Cute. here. Yeah, to get that shape. And then this will be like our little, you know, crack <gasps> oh, by Easter. Okay, so that's really illustrated. fun. Yeah, I think it's fun. Okay. It's looking really cute. Maybe. Hold on. I really appreciate your attention to detail. I love packaging. When I was in school, they're like, what do you want to do? And I was like, I don't know. Is it weird to say boxes? And they're like, no, you can say that. And oh, I was like, cool. okay. That's so, awesome that you knew. I mean, I didn't know what I was saying. I was like, yeah, I think I want to. You just liked it. Right, yeah. Why That's really fun. 
Um, and then I did like it when I started doing it. Yeah, so, that's awesome. Yeah. I got to do some really fun oh, packaging. Cute. I don't know. That could look too crazy because it's italic, and italic on a curve is like... At that's yeah one too many at the party I feel like <laughs> um, type I always do type on a path center I don't know why but it's just such a reflex at this point that if I don't do it I'm like something looks oh wrong. interesting um, I've again, never done that either yeah I don't know I it's like just it though a preference yeah yeah chat I don't know if you know something that we don't of why I do it that way maybe it does somewhere? it align better I feel like it does but it could be just me that was there's got to be a reason to do it. Right? Okay, you know what I really should have done? I'm going to do this because we have time. Yeah, might as well. Um, I'm going to do an offset path. Mm-hmm. And this is going to get my... So what was bothering me was that it was a circle and that this egg is more, like, pointed a little bit, right? Yeah. It's not a perfect circle. So I'm going to do a negative offset path of, like, let's do, like, negative three pixels. Um, oh, my gosh. Wait. I just okay. realized I could do this for my segment later <gasps> perfect for, i didn't know you could do a negative offset path. yeah no right guys this is embarrassing no. i thought i was supposed to be a professional too but <laughs> i'm learning and i love that wait this is kind of fun up here like that's crazy that like, is wild but fun but that's really fun i'm not gonna do that but easter let's... crack by yeah <laughs> <laughs> they said what are you trying to say yeah okay i'm gonna pull this in wow that got wild okay come on okay when i let go i got weirder and weirder Okay. I know adjusting all those little points can be tricky because you want it in the inside. There we go. I'm going to zoom in as part of it and fine tune this. So I'm just lining it up with this little half mark to know that it's like that. Perfect. And right now it's aligned to the descender or the baseline, right? So again, I have to do it. Um, Where am I going? I'm going to type, type on path. I was, I wish there was a shortcut to that. That would be awesome. Yeah, I wonder maybe you can make one. Oh, yeah, because you can make your own, huh? Yeah. See, I feel like I need to take, like, a week off and just fine-tune, like, my, you know, like, I'm like, what are the shortcuts I need that I just don't have? And, like, yeah, set them up. Yeah, that's really smart. Okay, I'm going to eyedropper tool, select this. I don't want that to be all caps. I'm going to turn that off. But I just want to get to the same weight and same size. And then I'm going to bring this into, like, 100. I'm going to bring it into 75. Get a little closer I'm gonna bring it into together. 50. Yeah, it felt too far. Okay. Awesome. This is coming together so nicely. And then I think to tie this together, I'm going to bring in one of these diamonds. They kind of got forgot about. I don't know if these diamonds are the right answer. I really, I'm a you fan. You like them? Yeah, okay. I, I support. <laughs> Team diamond. Team diamond okay. over here. Libraries. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. And an Easter eggs. Ian and Easter, yeah, Easter purses. Easter purse. Oh, I forgot this was a purse. I just got focused on eggs now. No, that's all right. <laughs> How could you forget? I know. My, you should my wear this with invention. my Easter Sunday dress. You absolutely should. I have a cute little floral, honestly, and it's Does all it in, it's all in these colors. I mean, so maybe I just need to do like... a little modeling over the weekend and get back to y'all. <laughs> Our brand will be launching soon. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I think this is fun. I don't know. Something is weird about this alignment. And then also there would usually be like a QR code, right? So someone can buy our egg. Um, that usually has to be about. Oh, the barcode. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. What did I say? Did I say something weird? You said QR code. Oh, but perfect. that's okay. I was just clarifying. I think I knew what you meant. Like, I didn't on. know if there's two QR codes, but yeah, it could be. Figured it was barcode. Okay, I'm gonna turn this white, and then we'll just be like, hey, here. I'm gonna do like a little. Do they usually provide you the barcodes? Yeah, usually, but. I don't know. Barcodes, honestly, there's something I need to figure out about that. Because some it seems like you can generate if you just have the number. But right. then, I don't know. I'm a little confused on it myself. So it's if they have specific. it, I would much prefer that they have it. Right. Um, I'm going to do a blend path here just to like give us, oh, wow. You can't scan <laughs> that. Um, blend nope. Make. Let's do specified. Let's do 40. I don't know. That's still too many. Let's do 30. 30. A little more 230. Spread. You know, cool. whatever works. And we'll just put, um, there's all different kinds of barcodes too. There's like UPCA, B sizes, I don't know, all sorts yeah. of stuff. And then we'll just put some like. I worked in a warehouse for a little bit. Oh, there bit, you go. And so you've seen barcodes. <laughs> I've, I've seen lots of barcodes and like printing tags. Yeah. It's a whole system. It's crazy. Yeah. It, why can't I click it? It looks Let like a cute the barcode. Path. Yeah, right? If we can make barcodes cuter, you know, that would be appreciated. QR codes and barcodes, I feel like there could be some development there. Yeah. And some tech person is like, no, that's the way they are for a reason. But Right. I'm sure there's a, a good explanation. There definitely is. Okay, so I'm going to put this, like, here. So the reason I put that in there 
was to show the blend tool, obviously. But right. also, um, just kind of to show how I would think about space as I went about packaging. Right. Um, I think this is super cute. Um, so something else that I usually do is I use a lot of guides, right? Uh, so I would come back to my layers to make sure that everything is aligned on the panel correctly. Um, and so before it goes off to press, this is something that I would do. Once we agree on the design and we agree on the content, the copy, everyone signed off, um, I start dragging in guides. So I have my shape selected and I run off of the, like this little belly button point there. So I just belly button point. <laughs> drag the guide over and I'm gonna line it up there and then I'm gonna drag guide down and do it here. And so that's gonna give me alignment on this panel specifically, but that's gonna give me this middle one, right? So then I would come to this one, same thing. Perfect. Oh, wait, I have that one. I'm just gonna drag down. And this is where you're just gonna make sure that everything is um, where it should be, go. right? Cause like, oh, well, that's a, I was gonna be like, look how off this is, but it actually is pretty on. Um, so yeah, I would just line these up a little bit. This one, see this one's pretty on. I wonder if it's that since the egg is like, right, not in the center, well, you know what I mean? It's but not yeah, like, it's not the, the words aren't like the same egg purse. length. Yeah. But yes, it's, it's leaning. It's outline. Chat, if you have any packaging questions, feel free yeah. to send them on through. I'm gonna group this so that I can just align it easier. But I think that's something that's important to do is because like you can fool yourself and be like, oh, I think, you know, it's a rectangle. It looks where it should be. But yeah. uh, depending on the shape and how much text it is, it can be hard to make sure that it's aligned correctly. Right. Um, so I would just make sure to oh run in the line. Look at how cute this is looking. Egg purse. This so type fun. feels really big, but maybe it's fine. I mean, this is pretty tiny. I know, so maybe it won't. Let's see, my size is eight points, so that's oh, reasonable. Oh, that's, yeah, I feel like as yeah. small as you can get, right? Right, I think so. Oh, we got the B-cam on the egg. <laughs> oh, wait, where'd it go, where'd it go? Oh. No more. Oh, there ah! it is. <laughs> <laughs> Having too much more. fun with that, thank you, thank you for it. that. Okay, cool. I think I'm gonna bring in this little zigzag that we have. I just feel like there needs to be something in this space, so I'm gonna grab that guy. Okay. And bring it in here. I'm gonna rotate it. I think it's fun, bring in some extra color. There's no rhyme or reason to our egg purse. Yeah. Egg purse can do what egg purse wants. Carol asked if we have something to create circular QR codes. I think Express is probably your best bet with making the shapes inside yeah. look a little bit rounder, but then you could change like, the background, oh, yeah. But you could change the background shape that you put it on, right? Like in Illustrator, so you could put it on a circle, or is that too hard? You could put it on a hard? circle, but it would still be a square. I know what you're asking. I don't think currently that. Not that I know of, but yeah, maybe not leave some feedback and express and yeah. ask them to put that in. Yeah, I would say that this is still pretty square, Yeah, um, but I know what you're talking about. So. Right, where it's like everything's right. contained in that circular shape, so it could. Why, why yeah. did they start going circular? Does anyone know? It just, I think it looks pretty. Really? Okay. It made me feel crazier. I was like, why are there circles now? <laughs> I don't know, but that's a good question. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The powers that be with QR codes. Whoa. Not the color one sample. Awesome. And I grabbed the outline. Love that. Turn that off. So yeah, usually guides are, um, I usually see them in either bright red or bright blue. So mm -hmm. that's kind of how they're keeping here. And then I feel like we need something. How much time? Oh, we have just a couple minutes. Um, Let's do... I mean, it's looking great. Thank you. It is looking really fun. I don't know. I want something up here. Maybe we'll just do, like, individual little... Um, a couple tiles. little diamonds. Yeah, I'm going to grab my library, and I'm just going to... Bring in the hot pink. Stroke selected. Let's not get crazy. <laughs> I keep double-clicking it, because I, I feel like that's how I usually do my swatches. Okay, so I'm just going to bring in some, and I'm just going to place them... Perfect. ...over here. I love working on packaging. This one's so fast. But yeah, I love doing really it. This is really cute. I mean, you made this in an hour and it looks so good. And now we have purse. Yes, now we, we have, have a redder. purse. Okay. I think this would actually be really fun. Oh, I'm so gonna upload cute. This. I don't know how many. Uh, I have a stream later. I'll share the code on there. Perfect. And then if you guys want to print this out, I would definitely bring an egg to my friend's house this weekend. I think it'd be so I funny. Think, uh, or like a kid would love that. Yeah, it's so cute. That would be very funny. I love it. Okay, this looks chaotic, but I'm going to just do all pink. A little then, party favor. Right? Yeah. I'm going to bring the blue and I'm going to get the cream. Oh my goodness. We need a grand reveal. I know. Okay. Can't wait to zoom out and see it all together. I'm going to run it off the edge a little bit because why not? I'm gonna work on yeah. the of this, but it's cute. Then you'll cut it. Yeah. Or the printer will cut it. Someone will do it. Yeah. We're doing it at home, so I'm sure, yeah. This is at home friendly, which was a goal. Yes, I love that and appreciate that for sure. Okay, and then I'm gonna highlight it. I'm gonna deselect these, command copy. I think I got the circle I did. Perfect. Rotate by holding shift. Nice. Place. 
It's cute. Okay. Let's zoom out and see the final product. Guys, we have egg Emily. Purse. How cute <laughs> is that? Here, do we want to place this in the middle for Perfect. all to see? Everyone get on in there, all the eggs. So <laughs> fun. Well, just to recap today, Emily showed us a little bit about packaging design, designing on a die line for yep. this really cute Easter egg purse. And make sure you stay tuned because Emily will be back and then I will be designing Perfect. next. So lots of fun spring things happening today. Yes, but Emily, so, fun. so great meeting you. Yeah. And thank you all for watching and we'll be right back. All right. Bye. I already have all these assets, but I don't have them in Adobe Express. So I wanna show you how you can bring them in. What we're gonna start off doing is opening Illustrator. So I'm gonna drag in all my logos and this is just like all the different versions. So I just kind of resize those by pressing shift options. I'm going to center it. Okay, so I'm saving this. Now I'm gonna show you how you can add these quickly to a library. So we're gonna say create new library. So I think what's cool here is that when you start building a library, you can actually like build groups and folders. And I think this is really cool for organization like we were talking about earlier. So I'm gonna say here, logos. What I do is I just like select these. Yeah and I just drag them in. You might be thinking, why don't you just highlight them all and drag them in? But if I do that, then, then it's, it, all, one it's all one asset. We're gonna go into Adobe Express now and I'm gonna show you why it's so nice to create this here and then bring it into Adobe Express. So I'm gonna go to my stuff, libraries, and here it is, Draws in Spanish Demo. Once you hover over this, it says use as brand. Select, the library is now ready to use as a brand in Adobe Express. And then it has everything loaded as a graphic right now. If you select this, edit tag, you can make it a logo. Right in here, we can just hit add color and okay. then just drop in our hex codes or go into more colors and just pick any color. But another way you can add it is through just your library here. So if I go to the Draws in Spanish demo, which is in here, I use the dropper yeah. and grab this pink, fill color, it brings it in. I drop it into my little group and then we'll see if it's generated in here. There it, it is. is. Now that we've created the brand, the best part is we can actually apply it to things. If we pop over to Adobe Fresco, my favorite app to illustrate in. Okay, selection tool. I like to just draw my shapes. And I really like using Fresco because I can use vectors, which are infinitely scalable. And then if I like need to trim it, I just kind of select and erase. I'm gonna go here. This is another pencil I like, rough pencil. And I like to just maybe add some little details. Paintbrush has now been saved in Adobe Fresco. In here, if you go to your stuff, it's right there. What? It's in there, in your stuff, and it's showing up as a as a Photoshop file because- It's Fresco. Fresco files are Photoshop files. This is kind of like a carousel that I made to promote an episode. So the cool thing about Adobe Express is that if you go here from, start from your content. I have this, so I'm gonna hit open. Boom. Yes. Nice. I love this. Now I'm able to fully just edit this for a future episode. Schedule post is also an option. So I could go ahead and schedule this Instagram carousel right now. You just connect your channels and then now you can just save it as a draft or schedule it directly yeah. to publish. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click these dots and hit make template. So I'm going to save template. Here it is, it just loaded it as a template. If I click on it, so I can immediately hit start new file and I can then make episode 11 or episode 12 from that file without affecting the template. So I'm just kind of editing it and still using the same brand kit that I've already built. Thank you everybody, we appreciate it. All right, <laughs> bye everyone. <laughs>
Hey everybody, welcome back. We are ready to go, and as you can see, we have all our eggs in a row. Is that the, is that, what's it? Ducks in a row? Ducks in a row? What, yeah. Wait, what are the eggs? <laughs> Um, yeah, that's yeah. good enough. Eggs in a row, we Eggs do in have row. them in a row. <laughs> so we have them in a row. We have been doing all kinds of things to get you ready for spring today. And we have done some templates about decorating some eggs. We made the cute little egg purse. Where's the egg Where'd purse? Where'd the egg purse go? It's on oh, it's over by there. me. By we me. made this cute little egg purse using the uh, Dimension tool in Adobe Illustrator. And what we have a new lineup to our It's happy hour, egg Andrew. Parade. It's yes. happy hour. Spring cocktail time spring or mocktail. Mocktails. Uh, this here is is Fanta with a cactus. <laughs> I need I needed to have like a little something special, but yeah. we didn't have time, and so it's just taped on there. Uh, and then here we have um, a spring cocktail, it's spring spring water, uh, Lily Spring Water. Let's say Definitely that. Definitely not Lacroix. Also drag queen name, Lily Spring Water, hundred <laughs> um, percent. So we are going to be creating a uh, little menu for some mocktails. Yes. This is Emma. If you Hi. haven't met her, welcome back Go or ahead. welcome. Yeah, introduce yourself. Let us know what we're going to be working yes. on and where we will be working. I would love to. Hi everyone. My name is Emma Gustafson, and I am a brand designer here at Adobe. So super excited to be back. If you watched um, last segment, Emily was working working on some really fun egg packaging, very spring vibe. So we want to keep the spring vibes rolling and we're going to make a really fun um, cocktail menu today or again, mocktail drink menu. Yes. Perfect for spring, for your dinner parties yes. or just for some cute like little bar cart decor maybe. Yes. It depends on when yes. you're watching this, if it is mocktails or uh, it is if mocktails you are at work here. learning how to uh, use Creative Cloud, we're making mocktails. If this yes. is after hours and you just turned us on, go ahead, pour a little drink. Why yeah, not? Have some fun. absolutely. Um, okay. So <laughs> we're going to have uh, some fun today. As always, if you have suggestions, if you have names of cocktails, if you have an idea for absolutely. something you'd like to drink on a little spring picnic, let us know. Uh, my favorite drink, my favorite Let's cocktail to make, it's it's called the Sparkling Mare. Um, what is that? I get it at Disneyland. I'm getting it tomorrow, and I'm so excited. Oh, fun. It's basically like a Prosecco with a lavender and elderflower. And Love then there's it. a little like a lemon rind that's in it. It's like caramelized. Oh, it's so Yum. good. Yum. Well, that um, sounds delicious. And the Sparkling Mare is the greatest name for a cocktail ever. Yeah, that's really fun. Well, my personal favorite is an Aperol Spritz, which I think oh, yeah, is spritzy. what I want to work with first. So cool. we're going to generate... Um, some reference images to create these illustrations in Firefly. Now, as someone who's like not an amazing illustrator, this is super helpful. Yes. Just to get like a frame of reference or just get some ideas flowing about what these illustrations could look like. So I'm gonna just start off here in Adobe Firefly and let's go with a minimal spring, simple, and then I'll put Aperol Spritz cocktail. I feel like the cocktail really like yes helps the prompt understand what's going on. Yes. Oh, and oh sorry. All in. right. Well, come. Let's cut to the schedule. <laughs> so for the schedule of what's coming up today, we have the mocktail menu coming up right now. Yes. Then we're going to be doing a gardening guide with Emily and I. It's going to be a fun stream. Uh, we may even show you a project we worked on in the past for an online gardening company that Emily oh, and I did the branding for. No way. Um, and then we also are going to be hanging out at 1 p.m. for Adobe Office Hours, showing you everything new with Adobe Firefly. If you've never used it before, it is the perfect place to start. We'll be teaching you everything there. So tune in 1 p.m. for that stream. It's going to be perfect. a great time. Oh, we're moving just a little bit. Thanks, oh, Studio Manager. Thank you. Taking thank us you. on a journey. Okay. Well, now I am all logged in. Thank okay. you. Had to go through. Let's do it. Let's get my spritzy. Okay. So, <gasps> boom. Just like magic. We oh have some gosh. really fun reference images coming. And since I'm going to just take these as inspiration mm. for my little spot illustrations, I can just download. You know, it, whatever floats my boat. It doesn't have to be exactly what I want to draw, but I feel like this one looks like pretty good. The glass shape looks good. I think the colors look nice. So I'll download that one. And basically I'll just keep generating these images for all the types of cocktails. So I was thinking for this menu, we could do like six or so. So let's yes. come up with some other ones. Do you like a mimosa? Um, 
I, I'm not, I like a mimosa but with like a whisper of anything. Like I want you to like hold the orange juice over it. Okay. So I'm really just drinking champagne. Um, That's pretty common, I So think. yes, let's do a mimosa. Let's do like, a, maybe like a blood orange mimosa. Oh, like a Like okay. nice dark mimosa. I love that. Um, and Cody Bear is saying, I love some cocktail photography. Yes, um, well, and this is really honestly a great way to come up with that. It is, it's a great way. And I know that our friends over at Weekend Creative uh, do similar work. Yes, am I, they am do. I plugged in? I am. So, um, if we want to hop over to my screen real quick, just if you want to see more inspiration for what you can create, Weekend Creative, weekend creative.com. Yes. Like the best in cocktail photography, product photography, commercial photography, amazing stuff. Um, so, this is really great real world inspiration. We're going to use Firefly to generate some more yes. ideas, but go check them out. Give them a follow. Let us know. Adobe Live sent them. Yes. Um, all right. Back Absolutely to you. Absolutely love it. And you know what? I don't have the skills to create this amazing product <laughs> photography so this is why I will use this um, so all I did here is I'm using the same prompt but instead of Aperol spritz I just switched it to blood orange mimosa um, again like I'm not too concerned with the styling of these images I just want more of like a structure reference yep. um, I think that'll be really helpful when I'm starting to illustrate so we'll just do I think these two and then we can jump into illustrators that cool. seem good yeah okay. sounds good Ooh, look at these I'm getting thirsty yeah those are fun this is brunch okay which one are you liking Andrew not the first one those little bubbles or whatever's in it not about it um yeah I don't want to be drinking yeah, the second plant. one feels too cloudy okay what's the last one I think the last one. The last one, that yes. looks nice. And yes. I think that's pretty close to like what I would actually want to yep. drink. And I love a good like candied fruit slice. They, like okay. it's like charred yes. a little bit with it, and you can like chew on it a little bit. Ooh, I love oh, it. Oh, you chew on it. I do. Ooh. I know that you're supposed to use it as like a garnish, but I like to just chew on it. <laughs> it's usually like burn okay. and gross, but yeah, no, I love it. Yeah, I don't think I've ever attempted to eat the garnish, but you know what? It's Whatever great. floats your boat. Okay, so I just have a very blank, boring artboard open in Illustrator. And this is just going to be kind of like my mood board, my reference imagery board. Yes. Artboard, I think you're beautiful. You're special. Thank you. Yes. You know, it's like all gray <laughs> and whatever, but I just will bring these in. Whoa, they're massive. Oh, don't look at that. Don't, don't secrets, secrets. <laughs> sorry, 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 don't look. Okay. So this artboard is special. You just need to really get to know it. First. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Take it out for a drink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, so basically, I mean, there's no like rhyme or reason to this. I just put these gray squares here. So this is where I will drop in my images. And then what these circles are for is to just start pulling color references so that, you know, I want these cocktails to look fun and springy, but also like a little bit realistic. Yes. So I just use my eyedropper here and let's start pulling some of these colors. Ooh, and then also I see have like. I to show you. Okay, let's pull these colors. Sorry, keep going. And then I have wait, another way wait, to do this. Do you have a hack for I this? I do have a really good hack for this. Oh, okay. Well, that's pretty awesome. I'm excited to see what you have. Okay. So. I'm doing this the hard way. Andrew, what's yes. the right way? Okay, so there's no right there's no right or wrong way. No, but enlighten me. Let's hear it. Yes, there's a new learn. tool. Okay, cool. So what we're gonna do is we are going to select um, all of your grays on the blue one, on the one on the right. Let's try okay. it over there. And you're just gonna group those together. Okay. Command so G. from there, we are going to go to edit. Edit. Edit colors. Edit colors. And we're gonna hit recolor. Recolor artwork? Yes. And so from there, we are going to use the color theme picker tool, and you can click on that, and then select oh. the photo, and it will grab a color theme oh out of the photo. Wait, hold on, I got to move this. How do I? Uh, you can drag it at the top. Can you not drag it at the top? It wasn't yeah. liking me. And it will pull a color theme out of the photo. Okay, so that's it's, pretty good. Yes, and what it's matching is kind of the values of what you had there before. So if you make it like okay. random colors, it will pull in a little bit more of those colors. Also, Very depending nice. on where you click around, it'll kind of pull palettes out of it. So it's really great tool to kind of sample yeah. and grab palettes out. Um, I still do like going in the way that you did it. Yeah, um, it's nice to have both in your back yes. pocket. This is nice specifically to get like all those little variations of light and dark, yep. which I think that'll be helpful when we're illustrating to get some like gradients, some like shadows, add a little bit of dimension. But I think what I was doing here yes. is just grabbing very distinct colors. Agreed. You could also go on, I see you're pulling up Adobe Color Themes, which yes. is great if you just need some inspo. But basically, I'll cut to a little uh, cooking show magic. Oh my gosh, Whoa, I already have reference images wow. and colors. Wow. So. 
that hack that you gave us would definitely save me a lot of time. These are all imagery, um, images from Firefly that I generated. So you can see I have like a mix of some illustrated styles, some product photography, all really fun. And what I like to see with these colors is some kind of like consistency and kind of a natural color palette coming out. Again, I can take some liberties of my own and tweak these. I don't have to use like exactly what I found in Firefly. But I think this is a really good point to start building our actual menu. Yes. So you can Ooh. see here a little uh, old school hand drawn sketch where all I did, if you like a hand drawn approach, is I brought these uh, Firefly images from Firefly into Fresco yes. and drew with a pencil on top just to get kind of like the basic shapes and forms down. Some of the ice cubes, you see some like just more of a geometric approach, um, which is how I personally like to design is with it's easier. pen tool, simple shapes. Yes. Like my brain works like that. And so I thought that drawing over it first kind of allowed me to separate like the imagery from being all detailed into a much more geometric approach. Yes, and so, geometry is always easier in Illustrator because everything is basic shapes. Yes, exactly, which I'm a big fan of. If I was trying to like draw perfect circles and squares and like fresco, that might be a little hard yes. by hand. So this is just something I did. You don't have to do it, but I think tracing is always fun and easy. Yes, and chat, as we start working on this, let us know if you want to have like some fun names for some of these cocktails. Yes. Give us some suggestions. Oh, I am more than happy to come up with some creative names yes. for sure. So this is the artboard I have set up. It's eight and a half by 11, so I can print this out on a regular sheet of copy paper. Cool. Um, but do whatever you want. So I just decided to set up these really simple rectangles so I know where I want to place my images. And you can see I kind of defined my own color palette based off of some of those reference imagery yep. we pulled. And then the font I want to use. Lone Pine. How cute is that? Amy and Jen Hood from Hoodspa Design. Okay, I'm a big fan of them. And yes. I know they do a lot of Adobe Live stuff. Yes. So they are kind of like between them and Oh No Type Co. Yep. Um, from Adobe Fonts. So fun. Yes. Check if you, them out. If you don't look at Adobe Fonts, what are you doing? Uh, go yeah. fonts.adobe.com and just start searching things. There's so much good so stuff in there. So many fun things. So I think what we can do is start with the title here since we're already talking about fonts. I want to have this um, type on a path, which Emily did earlier in her last segment. But I just created this oval. I kind of want it to have this like nice, fun, little, playful arc. And I was thinking we could call our menu Spring Sips. Yes. Is that kind of cutesy? I like it. All right, some spring sips. And then Love a good sip. Yes. Here, let's chat. go ahead and change for, this. For you, chat, I'm so sorry. A little Turn a little up your sip. headphones. Here we go. little sip. I'm going to burp. That has carbonation. <laughs> I'm so sorry, chat. I'm so sorry for the oh sound you just heard. Oh, uh, okay. That is so funny. Okay. So, let's see. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Why can't I see my circle? There you go. Oh, and yes. I just did Command Y outline mode. Um, you don't have to do that, but it's kind of nice. Where, you know, where you can like change the points of where this is lined up. Yes. Um, it's hidden. It's hidden. Okay. Oh, why no. would this not be shown? Um, yes, there. Uh, can you zoom in on the center of it? Sometimes the points get smaller for some reason. Okay, they're not there. You know what? Um, Can I do my cooking show magic? Yes, do it. And just grab it. This is my vector graveyard over here. Rest in peace. Whoopsies. Um, Ta-da! Okay. We did it. Basically, wow. what I was, I don't want the exclamation point anymore. What I was doing was just trying to make it more centered. And normally can see some little... Yeah, the little nodes are there. Yeah. Um, I wonder if we hit a hot key when we were turning off the grid. Maybe. Um, I will play around with trying to break it. Andrew and will find it. that. But it, that's good enough for now. That's what I want my title to be. Um, and then I'll put my little titles down here for my different cocktails. So our first one, of course, is my favorite, the Aperol Spritz. Maybe we could do Andrew's too. Andrew, what was yours called? Uh, mine was a sparkling mare. Sparkling, how do you spell it? Sparkling, M-A-R-E. M-A-R-E. Okay. Like a horse. Oh, like yes. a horse. Yes, it's okay. like a, it's like the- Like a unicorn drink? Yeah, it's like a merman, but the unicorn version. <laughs> 
That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Okay, super fun. So we'll just put those two as placeholders for now. And so you can see what I did is I brought one of my Firefly images over and I lowered the opacity and I'm just gonna lock this for now. And all I'm gonna do is use very simple shapes and the pen tool to basically draw over this and start creating our fun little illustrations. So Yay. yes, let's get started with this. So I think what I want to do, hmm, let's see, I think I'm gonna use a circle as the base. You kind of get that rounded shape of the glass, make that a little bit bigger so it lines up the edges. And then I'll use the pen tool here to find the middle of the circle and of course line it up with the side. Let's hold shift. Let's make this a little more curvy. Perfect. And then I'm going to duplicate this. Whoops, that's not so perfect. And while we do that, I do want to give a special shout out. I forgot. Hi, Twitch. Uh, we are oh my last year on Twitch. Our friends on Twitch. Hi, nice no to see way. you. No way. Hi, uh, Twitch. Leave us some purple hearts in the chat if you're watching over on Twitch. Wow. Um, I, we are new. Uh, we're new I was going to say, is this my first time on Twitch? It's your I've first done time on Adobe Twitch. Live, but I've never yes. been here. So we're on Twitch up? and YouTube and Behance all over the place. So if you're any of those places, Fine. say hello. If you're on Twitch, purple hearts, uh, YouTube red hearts, and Behance is blue hearts. So let's get wow. some hearts in chat. I know. We got our hearts in a row, we too. Are, we have, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yes, puns yes. Puns all day. We were dropping lots of fun uh, puns in the chat earlier, so keep them coming. I love it. If you have any, like, drink-related puns. Yes, and hello. Um, hi, Tune. Nice to see you over on Twitch. Uh, love uh, it. And Hannah saying, maybe we call it the Sunny Spritz. Ooh. Oh, Hannah, like thank you. Let's definitely change that. And I also saw someone in the chat ask me if I have Swedish roots, which is hilarious because, yes, I'm named after my great grandma from Sweden. So okay. thanks for. Do you celebrate that. Leif Erikson Day? No. Okay. No, not that, not that Swedish. I'm still pretty <laughs> American. <laughs> not that Swedish. Um, okay. Okay, you can see my glasses are already coming together. And yes. all I was doing was using the circle tool, the rectangle tool, and the pen tool. And then I just can merge all of these together. Let's pull it to the side. Huh. How Perfect. cute is that? Magic. We're getting there. We're getting there. I love it. So let's make this. I kind of want it to be like this orangey color, which I feel like fit with the kind of original color. Ooh, I have another trick at the end of this. Wait, uh, you want to do it now? No, we need more. We I know where we're going, and we need to be there before we, need we to can be, do it. Okay, yes. I love this. I I'm, see the finish line, and we need to be past it before okay. we get the bonus round. I quickly undid my uniting. Sometimes I get too excited and I like merge yes, all my paths and then you get scared soon. that you're like, oh no, I needed those separate. Well, I did need these separate because I need to put the Aperol spritz in this glass actually. So you know what I'm going to do is something that Emily just taught me, um, which you can do a negative offset path. Yes. When I was prepping for this, I did not know. So yes. chat, this is something I learned an hour ago and I'm using that now. So let's do... 0 0.05. We want just a nice little frame around the inside of this. Okay, so you can kind of see what this is starting to look like. If I pull it to the side, let's make this a little bit lighter. Actually, I lied. I want this to be, <laughs> JK, JK, I want that to be darker and let's make the glass lighter. So like all of our drinks inside the glasses will be just a little bit lighter. Okay, bring this to the front. Cute. Ooh, I See, like See, that's this. really nice and clean. And that's way better than what I was doing before, which was like making this smaller and then doing a larger offset path. Yes. This was great. So Emily, thank you if you're Thanks, still watching. Thanks, Emily. Thanks, we love you. Okay, um, now I kind of want this to have like a fun little gradient on the inside, just to make it feel a little bit more. Spritzy. Spritzy, a little bit more dimensional. Cause this is kind of boring. Like anyone can make this, but we're special. So I just opened my gradient panel and I'm going to grab that orange. And so I'm going to grab the dark orange and then this lighter orange. And then let's just rotate this gradient to, let's see, 90 degrees. Ooh. So that's kind of fun, isn't that? And it's giving it the same kind of uh, gradation that it has and on the, the actual drink. image, mm -hmm. uh, which is always hard to match up gradients when you're working in Illustrator yes, with a photo. For sure. So I think this is fun. Like, again, it's kind of an artistic uh, interpretation of the images in Firefly, but 
This I thought was really fun specifically to come up with like the glass shapes, for example. Like I want all these to look a little bit different and fun. And yeah. since I don't have any of these glasses at home to reference, this is all perfect. And if let's say I wanted to just generate all my illustrations in Firefly, I totally could have done that. But what's the fun in that? There's no like, fun in that. This is Firefly for ideation. So again, just using that as a good starting off point. Do we want to do another pro tip? Yeah, let's do okay. another pro tip. Since we're, doing, since we're doing offset path. So if we have an image, right? So let's say that we have uh, a box and a square. Okay, uh, let's and do it. We're going to flip over to my screen real quick. Uh, so let's say that we have a box and a square, two different objects. Love it. And let's say that I want to do an offset path to just make this smaller. I think there are times that it's like a little too big. We don't want to scale it right. down. We just want it smaller. What you can do is you can actually apply the offset path as an effect. So you come to the appearance oh. panel and then go to effects right here. Mm -hmm. And then you can go down and go to path, offset path. And here you can go negative and watch what happens. Is it's actually going to shrink that object but it's oh. just shrinking what is showing, not the actual object. So this is great if you're trying to layer different like pieces. Sure. You can do it really easily using the effects panel instead of putting the effect on top of everything. Wow. Um, so don't apply it to the shape. Go to the appearance panel and apply the effect right there. Little hack for offset path, really good for working with layered type. Super easy, because then you can just have all the yeah. same, shrink them in, do all your like fancy stuff, and it's all just one shape. Well, thank you. I'll Magic. cheers. Cheers to that. Back, cheers, cheers to, to that. that. You back know, to you. Andrew with the pro tips. Back to my computer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks, studio manager. Cheers to you. <laughs> Working overtime yeah. over there. All right. Thank you. So I think we need some ice cubes now. Again, super simple. Just a little, let's make some little squares. And we can reuse these too for our other beverages. I think I had a mojito on there. Yes. That needs some ice. I think I had a Paloma. Yes. Are you a fan of chill drinks? Yeah. Yeah. I don't like a room temperature cocktail. Unless no. it's whiskey. I'll have like a, yeah. Uh, no, no, thank you. No, thank you. I also like very fruity drinks um, and like sweet cocktails. So I think that's just kind of what inspired me today. Yes. Um, okay. Same thing. I'm just going to do a gradient here. And I feel like these gradients just, I, lo I love a gradient. Yes. I can't lie. Let's make this white. Let's make both endpoints white. I'm not gonna do this at zero percent. Let's do like thirty. I just want it to look Ooh, a little frosty, little, yeah. you know. And hello, Yokai artist. Nice to see you. Hello. Thanks for joining us over on Twitch. Um, Josh Romero, thanks so much for your suggestions. Uh, Ooh, love to see those. Yes. And Hannah, big fan of fruity drinks as well. Yeah, yeah. I can't lie. I'm just. I I have such a sweet tooth. Nothing is ever too sweet for me. Yes. Okay, love how this is turning out. Do you think this is all centered? That doesn't look that centered to me. Mm, I think yeah. Yeah. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit better. Cute. All right, and let's see. I also want to get that orange in there. But that oh, kind yes. of looks lemony. Also, this, sorry, being picky, I want this to be a little bit lighter. I just want a little yeah, bit more contrast. I agree. Okay, I'm glad you agree, which means, sorry, I'll have to edit my gradient just a little bit, but... I think it kind of works. Like, Oh, you the, want it? I think it it looks like... I think it works. Okay. It looks like it is like a darker liquid, and even though it doesn't go clear on the top, I don't think that like the actual drink goes clear on the top either. There's like that little rim sure. of the glass, and so I think okay. that it has like... I think it works. I think it gives okay, us some dimension. Okay, well then we'll just leave it. That's fun. Also, if I wanted to, like I could just draw a little like line... And I could cut that in half so it looks like it's not like full oh, yeah, as like much a, to the top if you didn't want to mess with the gradients. We've been and, sipping. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so let's see the orange. Hmm, I'm gonna actually turn up the opacity on this guy right here just so I can kind of see more what we're going with. Hmm, that kind of looks like a weird lemon color, doesn't it? It is a weird lemon orange, yeah. But that's okay. I don't really think we'll use that for color reference, maybe just shape. Okay. What are you cooking up over there, Andrew? I'm trying to think of how I, I, I'm trying to think of how I would make an orange slice. How you would do this? Okay, yeah. do you want me to show you how I did it? Yes. Okay, so I just start off by making a circle. I'll do. I don't remember your offset paths thing off the top. No, of my that's head. totally fine. Okay, okay. Sorry, thank you. For There's no me. wrong way. <laughs> Let's see. I want this like a little bit of a nicer orange color. That's just yeah. Like Firefly is great, but sometimes like colors. 
we want to take a little bit of creative liberty. Yes. All right, let's make that a little bit darker on the outside. And then some of these other drinks might have oranges. Yeah, see, this is like more what I want for citrus. Like it's white yes. and then got like the orange slices. Okay, so let's make this white. And then what I would do or what I did when creating this, I see you, I see you with some triangles over there. Yeah. I'm going to use line segments. So oh, okay. let's yeah. make this, I don't know, like two or three points. It just kind of depends. Whoops, didn't mean to make a copy of that. So option click and just start duplicating these. Let's center these. And then um, I want to duplicate these two lines too. Just to start creating some separation in those wedges, which can be really hard. I like how you're doing that too. Are you doing yeah, the radial we, tool? Yeah, I'm using the radial. Okay, so, so we'll just switch back and forth. Yeah, this chat. is no so longer um, Emma guest designing. This is <laughs> Emma so and <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, I love this. Okay. I love this. Okay. Th that is a really easy way to do it. Um, I actually think that it's more precise and easier to do. Okay, but yeah. I kind of want to see what you did too okay. with the radial tool after yes. this. Continue. Okay, so I um, just used all these line segments to create kind of create these um, divisions. So then I'll go to object path, outline stroke, and let's merge these together and then um, select the circle and the strokes and then just divide them. And then I just want to delete these black areas. So select same fill color saves you so much time. Uh huh. I love that. And selections, you can actually do like fonts and stuff now. So you can select oh. like all same font, all same font family, all well, same way. Well, that's really great. So easy to select stuff and then yes. delete or change. Absolutely. Okay. And then I kind of want this to be like a little bit of a lighter orange color. And if I wanted to have like more of the rounded edges, I could go through and like, you know, change my corners and stuff. But I don't know. I kind of like it like that. Let's see. That's cute. Make this a little bit smaller. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty, cute. pretty easy. Yep. Okay, Mr. Studio Manager, can we switch <laughs> over to Andrew? Here we go. Here so, we go. Here's what we're gonna do, chat. Is uh, we are going to do a couple things. We are gonna Let's have our shape. I'm gonna make another version of that shape and just make it white. Uh, much like you. Yes. And then we are going to take our wedge that we have here. And you just did that with the triangle. triangle tool. I did a triangle and then Perfect. rounded it. Is I'm going to come here and then I'm just going to click on this button, repeat object, and then I'm going to do radial repeat. And it's yes. going to repeat it uh, as many times as I need. And then I actually have like a control to put in how many different pieces that I nice want. That's super nice too, I like that. Uh, and then come in here and change it to that little bit of a lighter color. Yeah. So we got pretty much exactly the same results. Uh, Almost, yeah. Which just shows there's no wrong way to do things. There exactly. There are only different ones. Uh, I probably would have done it your way. I was just thinking of like, could the radial repeat do this? I do um, really love the radial repeat. Yes. It's so super nice. Whatever works for you is yes. the right way. And something I was thinking of actually as you're doing that for the radial repeat is like if we wanted to draw some bubbles, like a little bubble burst, doing oh, like yeah. little line segments with the radial repeat. Yep. Let's show. Or if we had like a uh, slice out of the orange, we could really easily take one yeah, of these out. Yeah, that's um, super nice. But too. you can also just delete one of yours too. So again, it's yeah, the same thing, different ways. Yeah, exactly. Or if you like wanted this to be more of a wedge, um, why is this not? You know what I'm talking about where it like shows you how to like, never mind. <laughs> forget it, forget it. <laughs> okay, back to you, Emma. Back to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I actually love the kind of bubble idea. We want it, it's like a little fizzy. Yes. Right, it has, Prosecco is a little fizzy, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's yeah, it's fizzy. It's a little bubbly. I like some bubbly it's drinks. It's spritzy. Hence I feel like my spritzy, LaCroix. yeah. Okay. I'm going to look up what, is, does spritzy mean bubbly? Maybe. I'll find out. I chat, someone, chat, look it up for us. What does spritz mean? Why is it called an Aperol spritz? I don't know. Okay, in the meantime, actually, I want to, these like white outline boxes are really ugly, and that was just more as a placeholder. So I want this, if I can ungroup all these, let's give this a background color just so we can really start to see this like, we're basically making like six mini compositions yes. as like one giant menu. I kind of like the contrast with the green. Oh. Isn't that starting to look nice? I love that color palette. Okay, cool. Me too. Let's see. I'm going to group that together. So now I'm just using some of the circles to create some little bubbles. But what I mentioned before is I wanted like a little bubble burst. So, yes, little sparkle fingers. Spritz fingers. Spritz. This is the spritz. This is the spritz. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to make some little line segments. I want this to have some rounded end caps. 
I like I like doing that with my strokes. Yep. Just oh, makes it a little, a little nicer. Aperol spritz has soda water, so yes, bubbles. Good. Oh, okay. Good. That's true. I made them like recently. That- <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. I don't have these. Um, yeah, exactly. Spritzy, or sparkly drinks. Okay, so I'm just going to use this little wine segment. Where's my radial repeat tool, Andrew? Um, it would be. Uh, I would go to object and then object. Re- uh, repeat. repeat. No, hold repeat. on. Uh, yes. That good? Yes. Okay. Ah, that's exactly <gasps> what I wanted. Wait, these are going to be so fun with the little bubbles. I know. Isn't that cute? Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm a fan. I and then like... if you need more space, you can grab the little circle node right there. Oh. Uh, yeah, top this left. Uh, right there. Yep. And then as you pull them out, ah, then you have more space. That's exactly. You read my mind. Yeah. I was like, those are too close together. Okay. I love it. A fun little burst. Oh, I don't want to get rid of that. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. We're combining the powers of. This is very like Palm Springs, like <sighs> brunch. Yeah. Yeah. This is like your perfect brunch menu. You could also add some food in here too. You know, what's a boozy brunch without like some pancakes? Yes. Like French toast. I'm a French toast boy. Oh, some I bacon do. on it. Yeah. Ooh. That sounds good. Okay. This is starting to be really, really cute. Yes. Whoa, Chilaquiles. Oh. What is that? Oh, chilaquiles. It's basically it's basically breakfast nachos. Uh, oh. It's like, <laughs> it sounded so much fancier yeah, than that. No, no, like, it's like chips it's and like red sauce, and then it has like eggs and bacon on it. Um, okay. It's great. What drink would you say that pairs well with? That would have to be some kind of tequila. Um, Should we do the Paloma next? Let's do a Paloma. Oh, Paloma will be perfect. Paloma okay, and chilaquiles. Okay. I kind of want that like behind. Yes. And Cody is saying it looks very retro with these colors. I agree. I love this Okay. Vibe. Well, that's fun. I like this honestly looks just like Emily's color palette too. It does. Sorry. I'm just raving about Emily. I just met her and she was phenomenal. Yes. So. We were watching outside and we went, mm-hmm, same vibes. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Um, okay. This was my Paloma. Because I just read our minds. I mm, That's like a little bit muted. So ignore those colors. I like a little bit more of a bright pink, a bright. Yeah. What kind of color is this? Salmon, orangey pink. Oh, OK. So someone on Twitch is saying that spritzen uh, is German and uh, means sputtering. Sputtering. Yes. Uh, and Pixel Siren saying, do you guys upload these streams anywhere after the fact? Yes. Uh, oh, I believe yeah. the VODs are available after. Or if you want to check us out on YouTube, I know that I'm talking to Twitch and be like, go to YouTube. Uh, we do have a YouTube channel. Uh, you can subscribe. Uh, there's, oh, wait, where am I? Uh, there's a little pop up that we have over there. Uh, it is adobe.ly slash. Do we have a link here? Does it come up with a link? Okay, cool. It's so, Adobe, there, yeah. li- Adobe Live, Adobe.ly slash live. <laughs> I was, Our studio manager is killing it today. It. I was really trying to pretend like I knew what it was. So, yes, you can <laughs> uh, go check all those out and subscribe over there. Um, and Twitch, we do love you. We are here on Thursdays with you pretty much indefinitely. So tune in That's on Thursdays awesome. all day. We'll be hanging out with you. And if you like us, great, because we're here a lot. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so same deal as before. Let's make this a little bit bigger. I want these cocktails to be like roughly the same size and shape. I really love this like garnish. I love the garnish. I think we should recreate the garnish. Andrew, I don't think you should eat that garnish. I would chew on it. No. (laughs) It's time. Isn't it time? Is it? If it's, I'm not going to eat it, but I'm going to chew on it. Okay. Okay. We're learning <laughs> so much about you today. If something is edible, but you shouldn't eat it, I'm going to chew on it just to like get the flavor and then, no. yes. Okay. Well, <laughs> all right. I'm going to just make this, I just want to make it a rectangle. I yep. don't know. I'm not trying to do like too much dimension with this. I really like the flat, like vector illustration look. Um, here, let's see. I'm going to do the same object path, offset path. And here's one where I want the, um, well, actually, sorry. Let's make the glass a little bit lighter. I think I like keeping with this pattern of having the liquids a little bit darker and the yes. glass a little bit lighter, but still kind of like a little monochromatic. Yes. I think it's, that's kind of fun. I do too. And with I like think that most drinks are monochromatic. Like it's very rare you get a drink that has yeah. like a lot going on. That's true. So, Maybe yes. like a frozen drink would be... 
more like layered. But yeah, that's true. Like is, a little Miami Vice. And yeah. Chad is agreeing with me, saying that rosemary is good to chew on for sure. Okay, so. okay. <laughs> well, sorry, I'm in the minority here. Um, this one, I want it to look like we've taken some sips out of it. So yep. I'm gonna just like it, this is a rectangle too, so this is really easy to switch. Yes. Um, so and I made that a little bit shorter. While we're talking about sips, Chad is going to remind us, I'm sure, to sip and save. Uh, sip and save is something we do here on Adobe Live. We take a sip of water and we save our document because we forget on our Stop. live streams to save the document. And so we hydrate and then we save. Wait, you didn't cheers me. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Sip. And save. Command S. We got it. Okay, back in. Thank you. <laughs> I love that. Okay. Same deal as before. I'm gonna do a gradient. Let's see. I wanna change the angle though. I want them to have like some different like shadows. So instead of turning it 90 degrees, I kind of like it fading into the right. Do you like that? Yes, okay. I'm into it. Okay, you looked like you were deep in I was, thought. I was thinking of how it would be like, maybe the glass has that like effect to it. Like it's like a, like the refraction of the light is like bending it to the side. Oh, yeah. That's, yes, I like the gradient. Yeah, All also that to say. like I don't have a consistent light source here. I'm very sorry. So like my gradients oh, and true. like fake shadows are just gonna be like. Doesn't matter. I mean, all these images were shot with different, you know, studios and different yeah, lights. All so different lighting. creative uh, liberty yes. here. Okay, this is kind of boring, but I think we can make it a little bit more fun. Let's make some of that, what was it, time? Mm -hmm. Wait, we need our ice cubes. Oh, we Pause. do. Pause, one moment, please. And we can use the same ones. Yeah, exactly. And maybe I want like three this time. Maybe I'll make them a little smaller. What if I have them more like floating up at the top? Oh, yeah. Less of a, like packed in. Not as dense of a drink, I guess. Yes. That's um, some physics, right? Yes. Okay. Oh. Okay, that's kind of cute. Also, this drink is massive. I mean, I just maybe it's one of those party bowls. Like you get like the big, <laughs> with like nine bowl. straws for your friends. Yeah, it could be yes. for sure. Okay, that just, sorry, that was bothering me. It's okay, we're there. <laughs> All right, I like it. I think I'm gonna make these more of like a little free flowing. Mm -hmm. So to do that, I think I'm gonna use the pen tool. Okay. So I'm gonna grab my green from over here. Let's see. I just kind of, I'm going to freehand this. Oh boy. Hold on everyone. Hold I my know. hand, chat. Hold my hand. We're here together. One you need, hand. You need both hand. I was going to say, <laughs> you need your hands. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. I'm just going to make them look like that. Chat, can we have, I'm reaching out to you. Wait, here, let me get on the B cam. Chat, I'm reaching out to you. Uh, hands, <laughs> hands in chat. Hold my hand as we go through. Okay. Free I've, form pen tool. We did good. Okay, that's kind of fine, actually. I just yes. want them to be like long and, I don't know, sticky. We did fine. Yeah. I'm just going to keep layering these. And you know what? We're going to hide all the ugly bits of the bottom, like into the glass. So I am not too worried about like all this lining up perfectly. And then I kind of want to make these, ooh, what if I did like a little split down the middle, one half like lighter green, one half darker green? Oh yeah, that's a fun like, like stylistic like reference. That? Yes, I like that. Okay. I feel like we could use that other places too. I was thinking like later, this needs some like flowers or decorations up there. I agree. So Something subtle. Yeah, yeah, maybe we could do that too after this drink and start making some decorations. Yeah. And I also want to mock this up. So we're Ooh. not obviously going to get through like the entire menu. But we do have some stuff that we can show oh, to pretend like we did. I have a complete like surprise. I did it um, menu in an hour. Yes. So. We got about 15 minutes left. So we are going to build out this one. Maybe just do some decorations. Yes. And then let's pretend that we spent two hours together. And yeah. we'll have it. I'll show you just how I, how I do this leaf. Um, OK. So I just drew a line segment, divided it, make this a little bit darker. Oh, oh, because it's on a gradient. I don't want this to be a gradient, silly. What is that? Um, ooh, the yeah. divide tool is so nice in Pathfinder. I know yeah. Pathfinder usually only, or people only use Pathfinder for uh, adding or subtracting. Oh. Using the divides and stuff. Oh, that's really like helpful. pretty much what I use it for all the time. Yep. So basically what I do here, maybe you wanted to add some like more gradients here. I would just start like playing with it like this. But and then I'd like bring it to the back. Yes, okay. just a little sprig. Just a little, a little Ooh, something. Oh, that's something. cute. That's cute. That's cute. Yeah. Okay, you get the idea. Yes. Let's get rid of this image for now, and I want to just show you 
some fun little spring flowers that we can create because I want to use this pink right here. Do you want to use this pink? I want nothing more. Okay, good, because we're going to use the pink. So this is like one of my favorite tools, just using the ellipse tool, the circle, and then do you know what I'm going to do? Pucker and blow. Oh, yes, pucker and blow is so good for making stars and flowers. And flowers. Okay, so as you <laughs> see, I love this for like a little sparkle effect. I don't really feel like that's like super springy necessarily. It's kind of like nighttime vibes. So I'm going to, let's see, make this pretty thin. I'm really liking this. And then I'll just duplicate this, rotate it 90 degrees, and then line all these up. Oh. How cute is that? Yes. A little flower. And then I can just keep doing that um, too. Maybe like, let's do a little yellow flower um, over here. This time I want to use the zigzag. Why not? Oh, zigzags are a great one too. And you yeah. can start stacking these effects too. We're showing you each of these, but you can like stack a zigzag with a pucker and blow yes. it and see what happens. So that might be real crazy. It would probably be really crazy. It would be fun for sure. Yeah. So I don't want it to be like super sharp. So let's change this to smooth. Hmm. Ooh, fun. I want this to be a little bit smaller. Whoops. I have this in inches. I should probably have this in like pixels. Um, okay. Yeah, not yeah. mad about it. Kind of fun. Maybe it feels like if, the center of a daisy. I, yes. We just get each other, Andrew. We're here. Yeah, flower I don't minds. like that as much as like a standalone uh, flower, but okay. It's cute. I think that's really fun. Should I show the pro uh, the final product so we can start mocking up? Yes, let's do that. Okay. So let's jump and see what we created. Yes. Drum roll, please. Chat, thanks so much for joining us. Look at all the crazy stuff we did. Whoa, what Look a journey we took together. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of similar. We got, yeah, no, we got, we got going there. Yeah, we for sure got going. And it's just a very like repeatable process. You could do, I don't know, like however many cocktails yes. you want. It's simple shapes. It's gradients. As long as exactly. you have your like process done, you can just keep going in that style. Absolutely, and process. yeah. And I mean, I use like you can see here some subtle little gradients, just some lights to darks. I love doing that just to add. Like, look, this looks like it's a little bit of a shadow. Yep. Isn't that kind of fun? That's the same one we created together, like putting the straw behind the cup. Yes, chat is requesting that we add the uh, bubbles to the spritz from the Oh, of I course. I do think that was a big, that was a Can big Can I grab ad. them from the oh, mimosa? Oh, yes, we have them on the mimosa. Yeah. Do you want to, I don't know what I did here. Okay, sorry, they're on the mimosa, not they're, on the spritz. They're on the mimosa, sorry chat. We We're, can compromise. Thanks so much for the compromise. <laughs> yeah, isn't the striped straw? I th someone like that. I, I love the striped straw. I that's kind of fun. Yeah, just like fun little details. You can get more and more detailed with this. How are you doing the striped straw? Like how is, is it a gradient on top of the stripe? How are you getting like the cutoff of that striped straw right there? The cutoff right here? Like where it goes, yeah, into the drink. I um, divided this shape. So like the rectangle, you can see I oh. cut out the rectangle in the middle. So it's actually going. Like a little window. Yeah, it's like a little window. So you can see this is the liquid, and then the straw base goes from like a darker yellow to a lighter yellow. So it kind of looks like it's dipping into the liquid. She's a professional. Thanks. I mean, I feel like you're the one teaching me things here. And then I just made a little clipping mask with like all the little stripes. Yep. Um, and put them on an angle. Yeah. So. And yes, chat is agreeing. Clever way to do that. I Thanks. agree. That's a Thank very clever you. way to do that. Okay. Fun. So now I want to make a mock-up of my menu, but there's nothing I hate more than like going and searching for all the free mock-ups that like yes. everyone and their mother has seen from like all these generic websites. Stock does have some good ones, but a lot of times you have to pay for them. So let's do a free little hack and I'm gonna generate a mock-up in Firefly. Firefly mock-ups, the best. Yes, I love doing that. Okay, so let's see. I want this to be a vertical white, piece of paper. I want a light pink background because I'm a pink girl, if you couldn't tell. Um, could you have guessed that? You're in my, all black. My, my nails, my pink nails. No, we love it. Shirt. We love it. You yes. know, contrast. Uh, yes, I was going to say, yeah, spring vibes and like a spring storm yeah. vibe. I don't know. I. <laughs> Yeah, there yeah. you go. There we go. April showers. April showers and May flowers. Look at yes. us go. And I my birthday's it. in April, so it's perfect. Happy early birthday, I Andrew. am the April shower. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, I want to do a flower, like flowers in a cocktail glass. Would be kind of fun, don't yes. you think? Yes, yes. And then I'm just going to add some other keywords like mock-up in there. 
and let's just see what this generates. I did this like a bunch of times and Every now and then you get a killer. Yeah, so I have some killers saved, worst case scenario. Yes, every now and then, you don't. Okay, like these are kind of fun. Oh, these are cute. Yes, I do like cute. I do like these. Hmm, oh wait. Oh, I love those. Do you those. like that one? Yes. Okay, that actually might be better than the one I had before. Yeah. This is very spring brunch. Yes, I agree. And I like that it's not completely like taking away from what the menu design looks like. Yes, it's complimentary. It's complimentary. Um, but you can see like this is one that I generated Whoa. in Firefly. Isn't that crazy? I mean, there's some like weird stuff going on down here, but whatever. I think this is just like such an easy way, especially to like just mock up a flat piece of paper yes. is really, really simple to do. This would be a lot more complicated if it was like a three-dimensional object. Yes. Um, but Emma, how do we get our design onto the mock-up that well, we have Well, I'm so glad you asked. Okay, so I downloaded my Firefly image. I'm gonna drag it into Photoshop here. I'm gonna unlock this, and I'm just gonna call this Firefly image. And I can go back to Illustrator. I'm going to select all of my artwork. I think it's good too to like um, outline your text so it's not live text anymore. That's yes. just something I like to do, so that's type. Uh, but make a copy of it. Create outlines, yes. Yes, yes. always create a copy. Um, oh, and I'm gonna save, just in case. Thanks, sip and Chad. save. Yes, yeah, sip, sip and save. save. Okay, and what I'm gonna do just to preserve like the dimensions of all this is I'm gonna make this uh, background square color um, transparent. I'm gonna group all of this. So you see that's all selected, and then I'm gonna rasterize it just to make it really, really easy to bring it over into Photoshop. So I'm gonna save that as a transparent image and you can see now like nothing is live. So this is an image that I can copy and paste directly into Photoshop. That's handy to have. I don't have to export, which yeah. I love it. Just cutting out the middleman here. Okay, so I'm gonna copy that and then go back to Photoshop here and paste this. And you can paste it if you were to leave it live as like a smart object, but I just want this to be like, a smaller file. Yes. I don't need this to be we like need, layered and yeah. crazy. We're not going to PSB zone. No, no. Okay, so you can see, ta-da, there is our Yay. menu. So I'm gonna just scale it up a little bit. And something that I was doing earlier when I was playing around with this is like just creating a rectangle um, in the same size as the paper in the mock-up just to center my artwork. So, because oh, I'm not, then I don't want to eyeball it, you know? I want it to look nice and professional. I like to live recklessly. Oh, you do? Okay, well, that's good for you. I, I don't. I'm very careful, <laughs> yes. precise. Okay, so you can see that that looks- You were pretty looks, close. Yeah, I was pretty, pretty close. All right, so that looks really good as yes. is. I'm kind of loving this, actually. I like it more than this one. This one, I'll show you, like, it's fun. There's just a yeah, lot going on. Yeah. There's something that I did do here. Um, like, let's say my mock-up, like this image, was a little dark on the piece of paper. All I did is I added a brightness and contrast filter over what? Oh, sorry. I just was, I was in front of your layer. Oh, oh. <laughs> I was showing the layer. Okay, there we go. Sorry. I was like, You're like, uh, where are you going? Where are you going? You're leaving sorry. me here. I was, I was living Thanks. in the imaginary world that we are floating in. <laughs> um, but yeah, but like you can see before, this just feels a little dark. I feel like yep. I lost some of the poppiness of the colors. You can just fake it to make it. Add a little brightness, add a little contrast. Make sure it's, um, you can option click and make sure, like see if it's over my entire image. I, that's bad. It's a lot. Option click just so it um, applies that to my artwork. I also feel like this image is very surreal, where the other yes. one is a lot more like reserved and like grounded. Realistic, like yes. you could post this on a social. Yes. Something else that I like to play with is the blend modes. That's like, I feel like such yes. an easy hack. Multiply is kind of like my go-to. Uh, let's see, linear burn is good. I actually kind of, eh, what do you think? Do you like linear burn? Or multiply. I'm a multiply. Okay. I'm a multiply guy. Yeah, and then you can see it just brings out some of the texture of the page. So it makes it feel, again, just a little bit more realistic. Yeah. And ta -da, Do we want to try that. with our last, like, what, six minutes yeah. left? Okay, so let's go back to Illustrator. This okay. is going to be crazy. Oh, let's be crazy. So uh, this is a new tool that is in beta. Let's go uh -huh. ahead and grab our mock-up that we made, uh, okay. the just like the background that we generated in Photoshop. Uh, or sorry, that we generated in Firefly. Um, 
with the this flowers. One? Yes. Yep. Let's just drag that in. Bring it in. Yep. And so we're going to send that to the back. So right click and then arrange, send to back. Yep. Perfect. So now we're going to group together all of our vector art, which is over on the corner there. Yep. Oh, this is uh, rasterized. Not that one. Yeah, that's rasterized. Whoops. Get that out of sorry, here. Sorry, sorry. Okay, this is vector. Okay. Group. So we're going to grab that, group it. And then we are going to select the image. With, we're going to select both of those. Okay. Uh, Should I, can I make this bigger? Y yes, kind of. It doesn't matter, actually. Okay. So let's drag and grab both of those. Okay. And both now let's selected. go to object. Object. Mock up down at the bottom. Oh, where is it? Hold on. Do we need it in? Oh, yes. Okay. Hold okay. on. I got you. I got you over here. Studio manager. Yes. Sorry. Flip over to me. No, you're good. I don't have beta open. No, it's cool. So um, <laughs> if you are, if you have like the most recent version, there is a feature called mock-up that's in beta. Yes. And so let's I say, have played around with it. Okay, cool. Fun. Yes. Let's say that this is your art. This is the mock-up that we made in Firefly. You just select both of those and then go to object and mock-up make. And it's going to process your image for you and then place your vector onto the image uh, really seamlessly. And it actually does a great job at finding all of the edges right. and like morphing it kind of as you go. Um, look at that. Yeah, it's super nice too. Like I'm not great when it comes to more dimensions than just a piece of paper in Photoshop. So like using the flat vector image in Photoshop was totally fine. But yes, 100%. Like this is a very three dimensional hat. That's awesome. And I think you got that image from stock, but you could totally generate that. Yes. In Firefly. You can generate in Firefly. And really, it just gives you, gives you more creative control to like what's in your mock-up. Yes. Because a lot of times I feel like I'm looking through mock-ups and it's like a little bit off here, or a little bit off there. Yes. And with the new structure reference. Uh, structure reference is awesome. Structure reference is awesome. Yes. We so did we that on do... Tuesday. If you yes. watch that live segment, definitely make sure to to watch that again. So if we want to do like a mock-up of like a white box in the jungle. So we put that in there, but Perfect. then we can come down to the structure right here and there's a gallery that I'm pretty sure has some pretty good boxes. Yeah. So let's say that like um, we want to get like a cool edge of the box. You can maybe structure reference this building that we have here and let's generate that and it's going to put the box at that angle, match the structure, but so keep it in the jungle to give us like yeah. a really unique mock-up for that it. so nice. It's so fun, especially if you have something from stock that's like the vibe you want, but not quite right. all the pieces. Yeah. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's like a little house. It's like a tiny little house. Aw, that's cute. That's cute. I like it. Yeah. And we could very easily mock up on there too, which would be really cool. Yeah, absolutely. Yay. Okay, let's do a quick recap of everything all of our that we protests. went through. Yes, okay. all of our protests. Go through. Okay. So to recap, we generated some really cool reference imagery in Firefly, and then we brought those images into Illustrator to then create some spot illustrations for our cocktail menu. We, you know, just used really simple shapes and the pen tool, added some gradients, used some fun fonts from Adobe Fonts, created a really cute color palette, and then we learned how to make mock-ups. Really two awesome ways to do it, by generating an image in Firefly, and then you can either uh, like I did, bring it into Photoshop and then copying your artwork directly into Photoshop or playing with, is it generative mock-up? That's what it's called? Uh, it is called just mock -up? object mock-up. Mock -up. Yes, yeah, it's just called mock-up. Just mock-up mock -up in mock -up beta. Illustrator. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so I've had so much fun. Have you had this fun? Is, this is great. I really want like a real cocktail now, but I think the LaCroix will do for now. Yes. But hope you all learned so much, had some fun. Um, get inspired to kind of create a menu of your own or some just really fun spring yes. illustrations. And as you can see, we have moved on from our egg lineup. Oh, we have yes. our lower third there. It will go in a second. There we go. <laughs> we have. We are still continuing to build our egg uh, little uh, village parade. Vi yeah, village. Yes. A parade sounds more fun. An egg parade. Yeah. An egg parade. Yes. Parade. Um, so <laughs> we are going to continue uh, creating some awesome stuff for you. Coming up next, we have a gardening guide with uh, Emily and I. Are be building out Woo some awesome illustrations, might animate a little bit in Express, have some fun. Ooh. And then at 1 p.m., stick around for Adobe Office Hours. It's going to be super crazy, really fun, and highly interactive. So make sure you stick around that, especially if you're on Twitch. We'd love to see you. Yes, um, welcome. Stick around, everybody. We will be back in just a few minutes with more content here on Adobe Live. Awesome. Bye. Thanks. Bye.
we're gonna take a look at Adobe Express and talk about how we can revamp our YouTube channel. This is Express. I want to make um, something for social media, so I'm gonna click there. We can hit this plus sign at the top left. So I'm gonna go YouTube banner and we have all sorts of options. I think I'm gonna roll with this and see what we can modify. So I'm gonna just retype this sketch a day with YouTube, even though the banner is a certain size. When you're designing the banner, you want to make sure you have the important stuff kind of in that top section. So if you want to add an outline again, for me, that's more on brand with what I do. And I'm going to go ahead with the italic version. If you pay attention to the recommended section, it's like having a little design buddy with you. Since I do more than drawing, maybe I call this sketch and make. Let me go ahead and duplicate this and paste. If you go down in the text window, not only can you add a shadow or change the shape or animate the text, but there's also text effects. I can type cardboard and I'm gonna hit generate. Yeah, so now I have this little cardboard part of Sketch really and Make. Cool. <laughs> if you want to replace your background, you can do that as well. I can hit upload from device. So I can just drag and drop that and there it is in Express. Okay, so I do want to make the text pop a little bit. So I'm going to go back, we can go to shadow and I'm going to, I like the strong shadow. You can even change the color of the shadow. I might say Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Since this is a little bit hard to read, maybe I'll switch the color here. With the images, there's other options. We can go to effects. I've been playing with duotone a lot. So I'm going to take this headshot that I have here. I'm going to drag that in. I'm going to go to remove background so I can hit erase. I'm going to use some shapes to kind of obscure the edge. So if I go into elements, there's all sorts of stuff we can use. And then when I go into effects and the duotone, maybe we'll roll with that. Another way to do it is under elements, you have a bunch of stuff you can pick from. Let's see, I've got this little pentagon here. We can scale. If you hold alt on the keyboard, it'll duplicate that object for you can make it a specific color. Like I said, I kind of like that yellow. I'm just gonna search for a light leak. Take something like this one and drop it on. We could scale it up and get even more colorful. And then you can kind of play with the blending modes if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. I worked on another version of this that I'll pull up. So maybe I've got something like this. I can now go resize and maybe I want to turn this into an Instagram post and I want to also make a reel. When I hit duplicate and resize, it actually oh. duplicates everything for you. Let's start with the square. Sketch and make. Now let's go ahead and take an element of shape. I'm gonna take the circle, scale it down, and let's change the color a little bit here. Because this is an Instagram post, it can be animated. I want this to be looping and I want it to blink. I've got my iPad Pro here. I wanna tweak something or maybe I just wanna modify. Well, I can do that in Adobe Fresco. So I've made a couple quick changes and then now in Express, boom, there we go. You see that blue thing at the bottom? That's, wow. a, that's Adobe magic. Oh. Express is like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Your linked asset's been changed. I'm like, yo, oh. you, saw, you saw me. So now if I hit update, it's actually gonna update and you'll see the shadow has come in there. And now we'll go into my Instagram story. There is something cool you can do on Fresco. I have this sketch. So if I hit the share button and go to preview time-lapse, I can actually make a time-lapse of my whole drawing. I can drag the video in. Uh, let's put it behind everything. So now when I hit play, we should have all of this play together. Oh, wow. Okay, so let's go to elements. Um, we'll go to design assets. Uh, paper. I'm going to use this one because I think it'll work. Um, right click, <laughs> send to the back. If I change the blend ah, mode, now ah. I have my sketch that I did in Fresco on paper. This isn't really holiday. All right, I'll show you something easy. I made this little <clears throat> string with one light. And all of this I created in Illustrator, right? I already have them in my library. So if I go to brands and libraries, there's my lights. I'm going to drop this little guy in. And then if I go back to my stuff, I have this little gray glow that I created. With my image selected, I can now go to effects and I'm just going to pick a random color and animate this so that it's looping. Let's do flicker, drag in my little holiday light string and we'll duplicate these lights. When you're ready, all you have to do is hit download and now I can export that. Yeah, thank you. I learned so much. Thanks, man. Oh, thanks guys for watching.
Hi, and welcome back to Adobe Live. Woo! I'm Andrew. And I'm Emily. And we are celebrating the start of spring here on Adobe Live. As you can see, we have been creating stuff all day. Emily, can you take us through what we've created today so far? We created, I'm trying to remember now, egg templates. You were the first stream you did egg templates yes. for dressing up your egg. We had dragon eggs. We had adventure eggs. It's so eggs. QVC. <laughs> <laughs> and these are all online for download. Yes. Um, and then I jumped to my stream and I did an egg purse so you can carry an egg, a singular egg around with you in a very stylish purse. Just one. Just one. No more, no less. Or maybe less. Um, and then you hosted a wonderful stream. Yes. And we just did a uh, mocktail menu. We have our little mocktails. Oh, here. Um, I added a little cactus to this one. Um, it's just got tape <laughs> on it. Oh, here. There you go. So these are the mo <laughs> and it's but totally it keying out. out. Yeah. <laughs> so we made a little mocktail menu on the last stream as well. Um, if you want to go check that out, and on this stream, Megan, uh, Megan, on uh, this stream, you. Emily. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we know each other like 15 years. Um, what are we going to be doing on this stream? I'm glad that there's a subtitle because we're going to be making a gardening guide with Andrew and Emily. <laughs> um, and today we're going to be working in mainly Adobe Express, but we are going to be using some assets that I created in Illustrator, put into a library, and it's going to be amazing. Yay! So that's the plan. <clears throat> let's do it. I have granola bar like literally in my throat. So um, let's hop over to Emily's screen. Let's take a look at what we are going to create. So if I was opening Express and working with a client and I was like, what are we making today? I have many options, um, but I'm going to come over to marketing because today we're making a gardening guide and I would like to make a brochure, um, specifically a trifold brochure. Ooh. So I would select a template that I liked. And so I thought we could just go through some of these to get some inspiration um, and just see what kind of like colors and tones and things that we're liking. So that was my plan to start off. So let's look at some brochure templates, which Express has a lot of really amazing templates that colors are already chosen for you. and um, um, like placement and everything. So if you are a business and you are trying to make something that, uh, and you don't really like start from scratch, this is a great place to start. Um, lots of options in here. I think a lot of these are even two pages, which is going to account for the inside and outside printing, which is awesome. Um, and then we can grab a bunch of assets from here as well. Oh, this is fun. So I think I'm going to look through here and see if there's any like fun um, image treatments that I like. And then if there are, I'm going to bring those over into a document that I already selected. Um, but that's kind of my plan right now. Ooh, this is kind of cool. I like this kind of layout. Ooh, where I, it's like, the, I like the, yes. I like that. I like Overall, that. Overall, yes. Big fan. <laughs> um, very cool. Okay. And then maybe something like this I think could be cool. So I'm not really sure what content we're going to be cutting, putting in our gardening guide. So chat, if you are gardeners or you just like plants or want to just participate, um, definitely drop some stuff in chat and then we'll be adding that into here. Um, as far as like what would be helpful for plants maybe, what's in the season. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, let us know chat. And we are watching the chats over on YouTube as well as the chat oh, over on see. Twitch. Oh. Um, nice to see you. I know, we're on Twitch. I heard. We're live. Um, so let us know what you want to see and how you want Whoa. to learn about gardening. Um, I do just want to show real quick a project that Emily got and I got to work on. Aww. Together, why not? Um, as inspiration, maybe, as we jump into this. Uh, this is an older project that we worked on that was called Houseplant University. And the theme was like, if Monsters, Inc. University met uh, plants. plants. <laughs> uh, and so we had a lot of fun. Emily illustrated all these incredible They're little so fun cute. illustrations. Wow, They're I forgot so about cute. these. Yes, you did a lot of I them. I did all these? Yes. Wow. You did you did versions of all these, and then we refined them. So yes, they are <laughs> yours, but like a uh, an iterative version of yours. So fun. Um, so we created this like really fun, and then we did all these patterns, which I promised to show you earlier, and I forgot. Those are um, fine. I do think I did these patterns, um, but we did create these like very fun patterns. This project ended up not happening, but really cool stuff, really fun things. Um, just wanted to shout that out. Emily's really great. Let's hop back to your screen. Okay, what are we? Where are we starting here? So we are starting, so I selected this layout just, uh, but I don't know why I selected this one actually. This is the one I originally selected, but I really feel like that it needs two pages. Um, so you know what, let's come back here. Well, no, I invited you to this one. We're gonna work on this. Okay, here we are working on this, this one. This one, this is the one. Um, and I'm gonna open up my egg purse library. So if you watched our previous stream, which I think is like part of this bigger stream, um, I was working on egg purse. And so I brought, brought in a bunch of colors and fun illustrations. Um, and I just want these to all be cohesive since we are on the same stream. So yes. that's the plan. Um, and Andrew, you were invited as a collaborator to this, I believe. Yes, which is really cool because then yeah. it is a live collaboration. Emily and I get to work on it together, um, which is really cool. And you'll see me pop up here in just a second. Okay. There I am. Hello. There he is. Um, I'm thinking, can you import 
some of those um, patterns into my <gasps> yes. library so that way yes. we could bring those in. Boy, can I. All right, amazing. I just want to check first. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and change out some of these colors to be our brand colors. I'm clicking here, and then my library is already generated, which is awesome. So if you're working in a brand or in a brand system, um, add your colors in here, and then it's super easy to get going, and no one's using colors that are off brand, which is everyone's dream, right? Um, I'm going to use some of these brighter colors, again, just changing out these backgrounds to get the party started. And I guess the front maybe, is it lame that it's green? Is that too obvious? No. Okay. So this is going to be very spring, very, uh, yeah, warm and cute colors. So that's kind of our vibe. I'm going to take out these images for now. I don't really think that this is the placement we're going to use. I do like this. I think this is fun. Um, but so basically <laughs> I got this template and we're going to change a lot of it. Um, I do like the typefaces that they chose. So let's start here with like spring gardening guide. Spring gardening. Ooh, live spelling gardening guide. We're doing a live. We're doing a live. Okay. Cute. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna need some like descriptor. Is there a placeholder text in? There's not, right? Yes, so you can go up there to, uh, oh, sorry, not in Express. Yes, I thought we were not. in Illustrator, no. <laughs> you said, wait, where are we? <laughs> yes. Okay, amazing. Oh, chat is adding, oh, some step-by-steps. Okay, for how to plant a watermelon, I like that. Okay, I'm gonna do like Spring Garden Guide, your friendly. I mean, my mom taught me that if I, eat watermelon seeds, then you that grow, watermelon. grow watermelon. That's, that's, that's so, those are the two steps. I'm going to design and Andrew's going to work on growing a watermelon. Yes. We're going <laughs> to we'll just meet back here later. Okay. Your friendly, um, spring, is springtime hyphenated? Springtime gardening. Yeah. Guide. I don't think it is. It might not it be. It might be no, one word. No, it's not. It's not. It's springtime is two words. Okay. I was getting a little loosey-goosey there, wasn't I? Okay. We were getting that. Oh yeah. Off the rails. Your <laughs> off the rails. We need the transition. Uh, springtime gardening guide. Or gardening um, companion, because we can't say guide toys. Yes. Oftentimes when I'm working with clients, if I see like yeah a word appearing twice in the same sentence, I'll be like, could we maybe revise this copy a little bit? Um, sometimes it's good for emphasis, but oftentimes it's just more repetitive than anything. Okay. And I'm gonna make this way bigger. Although 120 already seems big at 150. How's your um, pattern adding going? Good. I like didn't. <sighs> It's you not didn't. it's not a vector uh, file, oh. and so I'm like auto tracing. I was hoping that it would be a vector file, but it's not. Hey, if it's too much, don't even stress. But no, I just thought I it'd be cool to bring it back. Got you. No, I got you. Okay. Spring gardening guide, amazing. I think contact us is going to be important, so we'll leave that here. If people have gardening questions, it's not going to be our numbers because we don't know anything. <laughs> okay, but let's make this white because that's crazy. All right, I'm just gonna kind of like drop stuff on here. Okay. Um, and then I think. And then add it to the library. I'm not shared in your library. How are you not shared in my library? I don't think I'm shared to th that library. Okay. Okay. Do Hold you on. Let's go to my screen. Yeah. I will show how to do something real quick. So um, just something. Just some. Just something. <laughs> just anything. So what I'm going to show is that effect that we saw with like the person that had like the two tone effect. I think. Oh, you're good. This is my screen. Okay. I was like, it's not changing. <laughs> it's me. Yes. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to media, and let's say that we just want. Ooh, let's do a gardener. I said that. I said every syllable of that. A gardener. A gardener. Um, so we have a gardener. This guy. Well, there's a gardener. Mr. Garden. Um, wow. And we are going to remove the background from Mr. Garden. His scissors is kind of scary. This this is, yes. This man has never been in a garden. Uh, um, the remove background is so great. Yes. And so we're going to kind of put him maybe over to the side here that a little bit. That whole back panel is for him. I'll take Boom. out that text. And then from here, I can actually use the effects tool to go to a custom duo tone. Ooh. And we're going to do the shadows. We're going to do the highlights as the background color. So we're going to use a little eyedropper and do the highlights as the background. And then the shadows, we just do like a darker version of that background. Ooh. And so we can come in here and go to custom and maybe just do it a little bit darker here. And you can see now we have that really cool faded kind of two-tone look. Epic. Um, very easy to do using that duo tone feature. And you'll see if I bring it up here, it will kind of bleed over. Actually, That's I'm not mad cool. about that. It's kind of cool. Okay, here's my worry though. He's too much. That was not my worry, but oh. kind of was. Is it too much with like the style that we're using on the front with like a dark outline? Yes. Okay. Yes. No, he's going away. Oh, bye. Yeah, no rose for you. <laughs> is it, it was a gardening joke. I got it. Gardening and bachelor, yeah. Huh? That was impressive. Mm. Okay. 
So I invited you to the shared library. So hopefully that's come to you now. Oh, okay, cool. Yes, yeah, so let's hop back to Emily's screen. And then I am just dropping in. These kind of look like Schoolhouse Rock. I didn't mean for them to, but it kind of reminds me of that style now. <gasps> Schoolhouse Rock. I know. Should we sing? No, we're not going to sing. But everyone's singing in your hearts. That's what I was that's thinking. That's the one, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do, um, this is the front, right? If you're a piece of paper and you fold, yes. I'm a piece of paper. I'm a piece of paper. Um, I want this to sit on the fold because I think that'll be cute. And I'm just going to be dropping some of these in. So I made these in Illustrator yesterday from some of my drawings, and then I put them into a library, which was wonderful. And so now they're all just here for me, which is great. And, and then, the library is called like Egg something, right? Sorry, the library is indeed called Egg Purse, and okay, it's called Egg Purse because that was the previous stream. Cool. I will find it. Find the Egg Purse. Got it. Did it come to you? It yes. should have been sent to your email directly. I got it. Okay, great. No more questions. He's got it. <laughs> No more. Thank you so much. No more questions. No more questions. I have no more questions. All okay. right. I added one of the patterns. I'm going to work on getting the other ones. I love it. Wait, was it in here? Uh, I just synced it. So we are using Creative Cloud libraries so that we can sync back and forth. Which is epic. Epic. And it's funny because Emily and I have worked together for a long time. And so I think we just went into work mode and I forgot that I was supposed to be like telling you what we're doing. So I was just like, oh, yeah, we're handling so if this project. Questions, just add them in. Yeah. yeah. If you have any questions, yeah. Uh, so, what? yes, we are using Creative Cloud libraries. And I'm working in Illustrator and then just dropping it in the library. And it will show up automatically for Emily. And in then Express. she can work on it. Yes, in Express. And I'm choosing a new typeface because I think that the one that was in there was really fun or like it was a strong typeface, but because of the illustrations we're adding, I just think we need something either a little heavier or just a little more fun to it. Yes. And Emily and I both talk really, really fast, oh, which I'm, I'm so realizing sorry about that. we both do it. Uh, so <laughs> if you have questions, if we talk too fast, if we are sharing something and you're like, what just happened? Uh, same. But also just let us know, <laughs> ask us. Uh, and we'll and speak we will... it clearly and slowly into the microphone. Yes. And directly into the microphone. Directly. And are we wearing the same hat? Yes. Twinsies. I had a costume change. Okay. I hope we didn't just like get too loud in people's ears. Ooh, no. Okay. Oh, okay. these like. I like this argyle. one. This one feels a little more fun. Yes, it's still a sans serif, which was what was in there already, but this just feels a little more cute. Like, look at the little A tail. Yes. Very fun. Ooh, and I'm actually going to grab your colors. They're in my library. They're so easy for you to find. What am I doing? Okay, so I'm going to match. Oh, they're literally on my screen. I think we should go over to Andrew's screen really fast because he's an illustrator, if you're okay with that. Yeah, let's do, do it. Do have your permission? Yes, consent. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use the magic wand tool here to select all these yellows and just match Emily's yellows to make sure that we're good. And what's cool is that my library is just right there. So yep. there's no question. There's no, can you send me the hex code? It's right there. Yep, and I am going to grab... Uh, the there we go, and then I'm also going to do a couple variations of this pattern Why just because this pattern's so tasty. Um, tasty. It's tasty. Welcome to today's gardening guide. It's yes. tasty. Oh, blue, pink, and is orange going to be too much? <gasps> no, that like a feels lighter pink, like that. Art. I love it. Oh. It's a university. Yes. So I just made a mistake where I was in a group and selected everything. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy what I just did and then undo until it fixes where it was. And then I'm simply going to paste in place. Control Shift V. Wow. And I'm traveling through time. So now I have one in the future as well. And let's do one more. What other colors do we need, Emily? Um, Let's do like a cool one. So let's do, yeah, the, or sorry, I guess warmer. Greens, blue, and yellow maybe. Okay, and let's do fun. the light blue, yeah. Yeah. Light blue. Uh, and chat then is asking, hi, Barbara. We're so excited you're here. But chat is asking, are these brand colors? These are our brand colors for today and today only. The, but if you were a brand, this is a great place yes. to add oh, your colors. Look at these colors. See, they're beautiful. Gorgeous. It's All right, springtime. I'm going to add it to our library. Okay. Could you also add individual shapes? So maybe like a few of the, um, like I kind of like the lattice crossing. Yep. And then maybe a few of the diamonds. Cool. Yes. Just for the vision I have Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Okay, I liked on this reference I was seeing, um, I like this little flow chart. Maybe I'm gonna do one of something, can I copy over from here? I'll just redraw it, doesn't matter. Um, I think I'm gonna add something that's maybe like a growing guide of like when these will be ready by or something, I don't know. Okay, yeah. For my garden. Okay, so I'm gonna come back to elements, I'm gonna go to shapes, and I'm gonna start adding in some shapes. It's like a little flow chart, a little flow garden chart. Yes, and we can head back to Emily's screen as well. Ah, uh, yes, perfect. So We're I, just switching off doing the production work of what this project is. Should we have like a keyword? Oh, like over? a secret word? But it's not secret because everyone's in on it. Oh, okay. Okay, someone says Control Z makes time travel possible. That's very true. It's true. Okay, um, so I was sorry. Let me tell you what I was doing to catch you up to speed. So I was under elements, and then if you go over, shapes and icons are over here. But, oh, that's cute. 
Well, I wasn't meaning to go there, but I do really like that. Okay, we're gonna go back to shapes. Uh, and I'm just gonna add in some rectangles. And then when you click on the shape, it gives you all of the ways that you can edit it. And all my colors are there. So let's do the cream, because that is our brand color. And let's do a stroke, if I come back out. Or border is called here. I'm gonna add the hot pink border. I am, that's very cute. And maybe let's round the corners just like slightly. So cute, I love it. Okay, and then I'm gonna hold Option Shift and like an Illustrator, it'll copy paste it and it'll copy paste drag, which is super nice. Um, everyone's loving Control Z in the chat. Yes, it is. It is a great little hack to uh, work through your mistakes. <laughs> the fact that some programs, not Adobe programs, but some programs like that you're using, or I was just on Instagram and I was like, oh, I can't Control Z, and that's oh, really if I can't undo, I would know. I'm like, oh, do I have to start all the way over? That's crazy. No, I am not. Okay. I'm gonna take this one out because we're gonna do a title. Maybe this will be like, mm, ready. I don't know, like ready, Freddy. Ready, um, grow times or harvest, harvest, harvest schedule. I guess this is gardening, but also your yeah, your vegetable garden. I don't know. Yeah, anything that grows is in a garden. Yeah. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna bring to front. I love that the commands are so similar. Or most of them are exactly the same, but fill, we go black. Let's do, okay, I'll portion it out. I'll do like flowers. Ew, I don't like that in all caps. Let's do lowercase. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too zoomed out. I keep dragging the whole box. Flowers. That'll be first. Because harvest, right? Certain flowers bloom at certain times. Yes, oh, 100%. Oh, did I keep? I thought I copied that twice. And maybe fruit. Yeah. I know that like and strawberries and yeah. <gasps> strawberries. I didn't make a single strawberry. We'll see if there's some in the stock. Strawberries. Or sorry, what was that? It's a fruit. That's just, yes. <laughs> just Strawberry. strawberries. Yes. Chat, if you're just joining, we're super excited that you're here. We are working in Adobe Express and using a shared library so that we can both be working together on creating this gardening guide for um, a brochure. Veggies. And if you want to um, follow along, you can open up, you can. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> you can do it. Uh, you can open up express.adobe.com to get started. Uh, there were some updates um, recently as well with Firefly. If you want to incorporate Firefly, um, some updates went live yesterday. Just yesterday. Just yesterday. Flower Garden, Veggie Garden, Olive Garden. Yes. <laughs> Honestly, yes. That's amazing. That is the correct, uh, yes, that's correct. Uh, I'm gonna start doing some maybe background textures Ooh, uh, with the patterns that we have. Okay, awesome. I am gonna do a quick throwback to my previous stream. Okay. Um, I made an egg purse and I was telling everyone, I was like, hey, it'll be available online and I had made a link to that. Um, so I did make a QR code. Oh, oh cool. But I, I made one that was not supported. Okay. Um, oops. The, uh, SVG? An SVG. Yeah. So let's go to your screen. Okay, hold on. What you well, can do. Are we side by side? That's oh, we're crazy. side by side. Okay. Well, I was going to bring it to Illustrator. What we can do, yeah, is literally paste it in yeah. Illustrator and then copy and paste it over. Um, let's do full screen on your screen briefly. Oh, yeah. Just Here so I, I am. Can bring this over. Full screen on me. All eyes on me. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> so we do have a shared library, and it hasn't shown up for me <laughs> and a yet. Brain. <laughs> uh, and a shared brain. But it will uh, show up for me in the egg purse. It should have all of those assets that Emily has created for us. We are working collaboratively on this document, and so it is literally okay. anything that she adds will show up for me as well. Um, there we go. All of the uh, different pieces of that egg purse Those are up are so now. Fine. And egg I do purse. want to incorporate these into the background here. And actually, they're already pretty perfect um, for what I want. Who dropped those in? Oh, was it me? Oh, they're pretty perfect. Oopsies. <laughs> Nailed it. Okay, my QR code has come through. So what I did is I opened the SVG in Illustrator, um, and then I turned it white, and then I brought it into, I just command copied command V and brought it in that way. Um, the SVG file just wasn't supported at this time. So that was on me. Should have done a PNG. Should have done it. All right, and then I'm going to send this Whoa. all yeah, the way to the back. Too yeah, high. I got my layers. I got it. How could you? I'm so sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a reason that egg purse is on here. It'll be like cut out this for a single strawberry. Yes. Thing. Okay. Okay, I love the little pattern. So I'm gonna do a different pattern on That's each so one. Fun. It's so fun, right? Yeah. Uh, Chat, if you have suggestions for us, um, please let us know what you would like us to do. We are watching both chats. Um, we are trying to keep up with you. So if you have suggestions, please let us know. Whoa. 
Whoa. Whoa. All right. Um, I'm going to do the lattice in the middle, maybe. A lattice? Oh, I work on the same panel. This is going to get crazy. Oh, it is going to get crazy. I'll put on the blue one. Okay. A good call. Yes. Uh, and so, as you can see, chat, this is actually the wrong color. But I can do a little hack here with our duo tones to make it the right color. Ooh, this is gonna be cool. Wait, I wanna watch you do this. Okay, one second. Wait, why is it stretching it? Wait, oh, it's not stretching it. I just have it the opposite way. Whoa. Okay, that's fine. That's I feel fine. Like Wait, horizontal I argyle? It just looks like a bunch of X's, but it's Hor cool. horizontal horizontal aisle? Uh, all right, so <laughs> help me. He's not uh, well. <laughs> yeah, he's not. <laughs> It's not well. Uh, I am going to try to line this up so that it's not as like wonky. There we go. Uh, I'm just going to crop it into the center there. And then I'm going to... Yeah, Wade has a good point. You said both, but I think it's all three, right? All three shows. Yes, sorry. Yeah, Beans. YouTube. Yes. Actually, I'm not reading YouTube. YouTube. I'm not either. YouTube, we love you. I'll, if we love YouTube. I will get you on my screen uh, as soon as we go back to Emily. Uh, I'll get you on this. So let's show you this tip real quick. If you have something that is the wrong color and there is not an option to change the color, go into do? effects... Then go to custom on the duo tone, and then you want to change the shadows and the highlights Ooh. to what you want. And if the shadows and highlights are both the same color, then they will just become one color. So <gasps> the shadows, the highlights, and now it is the same color. What a hack. Right? So I'm going to do that little darker blue that you had. Is that too much? Uh, I don't love it. It might be a little close. Yeah. I'm going to multiply this, um, and that will make it fat. so that, yeah, it gives Instead it a little bit more. Picking a random color. There we go. So that's I too much, it. but I'm going to take it down to like 40%. Smart. Mm, let's do 20% actually. And then send it back and then send it back again. Yep. And here we go. I'll just drag it all the way down in our layers panel, all the way back to the back. And yeah, Nikki in chat is saying cute. that it looks like a little fence, which I think is perfect for our gardening guy. Oh, it is. Yeah. It is. All right. What are you working on over there? What am I working on? Just another shameless plug for egg purse. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so our cue card code is in. I actually stopped working to watch you do what you were doing, um, but I was working we're on learning. rescaling this. Yeah, so I said for small fruit collecting, spelled correctly, okay, download the printable template by scanning the QR. My biggest question as of late is, do we need to tell people scan the QR? Or like, do people know? I think people know scan now. The QR? I think at this point, It's a like, question I ask myself. We gotta know. Yeah, okay. And hello, shout out to Brandy and Andy. Andy's in the chat. Andy in chat. Hi, Bra Andy. Brandy and Andy. And he loves the hat. Yes. Thank, thank you. you. Andy, nice. That was very YouTube chat. I am looking at YouTube now. I am looking at Twitch. I am looking at all the places. It is nice to see you. Uh, hello, Shirt Labs is here as well saying flower power. Couldn't agree more. Thank you. I love uh, that. And Mosby says hi, says Andy. So Aww, Mosby's my dog. Hi, Mosby. Or our dog, excuse me. I claim him today. <laughs> I claim him today. <laughs> My dog. Um, okay, I'm going to do... Okay. So that's going to be down here. This is usually, right, the contact panel, like... Yes. Yeah. Okay, can I work on another page? Or what? is it going to bump you? No, yeah, no, you can work on another page. Okay, same yeah. size. Do whatever you want. But it did bump you. It no. did bump you over. No, I can... That's no, amazing. I'm flying free. No, I can do it. I am a strong, independent man. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm gonna copy these so I don't have to remeasure like how how we have it broken up. Oh, cool! But I just got your patterns instead, so <laughs> love a top layer moment. So I'm holding Option Shift and I'm just dragging these to make it even. I am worried these are gonna line up correctly, but I think they will. Zooming in to make sure all is well. Someone in chat, I don't remember who said it. I would love to give you credit. Um, was saying that we should do a seed packet, and I think that's a cute idea. Ooh, seed packet's a really cute idea. Ooh, okay, wait. <laughs> Sorry, I'm realizing there's more dog chat. I love it. Um, someone's saying bunnies and raccoons always get in your garden. I think it'd be a good idea to be like, watch out for, or like. Oh, I like a, that. Like a common pest is. Um, I like that. You know what I mean? If like, you know, maybe like a little ladybug and that kind of thing too. Okay, so I'm gonna go then. Let's do icons. I think that might be more similar. And I'm gonna do raccoon. And see. Oh my gosh, these are cute raccoons. This one looks angry. He's not happy to be in the garden. Okay, where's my raccoon? There it is. Oh, but it's pink. Spooky. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna do, so the style's gonna be a little different, but actually, let me see, maybe I can add a stroke? No, I can't. That's okay. I'm gonna do this panel a little different then. So I'm gonna rotate this. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come back here, I'm gonna grab the title, which I don't have to do, but for me, I like, I don't know, do you work that way instead of like setting out a new text box, just copying the same one? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I use the same one for like, everything. Am I crazy or? No. Let's do like a watch out for, whoops, blah. Is my A out. key not working or I'm watch go, go. out? 
Yeah, I think common pests. Uh, and if we want to flip back to my screen, what's really cool is I am on this page, uh, but I can actually see Emily working Wait, over cute. on the next page. Really cute, right? Um, so I can see Emily working on the other page, which is really cool to let me know that there are updates happening, that things are kind of going along. Really cool. And yes, we love a good trash panda. Wait said that he's just going to eat whatever is left after the raccoon, so... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's really Wait, kind of you to let them go first. Wait, you get second dibs. He yeah. Said it, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Yes. Okay. I want to try and match the same style. Oh, look at this bunny. We're not going to use him, but it's interesting. It's pasting like two copies. Do you oh, know why magic. it's doing that? No. Because I think there's another raccoon here hidden. That's interesting. Oh, I don't know. Oh, it didn't do it that time. You know what? That's okay. Dang, look at this one. I'm getting lost. Okay, I'm getting focused again. Yes. Sorry. I'm I'm here. <laughs> I'm supposed to be talking chat. This is you and I are supposed to be here together, but I'm just really excited about. But now Andrew's in the file. I'm in the file, and I started designing, uh, and I'm just excited about how this is turning out. Okay, chat. If you have any questions about anything, if you would like to know more about Adobe Express, uh, if you have yeah. suggestions for what we should be working on, uh, please let us know. I almost feel like this typeface needs to be a little heavier. Should we get a heavier, regular? Yes. Bold? Oh, bold's not too bold. Approachably bold. Um, size down. Yes. Okay. Uh, and chat saying they're everywhere here. Yes. Let us celebrate, no. but remain calm. That's amazing. Yes. Fantastic. Great work, chat. Okay. Whoops. All right. What um, are we doing over Emily on your screen? I am adding some common pests by using uh, the stock icon, and they're really great options here. Okay, so raccoon. Raccoon. Do you want to maybe do like a seed? Or right here, maybe. I think maybe adding some of our elements on this page would be really fun. Or on the back panel. Do you want to find some imagery maybe? That could yeah. go on the back panel? Yeah, I'll do some. Yeah. I think, because we're going to have to have, like if this was for an actual brand, they're going to want images of, you know, their garden. Yes. Or... And I am going to paste this over here just in case you want it. Ooh, I do like that. Right? It's good. And I think That's if I want to put pattern. imagery ah, in the middle, I then I don't want to have anything. So I think that I am going to grab good, yeah. some like images of flowers and then do that duo tone trick in the middle. Amazing. Um, Always give peas a chance. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Chat. We asked chat for puns and they have not stopped. <laughs> Ooh, uh... Okay. Um, Arrow. I'm going to do this cute little arrow that's like squiggling over. I'm sure it's going to be in here somewhere. Do we want? Um... Probably yes. What is it? I'm trying to think. Like, I want like. Okay, I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna go to Firefly uh, because I want. It's going off course. I want like fruit and flowers that are like falling on a white background, Ooh. and then I can put it in the middle. Do you think that you could like? St I don't know if this would work. Do you think you can style match from what we currently have? That would be so crazy. Let's give it a Should shot. We try. I don't yeah. know. Fruit and flowers falling on a white background. So let's try to do a uh, style reference, and that is going to allow us to reference something that's existing um, and then put it into Adobe Express. Sorry, Adobe Firefly. Anywhere Ooh. in Adobe will do. Wow, that's gorgeous. Okay, yes, we are going somewhere. Okay, chat says, a little sun and cloud and raindrops on the harvest <coughs> schedule. <gasps> that's a great idea. That's a great idea. Okay, um, I'm gonna write rain. Ooh, Rain, these do look clouds, good. Et All right, I'm literally just gonna take like a screenshot. We're gonna come back to that. I'm making a note is what I'm doing right yes. there. Yes, I'm gonna take a screenshot of what we have. This is gonna be really interesting. To I'm see what so curious what's gonna happen. And I'm gonna go into Adobe Firefly, and then I'm going to go down here to the style match, and we are just going to uh, upload that image from our downloads. This is gonna blow my mind right now. Ooh, this is a secret project that you'll find out about next week, chat. The secret project? Secrets. Um, all right, let's see here. Not that one, not that one, not that one, not that one. Definitely not that one. That one? Not that one. Where did my, wait, what am I doing? It's a screenshot. A screenshot. Okay. Desktop. <laughs> there it is. We'll get there. Okay, so I'm gonna upload this as the style reference and let's see what happens. I literally have no idea what this could look like. Oh, okay. So wait, did you press it? You did. Here we go. This is turning out so cute. I know. Ooh, secret. If you want a little preview, you can go on to my Twitter. Um, I put a little preview of the style. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, this is great. So it's matched the like structure of yeah. it being um, in thirds. Oh, 
you're so right. I love that. Okay, this is this is exactly what I wanted, which is really cool. I wish you could write Firefly note. Dear Firefly, thank Dear you Firefly. so much. You got it. Yes. Babes, you got it. Okay, so we are going to just copy this and paste it over into Express. Um, I just downloaded it three times, so we're going <laughs> to go over. I need it. <laughs> yes. Uh, we used to be able to copy it. Do I download? Chat is nope. very upset that you've revealed that you have a secret. They said secret. <laughs> oh, spill the beans on the secrets? Uh, okay, let me put this in, and then we'll hop to Emily's screen, and I'll show you like part of the secret. Oh, my gosh. Um, all right. So I, what it is. I okay. am going to upload uh, what we just got in the downloads. Okay, amazing. Uh, we got this image right here. And then I am going to try to remove the background here to see what happens. I may not need to. I probably can just multiply it. Sorry, I didn't mean to grab the image. No, it's fine. No, no, do what you want. Do what you want. Okay, yeah, right? Yes. Wait, that looked great. It looks and great. And even did so well. I'm like zoomed in. It even did so well clipping like the white flowers, which is always hard, I feel like, for white on white. Well, especially because it had um, a like. I don't know what that is. This looks like a singular drop of blood on. I don't know what that is. It's like the pit of an imaginary. Oh, is that what it thing. is? Yeah. It's kind of creeping me out. <laughs> okay, let's. Oh, actually, we can. You can use a tool. So oh with that selected, oh, we can right. go into and go to erase. We and then that. All we need to do <laughs> is just click on it, and it should take it all the way away. There we go. Boom. Erase all those little pieces. Got it. All right. So Thank from you. there, I am going to do the um, effects. We are going to do a custom duo tone. Ooh. Wait, that's very cool. Yes. The shadows we're going to make into, wait, it's kind of fun. What if I did the highlights in like that's crazy one down. of the other colors? Yeah. That's ugly. <laughs> It wasn't that one. <laughs> it wasn't that one. Yeah, of the colors to do, it wasn't that one. Nope. We do have our additional colors right here, um, and where we can look at the egg purse, which is our schedule. library. Sorry, no. I was referring back to the chat. No. I was like, rain clouds, no. No. sun, and then maybe, yeah, I'll do schedule and see if it... Oh. Okay. Schedule. Mm. Okay. Chat, Ooh. I'm not... Maybe it's the shadows? Wait, I'm using this. <gasps> yes! Okay, that's fun. Ooh, that's So which color do we, we that didn't use the orange at all. That's too hot. <gasps> too hot. Okay. Oh, wow. I zoomed way out. Okay. Uh, I have made decisions. Wait, this is so cute. I've made the wrong decisions. Okay. Ooh, that's kind of cool, though. I just think doing, I like, like the light. Okay. Got it. Fun. Okay. There was a thing that I was going to show you. Oh, my this secret. My secret. Can we dim the lights? Yes. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, okay, chat. Uh, I need my sound. Sorry, studio manager. Can we do sound? Okay, thanks, studio manager. All right, chat. Uh, I was going to show you a little bit of this on office hours next week, but since we're here and I'm just in office the spirit hours of today. completely hijacking streams. Thanks, Emily. This on office hours uh, next week. I will okay. show you a little There was a thing you wanted to show you. Oh, oh my secret. And what the secret is. Thanks, oh my secret. So, so, yes. Yeah, uh, hopefully, uh, chat, you'll be uh, able to hear this. Um, and this is a little video, a little secret that we're working on next studio week. Manager. Oh, it's playing Adobe Live in the background. Oh, because I literally have, hold on, there we go. Are we quiet now? Wait, hold on, Twitch, got it, get out of here, okay. Wait, what about YouTube? Don't All right. forget YouTube. Are we good? Yeah. Thanks, okay, this is what I was working on uh, that's a little secret project, super secret project, yes. I posted a um, video using I'm working Adobe on Firefly using structure a structure reference to, to like animate. This. And it makes it look like, like a video. So, uh, that is so cool. It takes a long time, but it's really cool. Um, and you can check out, I have another video on my Twitter about that. But we'll be doing it next week on Office Hours. That's my secret. Tune in next week at 1 p.m. to learn how to use structure reference to animate your videos. Back to Emily in the Garden. I'm still here. Here. <laughs> Sorry. Chat says, I see Emily with lipstick on an egg in your Twitter. Yes. We took a video of me doing a little promo for the egg um, purse, and I put, like, a little lipstick in an egg and did, like, a little promo. Yes. So if anyone's curious about what I'm doing Adobe with Firefly an egg and lipstick, that's structure that's reference to make effects like this. Ooh, and it makes it look like it's 3D so using cool. these structures cool. in insane. any style and then you'll see me So, right here, I want to give you a tutorial, the, the rest of the but you gotta watch. Happen. 1 p.m. Pacific like time on Thursday, and Adobe that's what's gonna, gonna be where is it? Adobe right here, I do a fun little turn, and that's where I'm gonna start animating again. Right there. So I need to animate it and chat. That's so cool. If we come back to Emily's screen, I'll actually pull up the video reference that I have on my Twitter um, to show you the effect that is we are going for. Is it me with my egg? No, it's not. It is not, but it could have been. 
Uh, all right, if we want to hop back here, this is the effect that we're going for, um, and I'll teach you how to do this next week on Adobe Office Hours. Insane. Really cool uh, effect to play with. All right. It's so cool. Back to what we're supposed to be doing on this stream, Emily. We are making a gardening guide. It's turning out really well. Oh, I keep grabbing your image. Did you move the image? I moved the image. Oh, I don't think I put it in the background. Can you lock it? Oh, yeah, actually I can. Sir? <laughs> oh, I can also hiccup. My couldn't chat him falling apart. <laughs> No, Emily. I didn't mean to. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me. Oh no, no. I'm not okay. doing it. No touching. <laughs> okay, okay. It's locked. It's locked. We're good. Okay. I'm also gonna lock the other ones just, just in case. Wait, did you lock my cabbage? Wait, I grabbed the whole background. Oh my gosh. Okay. Give We're locking. I'm locking cabbage. everything in the background. Lock it down. We are locked. Okay. Oh, look, a little cabbage. I know. My cabbage got stuck. Oh, that's so cute. Yes, this was a great idea. Chat, thank you. Although I need, like, so we have rain, we have uh, sun, then we have wind, maybe? I don't know. All this oh. is really showcasing is that using Adobe Express is so great to get references and just drop things in and real time. And they get icons. Icons are on, on lock here. Out in the sun. Maybe we do snow? No, because nothing grows in the no, snow. No, that's actually not, no. I think veggies do. Do you know oranges are actually a winter fruit? Oh, yeah. then let's do snow. I yeah, think let's they're do biannual. Then it needs to be cold when this um, grows. Oh my gosh, like it's right here, or it looks like we have a very cold cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> Some chili cabbage. Chili cabbage. <laughs> so I'm just eyeing these about how I want them sized, but I think these look great. Yeah, these are awesome. Who will? And I add a little icon up here. I thought that was really fun. Um, how I'm going to tie it together with the schoolhouse rock, I'm not quite sure, but we're getting there. There's no rules. I mean, there are no rules, but it feels like there should be some we sort could, of rule. Well, I mean, we can convert the schoolhouse rock into outlines. It's a, it's a live linked object in the library, That right? is true. Okay, can I do that, or are you going to yeah, hate me if I change that. them? Okay. Oh, perfect. We're going to make some coleslaw, they said. With yes. <laughs> the cabbage. Uh, um, we'll do that right when uh, we can switch screens again. And maybe just cloudy. Ooh, actually, yes. Nikki, that's a good idea to do maybe cloudy in there. Tell me, Nikki. Oh, cloudy? Yeah. Okay, I wasn't sure. So maybe I should change my rain icon because I didn't want it to be, I feel like, like, too similar. Grass. I feel like ladybugs are not pests, right? It, Isn't this the thing that ladybugs are actually good for your gardens? Forgive me, my lady. I am so forgive sorry. Me, my lady. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think the ladybug's fine. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Grasshopper. Grasshopper. I'm watching a new show, and that's the drink that she always requests. But it's this like crazy blue green color, and it's just so odd. And I, Ooh. it really bothers me actually. Sounds tasty though. But with uh, with Kristen Wiig, it's very fun. Oh, Kristen. I know we love her. Okay, um, raccoons, bunnies. Oh, what do we have? Possums. Do you think oh, there's gonna yes. be an, an icon for possums? Just one. He looks very scary. I think it's O possum, right? Isn't there an O at the oh, beginning of that's it? Oh, that's it. What it is? I think so. How do you spell O? Oh, po uh, yeah. Oh, possum. Yeah. No, there's just one possum. Oh, there's just one possum. All right. Well, that I is would our like to petition for more possums to and be added. And bees are good for gardeners. Uh, oh. Yes. Okay, wait. That's a great idea. Let's do common pests and then, like, heroes. Oh, yes. Or, like, um. Uh, um ga gar garden, garden guardians. guardians. <laughs> yes. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it together. Garden. Wait. Now I'm spelling it wrong. Garden. Guard, guard, guardian. Guards. Guard, gardenians. It's reminding me of. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna. <laughs> okay. Uh, we, tr we tried. <laughs> we tried, chat. We really did. It was did. too much. Okay. I wish I had the ladybug that I had previously. I really liked her. Oh, wait, it was right there. Or him. Wasn't it? No, it was a little different. I think I really scrolled down far. Actually, oh. was it that one? I this thought it was the one with the little wings open. This one looks crazy. Oh, there's a butterfly. That's crazy. It's this one. Okay. Moving and grooving. Woo! Uh, up, up, right, that one. I, I think it, that's what I you think had. it was that one. Do you know why everyone's pasting in pink? It's odd, no? Um, it's guessing based on the color the background. The color of that's being used on your document. Mm. It also may be set as like the key color in your brand, and so it's oh. just pulling it in as a color in your brand. Said more pink. gardenias. Oh, love that. Okay, wait, did I spell it wrong? No. Okay. No, you're good. <laughs> um, ladybug. Okay. Do we switch? Okay, so do you want to work on changing those images or like the what style? Am I doing? You're gonna change, I think, the color outline so that my colors look more cohesive across the brand uh, for like for the schoolhouse rock ones. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Let's do that. So okay. um, we go back into Illustrator. Yes. Let's side by side. Let's do that. Ooh, let's do it together, wherever we go. So um, I see here that Emily has used 
like this little piece, this little flower, but we want to do like the white outline so that kind of matches everything. So what I can do is I can double click on this flower and then I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to augment these so that it is uh, a little bit more of an outline. So we're just going to punch these out um, with my Pathfinder and then make the outline white. And when I save it, uh, we can actually go right to our Express document and in three, two, one, I get a little pop-up that says, hey, there's an update. Do I it. click on the update and it's going to update for both of us on that shared document. I'm waiting patiently. Sorry, also my nose keeps like itching. Oh, that's, uh, do we have, uh, there are tissues over there if oh, you need them. it's okay. Okay. Oh, I see what you did there. There we go. <gasps> Genius. Yeah, so I'm going to update the rest of those um, to make sure that it works through. It actually is a bit thick for me, so I'm going to uh, kind of thin it out just a little bit using uh, offset path. And this is a but great way to negative. do it. Negative. Negative. Uh, we showed this in the last stream is I am going to put a color behind her just so I can see. And then we are going to go to our appearance panel and go to effects, path, and offset path. Love it. And then we are just going to offset this. And as I pull it in, you'll see that it's actually going to change the uh, actual shape. So let's do 1.5. Looks good to me, I'll delete that. And now when I save it, I still have my original shape, but it should even this out just a little bit so that it's a tiny bit thinner, uh, which is what we want it to look like. So it's a little more cohesive with our raccoons and our bunnies and our grasshoppers. I think it would have looked better. I did it with, um, I drew it in Photoshop and then I like with my um, Apple Pencil and then I dropped it in. So if I would have line tooled these, I think that would have given us a lot more um, stuff to fine. work with. Or pen tooled, not line tooled, excuse me, pen tooled. Let's not get crazy. Okay, um, one more guardian of the garden. A ladybug, a bird maybe? Yeah. No, but birds can also be like, I don't oh, know. Oh, birds can be passed. Bird. Who, chat, we need a guardian of the garden. And yes, LOL, Emily keeping Andrew <laughs> on track. Yeah, that. welcome to our welcome. entire, yeah. <laughs> that's um, it. That's it, that's it. We've worked together for a long time and that is um, what Emily does for me. Um, I'll come back to her. Yes, <laughs> chat, if you have suggestions for guardians, uh, things that are good for your garden, Gardenians, um, okay. please let us know in the chat. I'm gonna come back to go to my assets because I'm gonna do a white panel or like a cream panel. Um, and I think that might be an okay place to bring in like the more colorful illustrations. Cool. Because so I want the them colorful to live illustrations somewhere. are changing. Oh, no, no. Okay. Not we're fine. all. Cool. <laughs> I see what you're doing. So I, <laughs> no. I love the idea of you doing that, but I also just broke everything. But, okay. Bees. Thank you. Oh, Raphael saying gosh. bees. Yes. And bees. a scarecrow, maybe? Oh, that is an interesting take, but you're not wrong. Bees. Okay. Uh oh. What? I lost edit access to the file. It's okay. We'll refresh it. What happened? I don't know. Where did she go? I'm, I'm scared. Still, I kicked you out. That's <laughs> good. Um, what am I looking for? Bees. Not in shapes, crazy and icons. Bees. Maybe I just want one bee. Oh, that looks like a fly. They don't know the difference. Uh, let's go for a very classic or recognizable bee shape. I feel like the bad thing is, is that there's so many options that I keep scrolling. So I'm like, oh, yes, and you're like, look at all more. these options. Yeah, and then it's been too long <coughs> because they're all really good, honestly. Um, that's like a hornet. That one's okay. Let's do this one. This one looks friendly. Friendly bee. Okay, scale down. I'm gonna make it white, which it really should be cream because everything else has been green. But you know what? It's first draft. All right, so one of our flowers worked and one of them did not. Mm. Um, I'm going to go see what happened. Something weird happened with the library, uh, um, but I'm going to see if I can identify what happened and if I can fix it. Oh, the... I believe in you. The flower just disappeared. You do not right. accept this, Rose. I'm going to put a different flower in there. Which ones are you using? I have the little blue ones okay. out and like pink one. Don't use the uh, like aqua one. I will not. Cool. Okay, I'm just scaling this so it looks, oh, it's like not lining up. Come on, line up for me. Emily okay. and I both went into work mode because we're having fun with this. <laughs> uh, chat, we have about 10 minutes left. So again, oh gosh, if you already? have questions, okay. I know. If you have questions about anything, um, what I'm going to do, Emily, is I am going to go in and start doing some animation. Ooh, okay. Right? I think it'd be fun. Whoa, I pasted behind layers, help. <laughs> stuck in the multiverse. Help, I'm stuck in layers. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, I'm gonna do like a little, this is gonna be a call out panel or like whatever the client would want the content or content to be, but I'm gonna do like April shower, you know, April flowers showers. <laughs> Bring May. I'm hitting so many hard returns, I'm scared. I have broken so many rules. No, it's okay. Well, is it? Ooh, gargoyles and gnomes are good for garden oh, indeed, yes. A gnome is so cute and for morale. Yes. <laughs> Okay, um, let's do like May flowers and it'll be cute and pink. Uh, so let's hop over to my screen. Whoa. I'm gonna show a little bit of animation here. Um, I'm going to just make these little um, flowers spin. Should we make them wiggle <gasps> or spin? I think spin is, well, maybe if they have a stem, they wiggle. And if, oh, yes, oh those, those should uh, spin. Yes. yes, so we're gonna right. go um, in, we are gonna have them just spin. Actually, you know what? We're not doing in and out. We're just gonna have this be static. So we're gonna do a spin. Oh, that's actually perfect. And I'm just gonna add that to all of these, not the in, just looping. We're gonna spin. And then here we are going to do another spin. Yay, okay. So I am going to um, do all of these kind of backdrops, oops. I'm gonna group some stuff together here just so I can animate them all together uh, because I want them to kind of pop in as like a little like whoop, whoop, whoop. I like that. You know what I'm talking about? Can you add that sound? Oh, can you boy, can I? Yes, I can 100% record that sound. Thank you, Emily. Um, all right, let's go back to your screen while I do the tedious work of animating this. While well, I do the difficult work. <laughs> okay, um, I, I did I did a little like flyout panel or like the hero panel. I don't know, it probably sh should be an image, honestly. You know what? I'm gonna make it an image. All right, she's making an so image. So I made choices, but now I'm gonna change those choices now that everyone's looking. You know what Everybody, I'm everyone can grow. Is that, wait, are you telling me that or are you saying that's what I should do on my Oh, panel? I was just saying that we're like making a change and then it was for a garden thing. That's what And I'm, we've okay. learned from our mistakes, yeah. Wow. Does everyone else feel encouraged? I feel encouraged right now. Yeah. Okay. Why are my flowers hidden? Yay! This is cute. Okay, I'm gonna make this middle part a, um, no. Hold on. I changed my mind again, chat. I'm so sorry. But that is the design process. Can I merge these shapes together? No, yes. Right? Yeah? Where? Right here. Uh, no. You yeah. can group them. Yeah, I was gonna try to do an image inside of it, but oh, no Oh, no, worries. you can't do that. I yeah. have, I know the correct workflow. As I was saying it, I said, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so we are going to go to media, and I'm gonna look for gardening. I think I need to get a shape, is that correct? Um, elements. No. No? There is not a way to do the shape that you were trying to do. I f okay. Is my answer. Unless there is, if you know a way. I'm like, I thought there was. If, if there's a way, please let us know. Um, while Emmy looks for that, I am, and QR code's working, yay. Uh, we can hop back it to my is. screen and I can show a little bit of the animation that I did here. Uh, I'm just gonna play this and you can see. <gasps> yay! Fun. So we got a little fun animation going there. Um, I also maybe want to do the titles coming in, the same thing. Uh, but this one we're going to have them kind of float in from the side. And so I'm going to have them drift. And then again, we can change the layer timing, which is what I did on that first one. Uh, and we are going to change the layer timing so that it kind of flows through as the composition uh, comes out. So we're gonna do this one last, probably. I've done it. You did it? I think so. Wait, let's go to your screen. Okay. We're on my screen, I had to confirm. I'm curious, yes. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to do it in like a half circle shape. So if you click crop, then we can just grab the shape that I was looking for, and that's gonna be, Oh, right? yes. Okay, I was like, am I crazy or am I doing it? No, you're correct. I did it. Okay, amazing. But I wonder also if I did portrait, can I round a corner? No. No. Okay, that's okay. Yes. I accept. <laughs> I accept. I accept this. Um, 
and I'm going to drift us in. So we got about five minutes left, oh. uh, which I think that we're going to like end in a pretty good place here. Yeah, I think so. Make sure you stick around for Adobe Office Hours. We are going to show you everything that you need to know about the basics of Adobe Firefly. Um, it will be Nick Longo and I hanging out. We spent a lot of time together today, chat. Uh, we'll be hanging out, having a great time. If you have questions, come with those questions for Adobe Office Hours because we will be working in Adobe Firefly answering everything that you need to know. Emily, the back's looking so cute. I do think that we need like one more thing added and then we'll be totally Wait, good to I go. Wait, I think I'm the inside, right? This is the inside? Oh, you're the inside, yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh, when I loaded it, everything's gone. Did you delete things? What? Oh, because they're going to animate. No, they're animated, yeah. Sorry, I was like, wait, something no. happened. <laughs> Everybody's okay. Okay, how's chat doing? Ooh, everyone's making peppers. Okay, love that. Um, um, this, what did you say? I'm going to write, everyone can grow. Oh, did I, just... I hit a return? No. What were you saying? All right, um, let me show you the animation on the... Do it. Uh, Front and hold on, I need to do one more Tell thing. Tell me when you're gonna do it, so I'll stop working and look at it, so that way I can okay. fully appreciate. Okay. Is it time? No, 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 it's not yet. I'm not gonna look that. I'm not. I'm not ready. <laughs> is anyone ready? Okay, everyone can grow. I wonder if I crop this. Is my <gasps> my image is still there? Oh my goodness, chat, I won. All right, I think I'm ready. Is it time? It's well, we have four minutes, so let's 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 stay on your screen. Finish your design, and then we have four minutes. We can do a great reveal Wait, at the end. How? How? What animates where? Is this background animated? What? No. Okay. And there's nothing right here, right? Uh, let me play it. Here we go. I won't look. Check it out. I'm gonna look. Oh wait, this it's on your screen. Okay, look at my. Oh, actually, here. Yeah, you just yeah hit play. That was so cute. Right. I'm obsessed. So yeah, there's okay, nothing great. down there. I'm gonna have my image there. And then we can have it go whoop and like raise up. That's so fun. Okay, cool. It's awesome. We really haven't had to leave this program. Yes, you like recolored a handful of things, but yes. it wasn't crazy at all. Are you going to animate that? Amazing. No, you can do it. Okay. I feel like you've been showing it so well. Yes, that's fine. You can have the honors. Okay. Oh, this is going to be so cute. Chat, it's going to okay, be we have so cute. Mere minutes left, Andrew. Cute. Yes, I know. I'm clicking so fast. Like the speed of light. I'm I don't just, know if I've ever clicked faster. I'm enjoying myself. I'm just looking through. I'm like, okay, let's go back to my library. <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to add this shape. The shape is cute and I haven't used it yet. All right. Look at how cute. We have about three minutes chat and I think that we may have um, done it. We may have done it. Give it, give it one more second and we are going to, um, okay. Yes. There. Okay, got it. All right, so chat, we do need to... Did you to... animate that while I was literally working? That's yes. crazy. We do need to wrap up because we have to do some stuff for uh, office hours in between. So check it out. Here's the animation of our first uh, piece. Oh, no, I didn't do it. Hold on, chat. We can't We can't go like this. No. Um, we can't. Okay. There... It simply will not be allowed. All right, I need to... Oh, no, I need to edit a timeline. You're doing Show great. You're doing great. To put this over here. Stay calm. All right, here we go, chat. This is what it looks like in our animated guide to gardening. Here I'm we go. so excited. Uh, let's flip to my screen. And here we go. It's Yay! so fun. It's so fun. And then if we hop over to the other page, this is the back page. And just one animation. <gasps> That's so fun. Yay. So and look, they're doing a little wiggle. Oh my gosh, they are. I put a little wiggle on them. This was so fun. Yay. I love it. I love it. So much fun. Thanks so much for joining us. Coming up next, we do have Adobe Office Hours, my favorite show here on Adobe Live, partially because it's my show. <laughs> uh, thanks for joining us. Emily, any advice to people who want to get creative over the weekend? Check out Adobe Express. You can do it on your phone or on the website, and it's yes. great. Yes. Anywhere you want. Bye. Bye. Come back.